Cousins side pop. Draymond Green with it. Cousins starting off 0-4. Curry gets around Thompson, the little runner. And Steph Curry has his first basket of the season. Timeout at the next whistle. There's two and a half left, and we get the whistle. And it's going to be on Darren Collis in the foul. Good matchup here to watch. Stauskas and Clay Thompson. Oh, what a drive and a switch of the hands by Steph Curry. You know, everybody talks about what a great shooter he is, and he is, but boy, he can also get to the basket. There's Curry. His three, no, but he was fouled, and so he's going to get three free throws. And they strip it. Got to be careful when you put the ball on the floor against this team. And there's Curry. Well, yeah, really, that's been a great opportunity because just take that 15-footer. He, he's a good shooter from there. 46 to 41. Spates, and he answers right back. Now the shot clock under 10. Uh-oh. Bogut got free, and Curry found him. And the Kings get it right back. Curry, ball scoots through. Two on the shot clock. Williams. And that rebound taken by the Warriors. Boy, you simply got to make shots. Well, if this guy starts making shots, you're in trouble. Bad pass there. And look at this. They're basket hanging, and there is an easy two, and Michael Malone is upset. This is the largest lead of the night for Golden State with just over three minutes left, and uh, they lead it 64 to 56. Another look at the carelessness here. It's own defense, Curry. And he's fouled from behind by Caspi. And that will be free throws for Curry, and that normally means two points. 80 to 69 with just over six minutes left here in the ballgame. And it's Curry. Curry in traffic. Curry. Oh, wow. Vintage Steph Curry and some oohs and ahs from the crowd here in Sacramento. Absolutely spectacular take by Steph Curry, a breathtaker. Now it's Curry. Wow, is he good. I mean, you know, the thing is, he, he is so skilled. He's not a great athlete per se, but he can get, he's a lot like Steve Nash. He, used to be, he can get where he needs to go because he is completely skilled with both hands. Steph Curry really makes the Warriors go, but they're taking the ball away from Cousins, creating the turnover, then coast to coast with the left hand. Now in traffic, how about just a little up and under move off the glass, beating defender out front, Omri Caspi again using the left hand in traffic, just showing you the uh, skills that Steph Curry has, really uh, hasn't hit the long ball much tonight, but has done a lot of other things, because the Warriors have not been able to score consistently on the team, but they've scored enough. And Sacramento takes a timeout. Steph Curry now has uh, 24 points. Here's Clay Thompson. Well, that will do it. The uh, Warriors are going to win the opener, and they're going to beat the Kings 95-77. Uh, to 77. And, uh, Jerry, I, I don't need to hear Michael Malone after this game to know what he's going to say. It's a new season. All right, Steph Curry inside Oracle. The sights and sounds of the home opener. Join us right now on CSN Bay Area. Initially lost it, they change it, they throw ahead, then they change it to the other side. There's that big screen. Andrew Bogut. And Curry, the beneficiary. They call him the dark side of the moon. Because <laughs> once he sets that screen, it's an eclipse. Steph Curry, always a tough matchup. Jeremy Lin late. And Curry three times the ball game. As Kobe gets that one down. Steph Curry made 90 out of 100 from three-point range. Wow. And very few from the corner. Curry. Through the whole Laker defense and out of the line. And yeah, Jordan Hill came right on him. Kobe, after missing his first four shots, has hit back to back jumpers. Steph Curry with a bank shot. He may look a little angelic, but he's got that killer instinct. Iguodala 
Had the steal. Curry carries on. Steph knows Kobe's behind him. Teardrop rimming in. Smart play. There's a, for Kobe. There's a reason, Jim, they call him the baby face assassin. Yeah. Curry three. And he gets in that human torch mode with 14 here in the first. Harrison Barnes dropping in the three. Harrison fights off Xavier Henry. Bounce pass. You know, that's a horse shot. Coming across there, he spit it off the backboard. What I like, though, is that they had a little Harrison ISO, but all that floor spacing, they're having way more backdoor cutters. We've seen that in just two games already. Get down the batting and away. Clay out to Curry. Step to the rim. with the top. This is normally Kobe time here. Jeremy Lin sending it out to him. Kobe driving, and he'll get to the line and put it in. What a shot! Up and under. It's an old look at that spin. He even hit the rim first before he hit the board. And Festus did the right thing. If you're going to foul him, really foul him, but you say wizardry of Steph and the just magical skills of Kobe Bryant there on display. That was a that was a circus unbelievable circus shot. Johnson missing. Look at Jordan Hill work on the glass. Kobe the beneficiary. Kobe Bryant made the wing jumper. Here's that weave again, and that was the same play we telestrated. It broke up here. They were ready for it. That's the same play we telestrated at halftime. Uh, Kobe has made two absolute circus shots. This one, another field goal in the foul. How did he get this one in? Well, he knew Bogart was there. He, he just avoided the contact and any kind of attempt on the block by getting it up in the air higher and quicker. Oh, you a back door. And Steph found him perfectly. Kobe's working hard here. Can't play him any better than that. And that's why he's one of the elite players in the history of the game. That was great offense beating great defense. You're right, because Clay couldn't play him any better. Bogan flipping it in. They needed that. Leslie Johnson, corner three. He made his first three, missed his next three, hits there. Harrison off a main three, gets a dunk. Kobe trying to heat it up this quarter, and he buries another three. We can feel it when he gets going. He makes this. Curry with the deep three, and Steph's got the big smile on his face. Who else can make a move like that in this league? Almost lose the ball, get disrupted off the dribble, back dribble, scamper back behind the three-point line and make it. And Kobe answers right back. And the game within the game is on. Kobe taking on the world here. I'm telling you, he's pulling it. You know it. You, you can, you, you, it's inevitable. Clay Thompson three. Yes, sir! Kobe got caught napping. Cross-court pass. Assist to Curry. How about adding in around 280 playoff games as Kobe scores again. He's played over 1,500 games. And, and playoff games, think about that kind of intensity. And Kobe has 27 on 23 shots. I said, second game of the season, he had 31 against Phoenix in 28 minutes. He's on that kind of run right now. Steph in the lane. He finishing again. Oh, man, is that kid fun to watch play basketball. Better look to Clay. Well, they got 38 against the Lakers last year. He's got 33 now. Murray knocking it away. Clay Thompson, the freebie. Oh, Steph again. 31 for Steph Curry, 36 for Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson with a new career high. Who knows it? 
And the Warrior backcourt combines for 72 of their 127. And a beautiful way to begin the home schedule. Warriors move to 2 0. Lakers drop to 0 and 4. Clay Thompson 41. Steph 31. Harrison Barnes 15. Nine from Barbosa Nigadala off the bench. Bogan had a double digit rebounding night. Steve Kerr just told Kobe he could read his lips. Unbelievable in that third quarter. And welcome to Oracle Arena as the Clippers and Warriors square off. Golden State, one of three undefeated teams in the NBA, entering tonight at 3 0. The Clippers at 3 1. Here's Curry for three. There it is. Steph Curry gives Golden State the lead. That gets a steal and lays it in. Five points in about five seconds. They've only given up one offensive rebound. Curry goes in. How he protected that ball. Had two hands on it. And then Barnes just get out of the picture. Another three up top by Draymond Green. The Warriors are five of seven for three. 64% shooting overall. Curry weaving through blue jerseys. Barry's another one. He's got nine. As Bogan catches for the dunk. Warriors are rolling. Their largest lead at 19 points. Curry's got the big on him and shoots over him and switches home a three. That wasn't easy. Clay Thompson nails a three. Eight quick points for Thompson. Timers at four. Thompson double team. Now Green. Wide open is Curry. Excellent ball movement and a three at the horn by Curry. 65 first half points for Golden State. Behind the back, Curry, Green, another three. You bet! Green from Curry, and that's a career best. 22 points for Draymond. Here's Steph Curry with the jump shot. Drains it, 22 for Curry. But it started with another nice pass from Bogut. Warriors have missed their last six shots. Curry takes care of that. It's a triple. Curry weaving through two defenders, got it to drop, and a foul. Clippers were getting close, and then Steph Curry took over. Now 27 points, and one more coming at the line. Too good. Curry through the lane, great look. Livingston with the throwdown. The Warriors shoot 58% from the floor, the highest shooting percentage by any team in the NBA through the first week of the regular season. It was not close throughout. Curry led a very balanced effort with 28 points as the Warriors improved to 4-0. Golden State, Houston, and Memphis, the only unbeatens left in the NBA. Clippers fall to 3-2. Sports Center is up next. For Jeff Van Gundy, J.A. Adande, our entire outstanding ESPN crew, I'm Dave Pash. Good night from Oakland, where the Warriors roll over the Clippers, 121-104. It's a Western Conference showdown at Toyota Center as the Rockets take on the Golden State Warriors. Both teams come in undefeated and want to make a statement early in the season. James Harden and Dwight Howard lead the Rockets with one of the best inside-outside attacks in the game. While Steph Curry and Klay Thompson have the Warriors off to their best start in 20 years. Rockets basketball starts right now on CSN. Harden short again. Interesting. All the talk about good shooting and great shooting. Now the team can make a bucket. Well, Green can make a layup. Logan outside. Here's the pass I talked about. He's so good. That's too easy. He's so good. The pass was spectacular, and so was the finish. Curry. High off the glass for two. Just highly skilled, Steph, Steph Curry. Golden State. Behind the back. Harden takes it inside off the glass. And a whistle. And a foul is called on Bogan. Curry will fire up the three from the outside. Yeah. You he can't go underneath that screen. Even if he's 30 feet from the basket, you can't go underneath that screen. He shoots it too easily from deep. Curry and Thompson have combined for 212 points. And the Warriors' first four games already is Harden 
Answers that shot with two of his own. Barnes trying to stay with Harden. And Harden is fouled going to the basket. He'll shoot two. Yeah, James has got to be ultra aggressive. The Warriors are number two in the NBA in assists. They get average about 20 a game. What a great pass that time. And the baby ball for Cannonball. Papa Nicolau misses another three. He's got to make those. He's going to have that shot all night long. Barbosa. Nobody's guarding him. Yeah. That's pretty easy when no one's on him. Well, Papa Nicolau lost him. They couldn't find him. Nice pass inside to Moti Yunus. A good assist by Harden. And now that Bogut has checked out, Demo can go to work inside. He's yes. got an advantage over Spates. They will do that all day. That's a long two for Curry. Yeah. He's got to keep putting pressure on him. 60% shooting by the Golden State Warriors here in the early going. Harden lays oh, it up and in. What an acrobatic move. Draymond Green says, I got him, I got him. Well, you don't. All he did was get the, the scoop finger roll. <laughs> Steve Kerr calls a timeout. And the game has turned in Houston's favor. Ooh, Curry with a beautiful crossover. And somebody left some clothing on the court. That was a great in and out with the left hand. Iguodala puts it up, missed it. And a good tip by Harden. Tipped it over to Reza, who gave it right back to him. Harden, all the way to the bucket for two. And see, that's what James does. You saw Drew Mont Green. He saw him, but he's like, I don't want to get this foul because I don't want to go to the bench. So he let him go. Harden gets a nice pick from Black. Wow. The beard. Too easy right there. He makes that look special. Harden will fire it up and in. Three-pointer for James Harden. Good pick. By Demo. He missed his first four threes and he got that one to go. Rockets can go two for one. Harden takes it in for two. Beautiful move. Yeah, he attacked Bogut. As uh, as we thought, Bogut didn't want that number three, so he kind of let him go. Bogut floats it up. Missed it. Rockets will have nine seconds. Rebound by Ariza, number eight. Harden. Time running down. Four seconds. Three seconds. Two. Back outside. Demo yeah. for Demo at the buzzer. Harrison Barnes with a fake. Black picked him up nicely. Almost a turnover. Thompson's got it in the paint. Swing it around to Curry. A little fake. It's like a layup. Smooth. Just got to stay up and contest. You see how Curry, when he pump fakes, he stays behind the three-point line. Back in our day, Clyde, we would pump fake and take a dribble in. No longer, don't no do that. No longer. Harden on the drive, floats it up, missed it. Demo tips it, and he tips it right to Clay Thompson. Harden trying to stay with Thompson in the corner to Curry. And now Golden State has taken the lead. A 13-4 run by the Warriors. All the way over in the corner now, they swing it. To Thompson on the drive, lays it up and in. Clay Thompson, complete player right now. There's a steal by Curry. He'll stop behind the three-point line and hit. Steph Curry does this a lot. He does hang around those inbounds plays, get steals, and that three-point layup right there has got the Golden State Warrior fired up. Ariza, he's got to hit one, doesn't he? Well, he's coming, but he's regressing to the mean. Yeah. Terry with a fake. He's a good yeah. That's a big shot for Jason Terry. It's amazing that James Harden has not scored here in the third quarter. He's got to get going, guys. Well, they're overloading now. They got Iguodala on him with Bogut coming over and Harden hit. That's what he did. Harden on the drive with the feed. Demo yes. for Tubo. Rockets on a 6-0 run. Curry. And a foul is called on Houston. That was a Harden time. Harden. Oh, throws it away. To Curry was waiting in the wing. Curry. A little push off. Got it. Looks yeah. out there. It's real smooth by Steph Curry. Hey, he's good. <laughs> he's darn good. I'm glad you guys have figured that out. 17 rebounds for Bogut now. And he gets two and one. Steph Curry just creating for the big man. Whoever gets it's going to have to shoot it. Well, not necessarily. Harden throws it away to Curry. That's a killer turnover right there. Boy. Got to get a shot in that situation. Yeah. Well, both teams, uh, Rockets are number two in points given up at 89%. There's Curry. He has been phenomenal tonight. Well, it's an inbounds play. Wouldn't you look for him? 
Uh, he's a stud, uh, 29 points for Stephen Curry. Harden lays it up and in. Curry also has like nine rebounds, five assists, and four steals. Looks like a shot for Curry. Looks, Looks like a, the finger roll. <laughs> so McHale calls a timeout, 31 points for Stephen Curry. Plus Curry's committed to defense this year too, or at least attempting it. That's where his bread is buttered, oh right there. Goodness. You can just forget about it. That's just phenomenal. That's a new season high now, 34 points for Stephen Curry. Quick release three over a seven-footer. And he's been doing it all night, guys. He's 13 of 19 from the field. Harden tonight, one for 11 behind the three-point line. Ain't gonna happen. Curry with 23 of his game-high 34 points in the second half. And that was the killer. As Golden State now remains the only the uh, undefeated team along with Memphis. I don't know how Memphis is doing tonight, but uh, Golden State now goes to 5-0. and oh. The Rockets fall to 6-1. and one. And the Golden State Warriors remain undefeated. U.S. Airways Center in Phoenix, which has been a house of horrors, Jim. 51 of the last 59 times in this building, the Suns have emerged with a victory. But the Warriors kind of exercise some demons in Houston, and this is a brand new Warrior squad. Deep three, Steph Curry, perfect. He does that with such ease. Oh, how about that scooper off the glass? That is a video game offensive player, I'm telling you. Bumley going for the steal. Curry keeps it going. Whips it into the corner to the former son and Barbosa from three. Raymond, quick shot three. And Curry, another steal. A one on four, three. No other blue player in the lane. That's the confidence of Steph Curry. I think he's the key. As Andrew Bogut is the key for the Golden State Warriors, Miles Plumley is the key for the Phoenix Suns. And if Barbosa played for Brazil at the FIBA World Cup, lowers the shoulder. A shoulder that was injured last year also fractured his his arm. There's Green again. And the Suns have drawn to within two after trailing by nine. Oh, nice pocket pass by Curry. It's easy to play against a team that love to take threes. Barnes with the the pump fake. Here's Bogut with ten on the shot clock. The jump hook sweeps it home because they're balancing out on you like that with Bogut. They'll go inside to him. They'll go to Eagle Dom. Here's Curry without hesitation from downtown. Isaiah, you can't lose it. I mean, yeah, he was yeah. still over on the Clippers yeah. bench. Well, in this world of networking, isn't that what you do? Look for another job while you have a good job? <laughs> Here's Curry fighting through and scoops it home. He doesn't give up. See, and you think that he's going to pick the ball up off his dribble, and he just doesn't. Here's Iguodala. Baseline drive. Whisk it around. Why not? That one counts. Curry with another three. He's four for six. That's 18. And first half on the steal. And he twirls it in. What a sequence for Stephen Curry. Here's Curry with 22 at the half. How about 24 now? Uh, he's got the left. He's got the right. Doesn't matter. I mean, again, that's why he's so difficult to go. And the Suns are the second best turnover or fast break team in the NBA. Here's a beautiful pass from Curry. 8.50 to go on the fourth. A look at the free throws. Great night for the Suns, and then Barnes comes right back. Yeah, that's Curry. That's one leg at shot. Curry steps into it. Now into the paint. 28 for Curry. I mean, off balance, too. Oh, what a move by Curry and the give to Bogan. Got to be smart on offense there if you're Gerald Green. They've outscored the Warriors, the best offensive team in the league, 29 to 10. Barbosa. The last 60 trips in, the Warriors have only eight wins in this building. And so the Suns and the Warriors their first loss of the season. They do it with a spectacular fourth quarter. The Warriors will regroup and get ready for the world champions on Tuesday. Brooklyn wanted to coach, go inside early, establish their big man. He struggled as of late, but got a good basket inside there. And here is Curry. Steph Curry, you know, both these teams, this is a bounce back game. Tough losses recently, want to come out and certainly Golden State take care of home and Brooklyn wants to do well here on the road trip as Thompson misses a, a layup.
Thompson fires and hits. Golden State wants to push the tempo, certainly get the ball out, get easy baskets in transition, and Clay Thompson, not just a spot-up shooter, but now can put the ball on the floor and make plays. Barnes not able to hit. Thompson keeps it alive. Here's Green Green with a three, and over to go, does it again. Here's Green for three. The pace here is just incredible. Just down in a hurry, but the ball pass picked off by Iguodala. Thompson, two minutes, two minutes. This space wide open. Great pass by Steph Curry, and I like when Iguodala is in there with Steph Curry. You can slide Curry over to the two position, let him come off the screens, and certainly he finds the open man and gets the finish. Green around Garnett. Thompson is open for a three. But the question is, can the quick tempo lead to more turnovers, uh, which it has, particularly with uh, Steph Curry who is leading the lead. It's just under five per game, but the assist for Curry on the setup for Green. I mean, basically, when they're on the floor, they are the guys uh, with the basketball. Another beautiful move by Garrett Jack. This Green is a lot Raymond Green showing us the entire repertoire. He's hit a couple of threes. Thompson, four three. 13 points. Clay Thompson, that's his third from downtown. Iguodala on the hop. And Thompson comes up short, but a foul is called. Shows you more how explosive this team is when your best players really not doing much on the offensive end, and you're still in a nice groove offensively. Well, that just ended. <laughs> Steph Curry able to knock down a three. Both teams having their difficulties at the offensive end. And a careless pass by Curry, but he gets it back. And the feed Thompson playing volleyball off the backboard, and he draws the foul. Brooklyn is trying to find the rhythm offensively and struggling here. And this game is not over. If they can start making some baskets. As Draymond Green knocks down another three-pointer for the Warriors. Oh, Curry, a beautiful pass. He saw Plumley had his head turned and took advantage. Bogut, great recognition, running to the rim and finding, finding him by Curry with the open dunk. Curry, Thompson, Iguodala, and a three-guard lineup. Curry off the ground. Nice move by Steph Curry. Thompson, right down the lane. Went right at Plumley. Went right at Plumley. Last year, you didn't see a lot of that, but Thompson has worked at his ball handling, not just settling for the jump shot. He's <laughs> flying by Curry and he knocks down a three-pointer. And Steph Curry with his second three-pointer of the night. Oh, Bogut on the strip. Here's Curry ahead of the field and Curry lays it home. And uh, this could be a turning point. The tip by Bogut. The block by Bogut leading to the bucket by Curry. Meanwhile, the Warriors have missed their last five shots plus a turnover. They led by as many as 15 points. Curry hits the three. A design play to get Curry the ball, and that was a tough shot right there. Coming off the screen with Jack in his face, but he knocks it in. Golden State settling for a lot of jump shots, but not making them. Be nice to get to the basket. He did just that, and that ball was deflected, but still went down. Thompson with a catch and shoot. Clay Thompson hits from downtown. That's his fourth three-pointer. Green finding Thompson. It was left open. Good luck by Draymond Green, and Lionel Holland will not be happy about that sequence. 105-96 Golden State. That does it. Warriors go to 6-2, and two. they bounce back following the losses to uh, Phoenix and San Antonio. They keep the turnovers down, only 11 committed. And the Nets lose their second straight coming off. They defeated Phoenix last night after leading by as many as 19. So the Nets are now 4-4 four four as they head to Portland for a Saturday night game to finish up a 
three-game road trip. Saturday night, they'll pack it into Oracle. Busy week at home for the Warriors. Brought to you by Mercedes. It's the Charlotte Hornets and the Warriors. Fun to say Charlotte again as the Warriors take the floor in a game that's especially important to their point guard, Steph Curry, seeing his hometown squad. Harrison Barnes dropping in the three. Warriors out of bounds plays have been very effective in the early part of the season. Staff finding Bogut at point blank range. So Bogut's got a couple buckets, making himself available more in the lane. After the back shot, they had a lead of 20 plus points. And they ended up losing the point like two. A lot to Bogut. Oh, that is a point of view. But that spacing and then the defense just gets lost a little bit and they get behind by just a split second and it's over. Steph Curry responds. New Watch is a very solid shooting. Warriors 9 of 16. Charlotte 8 of 15. Steph Curry. Anderson losing the handle. Steph push ahead. Guess who's leaking out? It's Barbosa. That was one of the highlights prior to the opening tip. Hey, Thompson right to the rim. That was pretty. Picked up the foul, but seen so much more of this from Clay this year. And what was amazing, it was pretty easy against a team that prides itself on defense. They offered Sean Livingston more than the Warriors did in more years. And Clay Thompson hitting the three. That's the thing to tell you. 60 seconds ago, you say he hasn't scored yet, and he changes that in a hurry. Warriors keeping the Hornets at 39% shooting. Clay Thompson, I mean, you said it, partner. Hey, he hasn't scored. You look up, well, he scored a lot now. He's got eight. Hey, his, his ball handling skills and his first step, either with a live dribble or off the dribble, is very potent. Clay knocked that one. Very model handles. Didn't get the charge, which was nice. And Clay Thompson, the three. He goes from not scoring to be the team's leading scorer. First player in double digits for the Warriors. Anderson fell down, and Steph took advantage. Look at on the back down. He got a good look inside, just rimmed out. Steph steals the rebound. Setting up Clay Thompson. We saw Barbosa do it, and now Curry sneak inside. Shot clock at five. Clay Thompson, game ground, blocked the shot. Clay on Kemba Walker, setting up Draymond. Another offensive rebound, another pass. The ball is hopping. Now Gary Neal's hurt. Well, I mentioned about Steph and his dad, Dell. When does he first remember playing? He was six months old, obviously. I said, where are you at, three, four? He said, yeah, right around four, five. I remember going to games and watching. He paid attention. I also always clear that. I asked Dell, because he's, he knew the last couple of years at Davidson that Steph was going to be an NBA player. I said, did you ever realize and dream that he would become this good? And he said, not in my wildest dreams. Steph Curry hits the three. I, I never, ever thought that he could be this good. And if you're wondering, Steph was born in Akron, Ohio, just a couple years after that LeBron James guy was born in Akron, Ohio. So what's going on in Akron? Harrison Barnes three. Harrison feels a part of it now, doesn't he? He, just, he is so fluid. I'm so glad you said that. Clay Thompson's hot as a firecracker, right? He made the extra Two pass to get Harrison into it. That Curry. That was like a layup. The defense absolutely disappeared back into the lane and left the great shooter wide open. Clay Thompson. Another three. Thompson. Curry back to Bogut. How pretty is that? Bogut. Barnes pays it off for the three. His whole body language is night and day different from last year and even from the first few games this year. Clay Thompson is fouled. Clay 
Lake setting up Bogan again. Steve Clifford must be uh, pulling his, well, whatever hair is left in. And Curry came up with the steal. He get down on off to the races. He get down on down the lane and Spates filling the lane. And drawing the foul. I'm glad they completed that. Anderson wasn't able to make the Warriors pay. Lane Thompson in transition, another three. Man, they missed a layup. They have the numbers that they're in. It's just not going right for Steve Clippers team. In that huddle, Coach Kerr thought the team was getting a little bit loose, he told the guys. He said, we're starting to make some risky passes. Let's make the easy play. Let's tighten up. Let's finish this quarter strong. Steph Curry, opportunity for a three-point play. Final minute of the third. Began with a 21-point lead. They rose it up to 30. It's at 24 now. Steph to Barbosa. What a nifty assist for Steph Curry, his nine. He's got quite a line tonight, Steph does. 16, 9, and 5. Steph Curry, three! That's the way to end it. No need to shoot. Won it very comfortably. Foot leads as high as 34. Got the rest of all the starters. And we'll deal with the Lakers and finish that six games in nine days. City of Angels, downtown Los Angeles, full house tonight. Lakers wearing their Sunday whites, coming out onto the court. This evening, the Lakers take on the Golden State Warriors. Boozer down low after Clay Thompson missed at the other end. And Boozer, no, but the guy who leads the entire NBA in offensive rebounds, Jordan Hill gets one, but Bogut slams as they run the floor in transition. In fact, he has 17 blocks this year. The entire opposing teams have 17 total. All right, Kobe's one for two as he makes his second field goal attempt. But you notice how quick they inbound the ball and they get it in the operational zone. You just don't have time to really do any type of celebrating what you shouldn't be doing anyhow. Well, bad defense right there and an easy one for Draymond Green. Steph Curry has two assists to start the game. Bryant got two buckets. He scored more points against this, this franchise than any other franchise in the NBA. This feast on the Warriors. Curry, Bogut trying to go three for three. He is. As soon as Steph is getting this kind of penetration off the dribble, the perimeter guys have got to start looking to find where Bogut is because that's what Steph is looking for. The Lakers haven't won a conference game, of course, yet. Roll around comes in, and Kobe has six points. Steph Curry, good pass to Bogut. Bogut is perfect from the field. Eight points and a block. You can see how the Warriors are getting most of their production. 14 of their 17 in the paint. Well, they had 62 points in the paint against the Lakers in game one. That's an opponent high for the Lakers this year. Down the middle of Bogut. Is he going to be perfect? Nope. Finally, Human misses right at the rim. Why didn't he try to dunk that one? I mean, he tried to be cute with it and came up short. And it results in a basket along two for Kobe Bryant. And Curry will bring it up. He and the Clay each averaging over 24 points a game. Bogut with the left hand just sweeps it through. So he obviously loves the matchup that he's facing in there. How about this recipe? The Warriors are the number one field goal shooting team in the NBA. And that's one of the reasons why. Nobody's nobody's better. Brian. Of course, the Lakers now playing any defense at the other end. Kobe, it's all about Kobe for the Lakers right now. So after not well, making one basket in the last game. He's already made five here tonight. Kobe outside. That was a deep three by Bryant, who leads the team in threes. Kobe fall away, jump shot. That's off the back of the rim. He's going to get it and try it again. Got it. Well, Kobe obviously says, I'm doing it myself. Oh, great pass by Bryant. Slam dunk at Davis, basically right at the buzzer. Lakers have missed nine straight baskets or shots. Kobe trying to end it, he does. Nothing but net for Bryant. See that, that another very difficult shot. Kick it over to Curry. Creates some space, gets away from Price, and he hits the three ball. You can't be the help man if you're guarding Curry. Kobe, that's a long two. He was uh, looking for the foul. 
signal three, but he had lost so clearly in the line. It looked like down the middle goes Bogan. He puts it up and in. He gets hit and fouled. This is going to be an and one. That is beautiful passing, unselfish passing by Golden State, and a good dive by Bogut. By the way, LeBron James has the uh, longest current streak of consecutive 20-point games or more against one franchise, 34 against the Celtics. Make it 32 in a row, 20-plus games for Kobe Bryant now against the Warriors. He could add to that total, and he does once again with Clay Thompson draped all over him. You know, Clay has been there defensively. Kobe's just made some real tough shots tonight again. Curry trying to lay it off. Lakers steal it away. That's turnover number four for Golden State. Ahead for Bruiser. Puts it up and in. Now the Lakers get a transition basket. Into the corner. Rush. Short. Rebound. Ronnie Price up for Kobe. Let's it go. Triple. Three ball. Kobe Bryant continues his personal onslaught. Good pass by Bogut. Cut. Basket. Steph Curry. Price. Rebound Andrew Bogut, taken now by Curry. Minute and a half to go. Curry's going to let it go, and it's going to go in. Three ball, three pointer. That is their seventh three play. Thompson. And he's fouled and will get a three point chance. Clay Thompson shooting more free throws. He gets aggressive. That time he gets an assist. And Steph Curry nails the three. Here is Bryant underneath, working, put it up, foul. Two free throws. Oh, he used his body pretty well that time on Bogut. Barnes in the first half, 10 nice points. Nice back cut. Yeah, great. Easy stuff. Points in the paint. Add two more, 34 of them for Golden State. Curry too easy. Just found a little bit of space. They lost one last night. They'll be back in action soon. So check it out. It's a very intimate place to watch uh, basketball, too. The Toyota Sports Center. Draymond Green hits from the outside. He's got a three-pointer now in seven straight games. Baby steps for Draymond. Yeah, those are real babies. Yeah, here he is. He did have his long three-point streak ended. Not quite as long as Corbers. Two in a row for Green. Bruiser. Rebound, Bogut. Did a nice job of drop stepping, but did not finish. Transition, counted foul. Jeremy Lin, hands in the air. Not going to make a difference. Curry and Thompson are over 24 now. It's when LeBron and Dwayne Wade did it. It's interesting, Shaq and Kobe did it three straight seasons where each of them played at least 75% of the games, and they scored at least 24 points. The number on Kobe's back. He scores and gets fouled. Wanted to mention that because Shaq's in attendance tonight and still sitting in his courtside seat. Kemba shot three for 14 with Steph on it most of the night. Yeah, he's making up for it, huh? Rainbow for Curry. Kobe Bryant fires again. Kobe's got 38 in his 26 minutes. Curry. Ran into his dad, of course, the other night when Charlotte was in town. He's a Look how easy TV broadcaster for him. Is scoring, though. Yeah. I mean, it's just too easy. Kobe, he's got 40. You leave Kobe in long enough, he could hit 50. You can go right down the line. Three for 10 for Wesley, three for 13 for Boozer. Well, how about the two point guards? Jerry Lynn hasn't scored. He's 0 for 2. Lynn and Price, the Ronnie two point guards. 0 yeah. for 1. Starting point guards haven't scored for the Lakers. Steph Curry now up to 28 with on 16 shots. With 14 assists. Kobe lets it go. Kobe's got 42. Iguodala has certainly been up and down in his play this year. Here's a three on two. Oh, what a pass. What a pass. And they're just having too much fun at the expense of the Lakers. That's his 15th assist. It's 115 to 77, 38 point lead as Kobe now scores 44 points in the game. Golden State's going to move to 8 2. Lakers are going to be 1 and 9, and a difficult road trip upcoming. Atlanta, Houston, Dallas. That's a key player, Reggie Jackson, to try to contain him in their offense. Clay Thompson, deep two. Shot clock at 10. Jackson hides behind Adams, misfiring, and Draymond Green will track it down. Steph Curry from deep, and dropping that in, so a very good beginning 
in a building that has been unkind to the Warriors. Steph Curry, kind of a warm-up jumper, all set up by Bogut. I love that kind of easy shot. Here's the lob. And speaking of hitting the lob, Bogut putting it in. Still loving to shoot. Well, they cut down the turnovers. That's one of the reasons. He thought it was just a little too risky to throw inside. Hey, Thompson putting it up and out, but he draws the foul. I love the way he sizes up the defense now. Draymond Green with a three. Andre Roberson is bouncing around inside. Clay with a steal. Pushing to Curry. Using the English to finish. Steph shed the defense and bottoms a three. Spates rolling and finishing and drawing the foul. Steph Curry, the patience, they, they are desperate. Iguodala, nice find from Clay Thompson. He just kind of crept along the baseline and no one discovered him. Livingston saved the turnover. These double teams extended defense. And Clay Thompson, shooter's roll for the three. With a soft touch. Clay Thompson, three. So here's the Smalls against yep. Ibaka and Collison up front. Steph Curry right down the lane. Now, that was pretty. I don't even like to hear that word orbital. Low space. He's in orbit. He's got 12 on five of seven shooting. And Ibaka trying to tie it. Roberson mistimed his jump. Harrison, good find. And it doesn't have to be just scoring. Harrison Barnes set up Clay Thompson on that play. Adams missing the dunk. Morrow hounding Steph Curry, the former teammates. Steph nearly lost it, somehow got it to Clay. Look at that! There we go, feet set, no dribble, boom. That's the one you want. He's hit two threes there in the last few minutes. High wire act for Curry. Curry has 14, Clay Thompson has 16. They're gonna hit threes, but they can't do it all by themselves. But in the first half, they're the reason the Warriors have the lead. Yeah, Steph tried to get a people involved early on, but the ball's not going down for him. So he just steps back, gets an easy two there. He's got five assists to go along with his 14 points. Two of four from three-point range. Dribbling in here, and he sets up. Clay Thompson, Clay Thompson was really good because he got two threes made six points in the last two and a half minutes of that second quarter. That's good ball movement. Lance Thomas lost the handle. Draymond, nice steal. I love the way he gave it up. Swing the ball. Clay Thompson finding space, and he somehow banks it in. I love that movement. You get cutters. Now Livingston's gonna handle to put Steph off the ball. Can Steph and Clay find the jumpers? And Clay Thompson, first bucket of the second half. The, the double team, you've got to find the open man. And he did. Spates is open, and there's the bucket. They leave the hottest shooter on the floor open, and he likes it. Curry comes up with a steal from Morrow, able to save it to Draymond. Clay Thompson shoveling to Azili, and Festus laying it in. No reason to foul. Reggie Jackson to Lance Thomas at will do it. The Warriors have won five in a row. They transition defense will be paramount for Miami tonight. Chalmers from Cole. Well, one miss layup apiece. Curry for three. Yeah, that's what you look at right there. They call that a drag. Eric. Coach Kerr says he's got a plan in mind, but he'll, he'll use it when Lee comes back. Book it on the throwdown off a gorgeous Curry lob. My man. Cole missing the last two as Curry buries a three. It's amazing. You can't give him an inch behind the screen. Largest lead of the first quarter for the Heat as Curry drives all the way in for the running hook. Yeah, he gets a launching pad, as Coach Riley calls it. He's got you. A 13-2 run for the Heat. They had a 10-0 run earlier. Right now, Miami's up by 15 and playing exceptionally well on the offensive end. Bosh! And Curry down with a rebound.
<laughs> he was running back before the ball went in. Think he's got any confidence? Wow. Now Steph Curry, three of four from downtown. Steve Kerr's Warriors trying to extend to a six straight win. That would be their best streak of the season. They won their first five. Beautiful drive and finger roll for Curry. Cole from behind had it blocked by Curry. Eight by nine, 245 left in the second quarter. Iguodala buries a three. Andre goes bottoms up on his ninth triple of the season and the Warriors sixth triple of the game. Curry uses the screen by Green to drill a three. And you can see how difficult this team is to defend. Steph Curry with 18 points. Chris Bosh has reached 20 points for the 12th time this season. And <laughs> Steph Curry delivers another triple. Wow. He is five of six from downtown and has 21 points. Curry unloads a three and hits it from his hip. Let me turn the broken play into another triple. Curry with six trades tonight. And that ties his season high. He had six triples and a win at Houston. He's tied with three others for the most in the league coming into the game. It's, you know, it's, it's six in, in a game. Spates got inside and scored easily on Ennis. Yeah, terrific pick and roll right there. You're concentrating on Curry, and he hits his teammate inside. Chalmers missed it on the reverse. Green outlets ahead for Curry. Racing with Shabazz and scoring. Well, that was terrific by Curry. You got you had Shabazz making him change in midair, and you thought that maybe Ennis would get it. But Curry was able to elude both of them. Haslam clanking up the jumper and Spates down with his fifth rebound. That's a tough shot for UD. Usually he shoots it with rhythm off yes. the pass. Oh, my. Oh, what a shot. Oh, he's incredible. Cole, did you see the post oh, shot man. wiggle for Curry? He now has the most threes made in the NBA this season with seven. Seven of nine from downtown for Curry. He's got 29 points. We're still in the third quarter, and this lead for the Warriors is growing. It's 86 to 8. The lob in for Thompson. Let the traffic clear and then laid it in after Ennis flew by. But Clay Thompson with 18. Curry's got five assists. The lob by Napier intercepted by Curry. Shabazz, by the way, still looking for his. Actually, he does have one assist. Was looking for his second. Fouled Curry on the drive. Uh, he'll be on the line. See if they go two for one here. I think he wants to. Oh, what a pass. Spates put it in with a right hand. Oh, off the dribble. Curry with a sixth assist. Curry Spates with eight points. Curry through a heater. Miami down by six. Their backs are to the wall right now with 335 left. They need some stops and scores. It is, it is interesting, though, Eric, with all of the oh my, what's that? His eighth? Eight triples for Curry in 11 tries. Timeout Miami. The Warriors on an 11 nothing run. Yeah, I'm going to say with all of the offensive numbers they have, they're still they are the best defensive team in the league. Draymond Green with a jam. The assist from Curry, who now has 35 points and seven assists. Warriors running away here in the fourth quarter. They've outscored the Heat 18 to 11. How about this breakdown, Eric? In this game, the Heat starting front court outscored the uh, Warriors front court 53 to 31. The Heat's bench has outscored the Warrior bench 26 to 19, but the starting backcourt has outscored the Heat 59 to 18. And Steph Curry, the key culprit in this Warriors uprising. He had 36 points here last January 21st when he also had eight triples. He was eight for 15 from downtown in that game. Steph Curry, few better in the NBA right now than him. Shot blocked by Sean Williams with a foul was on Norris Cole. So a 40-point night for Steph Curry. It's over. It's a 17-point loss. And uh, the Warriors roll out of here uh, another night. They gain respect here in South Florida and around the world, appreciating their high-quality play on both ends of the floor. They got 13 triples, 57% shooting, and they held the heat to 39%. Thanksgiving Eve midweek magic in Orlando, Florida. And tonight, one of the top teams in the NBA comes rolling into the Amway Center. It's a matchup of East against West, the Orlando Magic and the Golden State Warriors. Interesting just watching these guys, David, last night, how well they moved the basketball. And a steal by Bogut turns into two points by Harrison Barnes. Curry with the finger roll. Soft touch on the underhanded toss by <laughs> Steph Curry. Curry gets a screen up top and buries a three. Speaking of good looks, 
It doesn't take that young man very long or very much room to get a good look. Three-point shot. Good again by Steph Curry. Spades to Curry. Green. Curry wide open for three. He's three for three from deep. Maurice Spates. Boy, he was backing up. As soon as he turned it loose, he is shooting the ball with unbelievable confidence. Curry rising over Peyton. He's four for four from deep. And, and there's not really anything that Alfred could do any better than what he did. Curry for two. 16 for Curry on six of seven shooting. Channing Fry finds the three-point line, but not the bottom of the basket. Steph Curry to the front court. Let's it fly from deep. Curry good again. Five for five from beyond the arc. That, that young man's special. I don't know how else to say that was some move right there. Curry missed a shot, but he's going to the line at 93%. Curry draws the foul again. He'll shoot three this time. Steve Kerr, former Shaq's, teammate. Deserve Shaq's rookie year. Steve played with the Magic for uh, 47 games in 92-93. Yeah. Says it was, he barely remembers it. It was a <laughs> long time ago, and for about three months he was here. Curry comes off the screen and knocks down a two. I had a lot of fun with he and Tom Tolbert. A couple of West Coast guys in Orlando. Yeah. Harrison Barnes on a nice Harrison drive. Barnes. A little pick and roll between he and Curry. And he's doing a nice job going under the arms of Hooch there. Oh boy. Nice move by Thompson. He finishes at the rim. Curry back to green. Nice he's a, pass. He's a great example. He, yeah. All right, David, that last time out, Channing not too happy with the effort. He said, guys, we do great. We go out there and play so well, but then we stop. We're not good enough to do that. We can't get away with that. And then Jock Vaughn wanting more of that unselfish play you guys just talked about. He said, every play you make out there, think about your teammate first, then yourself. Penetrate, get into the lane with the mindset of how can I get a teammate open. Hurry, weaving in traffic. Out to Draymond Green. He knocks down a three. It seems like it's contagious. Well, I tell you, Curry does such a nice job getting through traffic. You're just so focused in on him, and all of a sudden, a quick pass, and there's a guy standing wide open at the arc. Green, same spot, same result. Ten for Draymond Green. Back-to-back -back threes. Well, a late Thanksgiving means we're right in the teeth of the holiday season, and a happy holiday to you and to yours. And tonight, somebody streaked Hopefully we'll end, maybe two. Well, it'll have to happen if the Hornets are to win tonight. Golden State's win streak of seven straight will have to come to an end. Here comes Curry. Gonna have to, Walker's going to have to stay close to Steph. He gets a lot of screens. Bogut drops it in. You see the type of movement side to side. Steph ran from one end to the other, and then you pay so much attention to him. Bogut right there for a layup. Here's Steph in the lane. Green gets the deflection. That's Seller on step there, and that three is good. <laughs> Seven footer, he'll take him on. Curry. Green. Nice shot. There's Curry. Thompson feeds Bogut. Nice cut by Curry to get the basket. Step at the elbow. It's almost too easy. Comes Alibor on Bogut. Rebound comes to Green. Curry turns the corner. Nice pass to Draymond Green, and he gets the basket. You see Draymond set the screen to the top of the floor, and he takes a straight line to the front of the rim because Steph's drawing so much attention. Kimba tried to bounce it to Al, but Steph Curry had different plans with the steal. It's an eight-point Golden State lead. Max Seal charges down the lane, has it stripped by Curry, re-stripped by Hairston, but he couldn't catch up with it. Curry's pass deflected. Bogut picks it up and finds Steph on the baseline. Fortunate play right there for the Warriors. 
Hornets would like to get that ball. You've got to get 50-50 ball. That's an easy, cheap basket. Here's Curry with a handle underneath. Nice play by Steph Curry. Boy, those Under Armour guys, they love competing against one, of other, one another. Kemba at the foul line. Curry got a piece of it. Bogut with a loose ball. Biggest lead of the night for the Hornets. It's 10. Curry. It doesn't last long. Steph now with 14. Curry finds Spates. My word. Maurice Spates with 16 fourth quarter points. Kemba speeds by. Back out to Robert stolen by Thompson. Here comes Curry. And he gets it to go. Steph Curry behind between two defenders to score 95-90. Six for eight from two-point range, one for ten from three. Here comes Spates at the top. Jefferson double teamed in the post. Three on the shot clock. Kemba with Curry on him. Fires a three. No. Igadala. Curry leads the pack and will finish. A seven-point edge for Golden State. Crowd on its feet under two to go. Curry down the lane, drives and hits. The three's not working for Steph, but the two's working just fine. Hairston gets it on a switch, fires the three, no. Rebound taken by Curry, and time runs out on the Hornets. Very nice start for the Pistons defensively, and they're able to score quickly by getting that ball up the floor. Curry down the lane, guns off the heel. Can't hit it, but another piston foul. George, I like the fact that they're getting into their offense quickly before Golden State can fully set itself defensively. Raymond Green practicing a lot from behind the long line before the game made a payoff there. Raymond Green to Curry, driving, reversing, and scoring off the square. 13 10 Pistons. There's a lot to deal with, George, off the dribble like that. Iguodala replaced Harrison Barnes, driving a scoop and a score. From Curry, Pistons with a lead. Greg Monroe from the lane. Oh, tough luck, miss in and out. Maurice Spates, who's been on fire in the ball game for Golden State. Meantime, Barbosa, who you know can score off the bench, gets his first deuce. It's 20 to 16. Got to go back inside in the pick and roll. Can't get it done. Barbosa on the run out, lays it in, and now we're tied at 20. Steph Curry down the lane, floats it up and in. He has all that type of stuff. I thought the Pistons initially did a nice job of getting to him and taking away that three-point look, but this guy can put it on the floor and manufacture a shot. That's what he did against the, the Hornets. Sideline to Clay Thompson. The long gun goes. They made a play, and now they lead by eight. Raymond Green triples. That's Three threes in a row. 46-39 Golden State. Steph Curry topside for three, and that is through. He only needs an inch of daylight, and the shot is off. One for two, but Josh Smith has the rebound. Finds Kyle Singler alone for the long gun. Short. Harrison Barnes boards it. Six seconds to play in the half. Four seconds, now three for Steph Curry. The bounce to Draymond Green, floats it up at the horn and fills it up. What a finish for the Warriors. They have their biggest lead of 13. Draymond Green with a dribble handoff to Steph Curry. Gunning got it. Yeah, that was easy. Too easy, George. Bogut dribble hands to Curry, dishes to Green, the wing gun goes from behind the long line. Is he having a game or what? Pistons can't score on a Josh Smith drive. Steph Curry, topside to Green, got his feet together and knocked it down again from behind the long line. 20 point Golden State lead. Curry through everybody. Smash down on a block shot. And we're going to get a whistle and a piston foul. Now it's high on his list. Curry, after the Pistons nearly got a steal, drives it down the lane and draws the foul. It's on Josh. He's go way outside of the big man, Maurice Spates. 
Livingston goes to Steph Curry inside to space. Flips it up and fills it up. He rattled it home. And the Warriors dribble out the clock and win the ball game. Ten consecutive games won by Golden State. Ties a record if they win tonight. Barnes outside. If they win 11 straight, it would go back to the 71-72 Warrior team and match the all-time winning streak for this franchise. Great feed from that guy, Steph Curry, player of the month. Holiday the other night when he was taking on the terrific guard of Oklahoma City in Westbrook, held him to a 6-17 night. And Drew Holiday, the former 76er, Hits and he's got four. Holiday, a former 76er All-Star. Yes. Curry knocks down his first three of the evening. They find the cutter. And that is Barnes with a great feed from point guard Steph Curry. In all my travels, people say, what's the difference between this Golden State Warriors team and the one under Mark Jackson? Defensively, they're pretty much the same. But offensively, Steve Kerr really has opened up the offense. Barnes and Green, new starters this year for this Warrior team. A three! That's put up and in by Clay Thompson. Anderson on the mound. Curry. Oh, with a beautiful scoop home! How about the recognition there by Curry to have the taller and slower Ryan Anderson guarded him. Just put his head down and went right to the cup. Out of the line by Curry right there. Four and a half to play in the half. Now Davis is watching Curry, top two statistical players, head to head right here for the first time tonight. Good feed, Green. And Steph Curry comes up with another assist. He's got four with seven points. The stutter step by Curry and gracefully takes it in for two. Well, I'm going to give a lot of credit to Draymond Green. We were wondering, do you guys think uh, Coach K maybe brought him in in part, not only because he's bright? I love the ball movement by Golden State. Those were two wide open shots. One for Clay and one for Harrison Ball. Nice pass ahead to Green and to Davis. We're not even at the quarter pole yet. And we're talking Ooh. about MVP as He's Clay got four Thompson. Threes. Four of them. He would be in my top ten. Clay Thompson. Curry positions for a 15 footer. That's so easy for him. Oh. I mean, a little pump fake there to, to kind of move Tyreek Evans, and it's muscle memory. The try inside by Curry. Well, if you're Mon Monty Williams, you're going to have to get better guard play here. Clay Thompson, who began slow race, slow. but has uh, picked up his game here scoring as the game has gone on. Curry, three. <laughs> and Steph Curry with 19 points tonight. He's hit three threes. Still here by Steph Curry. Curry, Barnes, beautiful pass, great finish. And that typifies what Golden State this year is all about. Number one in assists, number one in the secondary assist. I watch the most and I love watching and kind of going to the gym and, and imitating was Reggie Miller. Um, he was a guy that never stopped moving on the court, always moving out the ball. And, um, you know, he hadn't had, I, didn't, I couldn't figure out how he shot the ball because it was so unorthodox, but the way he, <laughs> he knocked him down and showed up in big moments, that was always something, uh, a guy that I love watching on TV. Mm. Guys, he said that it's a big deal to him to have Reggie here calling his game and that uh, he had to zip up his shooting tonight. He knows Reggie likes a very clean shot, and he was uh, trying to, you know, straighten up a fly right tonight when Reggie was watching him. That's good stuff, Rachel. Thank yeah. you. Okay, I tell people, all in all my travels, Drazen Petrovic was the best shooter I've ever seen really? in my life. That I personally, right, or that, that I've seen. But I'm starting to question that now. With this kid. I really am. I, I think Steph Curry may go down as the best shooter this game has ever seen. Well, that is a lot coming from a Hall of Famer like you, and a Hall of Famer to be perhaps, and Ray Allen, who, and he certainly could put Ray in there. I would put Larry Joe. Yes, absolutely. But no bird was... all the guys I mentioned can't do what Steph Curry does with the basketball. The way he can score with the basketball Great and shoot from the command. Watch I mean, him look, at look at this. I know it. She talked about Steph. And... Oh, what, what a pass! pass. What, what a play and pass though by Steph Curry. He's got ten assists and nineteen points. The game is in good hands because we talked about at the top of the show. 
It's very unique and refreshing for these young players to want to be great. A lot of guys, they give you a lot of lip service. Steph Curry, Anthony Davis, they both want to be great. Oh, oh man, are you kidding me? Touch Seriously, it. man. Come on, man. This is, it does not get any better than that, does it? It's why they're so efficient. I mean, they look for one another. This team cares about one another. Warriors tonight committed only eight fouls, the fewest by any team in a game this season. They have now gone to 16 and two, five straight wins at home, 11 consecutive wins overall. And they have just tied the longest streak in the long history of this franchise with first-year head coach Steve Kerr. Well, Steph, I don't know if you know this. You guys just tied the franchise win streak. In the long history of this franchise, you are now tied for the longest winning streak. What does that say about this team and what you've accomplished? We're off to a good, great start, and um, we got to keep it going. We're lasered in on our focus every single night, um, not getting too ahead of ourselves. and. It's showing, um, you know, just winning a lot of different ways. This was the first game of a stretch of real challenges for you guys, and your coach talked about you guys focusing and really buckling in. How did you do that tonight? Uh, the defensive end. Uh, we knew Andrew Davis was a you know, great player. They're playing well all season. Obviously, he had numbers, but just trying to make it tough on him and then not let other guys get going. Uh, you know, they only score 85 points. That's going to lead to a lot of success for us if we can uh, do that every night. Yeah, you passed me in the hallway earlier, and you said, that Anthony Davis, you know, he's pretty good. You guys think you two are going to be going at it for years and years to come? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not that young anymore, but he's, uh, he's definitely going to be around for a long time, you know, doing what he does. But, uh, you know, we're just you know, happy to get the win, and I think um, with the stretch coming up, like you talked about, this is a good start for us. Well, if he's the young whippersnapper, this is your time. Uh, good luck taking advantage of it. Thanks, Rose. Rose puts it on the floor, running in, and drew the foul. Thompson, that won't go, and he got a quick one up there. Rose, no, but he forced the issue, and he'll get back to the free throw line. Curry against Rose. And to Powell Gasol, and he dumped it. And you could hear Tom Thibodeau telling Derrick to go at Steph Curry. Curry fires. That's good. He drained that, and he has such a quick release. Here comes Derrick right back, though. Rose feeds Powell. Shot no. Rebound to Green ahead to Steph Curry. He fires on the move. Nobody's fouled shooting that. And that foul's gonna be on Derrick Rose. Dunleavy pull up and that's good. Draymond Green and that's good again. Well. Gasol off his uh, shoulder and then stolen by Bogut. Ahead to Steph Curry. Lead pass to Green. And that's going to be a timeout, I think, for Tom Thibodeau. The lead balloons to 12 at 20 to 8. Curry, he had a wide open look off a screen. And here comes Derek the other way. Derek, a pull up. That's good. Gasol rows deep. That's good. Steph Curry oh, wow. right on in. That's too easy right there. You got to make a decision on Steph Curry. You're going to double the ball and make him give it up. There's a Curry outside, and that's hammered down. Harrison Barnes again. And here comes Golden State right back. Curry. Wide open. Wide open. Bang. Down the well, well again. You know what? That, that's that's the Bulls defense right there because Jimmy Butler's man got the three, but Jimmy scored the bucket on one end and failed. Someone's got to match up and take Jimmy's man so he's able to get back. There's a steal. Behind his back. Running in. Block. But a foul on Jimmy Butler. And Bogut was always more offensive-minded. But now relishes the role of passer. There's wow. a Curry with a nice move. And he's just kind of playing like he's on a playground by himself. There's the pass to Noah. There you go. Nice pass by Derrick Rose. And that's what you got to do. Move the basketball from side to side. That's all double-digit rebound night. Rose off balance. No, Jimmy Butler. 
Rose, and now Dunleavy got it. There you go, one extra pass. Good job by Mike Dunleavy to get to his spot on the floor, and now Steve Kerr with a timeout. There's Butler with a steal. Rose got the Oh, side. there you go. And Derrick Rose now starting to find the open guy. Six assists for D. Rose. Oh, that's a pretty drive by Draymond Green off a pretty pass that uh, stopped the bleeding for the moment. Here's Curry. Turns, fires, and banks it in. Again, that high ball screen. Right down there. Derrick Rose got picked almost at the half court mark. Curry, catch and shoot. Wow. Somebody's got to let them know that Draymond Green can shoot the basketball. 7 of 12 on the three point line, 10 of 18. And you look at the three Here points. Here he is again. Loose and driving for a layup. High energy a, guy. High boy, energy guy. And they have notched their 17th win of the year as the Bulls fall to 12 and 8. 112 to 102. The Golden State Warriors prevail here tonight. Now there's no double team yet here against Dirk, and he hits the baseline jump good. shot. If you're going to get. Uh, Thompson matched up against Dirk Nowitzki. You better come right away. That's a match, mismatch Dallas can take advantage of. Blow to Steph Curry. Yeah, they score so many different ways. The shot clock getting away from Dallas now. They got to do something. Jefferson drives in the lane and comes up short. Pretty good darn defense. That's the other thing this team is doing well, defending as they just demonstrated there. Number one in field goal defense. Opponent shooting 41%. Number one in defensive rating. Opponent scoring 94 and a half points per 100 possessions. Chandler Parsons has been really good offensively for the last couple of weeks for the Mavs, so they'll miss him. They'll miss a guy scoring 26 a game over the last three, shooting 64% as Steph Curry knocks one down from long range. Catch and shoot for Dirk, mid-range off target. Rebound Harrison Barnes. The Mavs win was 112-107 on Wednesday night over the Pelicans. Thompson sets his feet, hits another three ball. Three threes made so far by Golden State. Now Iguodala throws in for the oh. corner. Long three, Please. Steph Curry. It's not fair. They shouldn't let him do that. Just make that at some sort of violation. Yeah. He's shooting too far away. You have to guard this guy as soon as he gets on the bus. Spates, 27 years old, has played with Philadelphia, Memphis, and Cleveland. Now in his second year with the Warriors, there's Whittingston down the lane and scoring. And Golden State has a 30 point and counting first quarter. Last minute of the first quarter, Maria turnover, Curry on the run out, Curry caught the pass and on the reverse against Harris scores. Oh, so nifty with the left hand that time. Into the lane, Maria off target. Last year against Dallas, Thompson averaged 18 points a game and Curry averaged almost 24 points a game. And now Curry has 13 today to go with 10 for Thompson as Curry hits the deep corner three. Montez gets inside, can't finish. And Tyson Chandler couldn't tip it home in traffic. His tip out was picked up by Steph Curry. And here's Curry running the break. Iguodala finds Thompson. That was a good find to Thompson in the corner, but the three is missed. And the rebound is steered to the sideline and kept in play by Golden State. And finished with a dunk by Draymond Green. Here's a drive by Steph Curry and a layup for Steph Curry. That's just smart. That's just great recognition. Dirk switches off on him. Opposed to shooting at three, he takes it right to the rim. Three-point try, Richard Jefferson. Long rebound, Curry has it. Clay Thompson leaked out, and he will have the easy dunk. Jefferson can't go for that rebound there. He was the last guy back when he shot the ball. And so many times, I mean, as a 20 is taken by the Mavs. That's the way you play today is if you're the defender and you close out on the shooter, you just keep on going the other way. You just release and go the other way. Interesting note about the Warriors and speaking to their team defense. According to basketball reference, they allow the fewest opponent made layups. Only 201 layups made by opponents against Golden State this year. Differential of four seconds. Here's a runner by Curry. Way up over. That's a giant killer. Yes. The big teardrop over Chandler. Thompson, a quick catch and shoot three. They can let the air out of the yes. building. <laughs> Curry into the paint, and a scoop shot goes in. He avoided the offensive foul and tossed one in off the back. Talking about having control of yourself. Curry to green, acrobatic finish with a foul. Never put his left hand on that. That's pretty doggone. Pretty doggone special right there. Backdoor cut, Steph Curry lay up high off the glass. That's and out of the timeout. That's a giant killer, Mark. That, yeah. that Steph Curry puts up above. The centers in this league. And a matchup with the Mavericks. 
for one game against Dallas when Golden State can go small against the Mavericks small lineup they can survive a game yeah, without I, I totally agree yeah. with you. It's almost like you wanted to see David Lee and Bogut tonight just for the pace itself. Yeah, yeah so they don't go small and yeah. just run around and yeah. do Put all so the much. things that they do. The Mavs end up shooting just over 40 percent and it is a 105 98 final score Golden State defeats Dallas. The Mavericks are now 18 and or 17 and 8. Beg your pardon. Golden State's 20 and 2. Thompson. I'm able to hit this time, but it's uh, picked up by Robertson. Here comes Westbrook. Pulls it off to the jumper. Yes. You know, I, I don't know if there's a prettier jumper going full speed end to end, stopping at that 15 foot mark by Westbrook passing the ball. Oh, Westbrook exploding on a foul call. Basket without count. Russell Westbrook. And the great part about it, you mentioning guys that are helping their team just like that guy helps his team every night from the starter's position. Curry defending Westbrook. Barnes playing direct. Shot clock to three. Westbrook for three. Oh. They re-injected it back into the spot to try and heal up the process, get the healing process moving a lot faster. Told that he can't do any activity for about a week. But the most important thing that Steve Kerr told us is that Bogus is in great shape and that he'll get back to play pretty soon. Structurally, no problems, Marv, so good news on that end. Green, yes. Raymond Green, who's played so well. Steve Kerr has gone with Green as the starter, and Andre Iguodala, the veteran, comes off the bench. Not a good shot by Spade. Oh, Westbrook able to penetrate. And the Thunder looking sharp here. 10 of 14 from the field. Ibaka from downtown. So they are on fire. From three-point rank, five for seven overall. Ibaka gets the roll. Oklahoma City with a 32 team lead and four minutes to go. Westbrook. 11 for Westbrook, 16 for Durant. Green has rejected that account. That is a goal 10. Westbrook try to readjust on that shot to pop. Curry for three. Yes. He gets rid of the ball so quickly. It's an excellent story on uh, Steph Curry yesterday's Wall Street Journal written by Ben Cohen pointing out how Steph has basically overhauled his shot there. Makes the steal. Goes behind the back. Oh, the layup blown. And now I think that is Westbrook is. Foul, 11 point lead by Oklahoma City. They've led by as many as 17. Mark Abbott, Chris Webber, Lewis Johnson from Oakland, California as Morrow is able to hit and that's a two. They're able to pull it back, finds equal down for three. Yes! So the 17 point lead has been cut to five. Here's Curry. And Barnes on a catch and shoot for three. You know, there's two guys that make a left-handed pass that no matter how they do it, they can sit and pass the ball against a wall all day and I would watch. And that's Curry and Steve Nash. That beautiful left-hand hook pass. Play on the hot Raymond Grant. Able to put it home. And speed again. This time Curry with the finish. And Green with the assist. Bad of defense. We have not seen much of that in this first half. The steal by Bond. Curry for three goals. The lead is down to one. Steph Curry hits his third three. A 34-18 run by the Warriors to come right back. Foul is called on the Warriors. 17 point lead at one stretch for Oklahoma City and Golden State able to come back. Curry off the dribble and then pops it back out to Thompson. There's Clay Thompson, nowhere to go, but got it to Curry. Fires. Yes! Once again, the quick release by Steph Curry and able to hit from downtown. That's his fourth three, one for ten from. The three-point line the other night against Memphis, so he has come roaring back. Curry goes behind the back. Curry on the scoop! A rare appearance 
for the second year player for University of Washington, Justin Holliday, who's come on for Golden State. Durant for three, yes. Kevin Durant with 25 points. That's his fourth from downtown. Here's Durant falling away, another three-pointer. Am I watching the video game? Three down the post. Beautiful pass from Curry. What the finish? You know, Marv, I definitely agree that they need Bogut, but I don't know if they miss him. <laughs> the way that these guys have been playing, they definitely need him. But what they can do. It is hard to make an argument when you're 20, <laughs> 21 and 3 and had a 16 game win streak. Curry now with 21 points. But I think they uh, they missed the smarts of uh, Bogut. Adams able to take to the rim. There's Jones working off the pick. Jones starting the second half. Here's Curry. It's time a two-pointer for Steph Curry. You take two dribbles, fake back, come to the middle for a jump hook, or you face up and shoot right over him. But one of the most improved players this league has seen, but maybe needs to get down to that post as Westbrook knocks down another three. Ibaka the other night of the win over Sacramento, just three for ten. Space able to knock it down. I got to spend a lot of time with Draymond Green this summer at a camp and Watched him work with kids and got to talk to him as you see Perkins there with the rare jump shot. The rest were coming in following up like a big fella, but got to spend time with Draymond Green and really loved his attitude. Talked to Coach Dizzo. Out a three-second differential. There's Westbrook to the rim. Strong move, five seconds left. Steph Curry back down the floor, finding Livingston. 16th turnover committed by Oklahoma City. Here's Curry on that quick release. Another three for Steph Curry. That's five for the night. Westbrook, right back. He had that cold spell, but he's come out again. He now has 25. That's his third from downtown. Westbrook, yes. Make it 27 for Russell Westbrook. He just made that piece of make sense. <laughs> Curry getting inside. Levinson defending on Westbrook. He gets the step and his foul. Westbrook using the pick. And now the pull up. 31 for Westbrook. And it is all Westbrook. And he's able to drill it. First lead for the Thunder since back in the first half when they had a 48 47 advantage. They were clinging to that lead after they led by as many as 17. Curry, yes. Warriors by one. Curry on the hesitation move. Takes it home. Timeout called by Scott Brooks, Harv Albert, Chris Weber, Lewis Johnson. We're in the Bay Area at Oracle in Oakland. Curry gets inside and scores. And the Golden State Warriors have defeated the Oklahoma City Thunder. 114-109 in a, a thriller. Steph Curry led the way. He had 34 points, 11 coming in the fourth quarter. Well, Steph, this game was back and forth in the final possessions. What got you guys over the top for the win? The second quarter, we really stepped up to the challenge. They hit everything in the first quarter. Right. Um, and we stepped up to the challenge, defending and getting back to our game. We closed the gap and actually took a lead. And, uh, it was a little ugly in the second half, but we kept our composure, got some stops. And got some, you know, Steve Kerr talked about the fact that you guys are only giving up 97 points a game, but you gave up 40 in the first quarter. Why did that happen, and how did you guys get this thing back into control? A guy named Kevin Durant. <laughs> um, he had a bunch of, you know, tough contested threes. And, uh, he took a hat to him. He lived some tough shots, but he defended pretty well. Um, but we tried to make him, you know, do some other things, make him see some uh, more bodies. And once we got some stops, we got in transition, and that's when we're at our best. Beginning of another streak? Hopefully. Um, why not, right? We, you know, really uh, came back strong after our, after the 60 game was over. Protect our home court and, uh, you know, long season, so we'll see what happens. Steph, great game. Happy holidays, man. Same to you. Thank you. Steph Curry has two 30-point, 10-assist games. Both of those have been against the Lakers. The Warriors have beaten L.A. 136-115 and 127-104. Curry, little runner. How about that? I love the way he pushed the ball ahead between defenders and then ran to it.
Very smart. Curry with a steal and the three. Mo Spates, his first playing time, along with Andre Iguodala. Oh, what a move by Curry. Smooth to the basket. Just schooled the Lakers. Lakers average over 108 points a game. They haven't scored a field goal in nearly seven minutes, and Steph Curry ends that. Nice move. Better finish. Play hitting a three in response. Now they're starting to respond here. Steph Curry, what English off the backboard. A little trickery. Shoots it on the way up with a little spin. Steph saved the day. He got a Zelia layup on what should have been a turnover. They're very fortunate there, but they'll take it. Steph Curry is doing everything right now. Estes. Pretty. That's pretty. Steph floating that in. Yeah, he's trying. And we've got a little injury here with Festus Azuli, his ankle. And Steph off the three-point line, and he buries the jumper. Steph Curry, another steal. We might just stop and pop this one. Does right on cue, so Steph is 8 of 11. Steph 3. He's getting into that torch mode right now. Three straight jumpers, and it's a 16-point game. Curry through the length of D and made it anyway. Until his pull Here he up, comes. His pull-up jump shot is on fire right now. Person on the reload and made it anyway. That's tough to do. Drops in the three. The dollar three, and he answers. That may change it. This first points of the game. And for the Lakers, a really nice win. First game Kobe misses all year. And LA played very well. They deserve to win the game. Warriors had a nice reserve unit stretch. And the Lakers, after getting blown out by the Warriors in two prior meetings, it's a good win on their home court. On Christmas night in Southern California, we welcome you to Staples Center in Los Angeles for game two of our Thursday night doubleheader matchup of two of the best teams in the NBA, the Golden State Warriors, the Los Angeles Clippers, as we extend happy holidays from all of us at TNT. And the Warriors had won 18 of their previous 19 Barnes with the steal. Curry and Green are back. Barnes lost the handle. Here comes Curry. Steph Curry with that gorgeous touch. That's a horse shot right there. In transition, one leg at the free throw line. But getting back to that Laker win against Golden State, if there's any definition as Steph Curry in transition, five quick points for Golden State. Shot clock down to three. What a move by Curry. Spates with the bucket. Oh, no, he didn't. Steph Curry with the split on the double team. Nice drop down assist to Maurice Spates. And Paul draws the foul. One for 11 shooting to this point by the Clippers. Hogan out with a bone condition in his right knee. Paul not able to hit. Paul with the recovery and scores. Spates. A tip miss. But Green able to retrieve. Here's Curry. Yes. And again, you saw that a quick release makes the catch and it's gone and picks up the two pointer. He was trying to get both feet from behind that three point line. Chris Paul, only his second field goal now, two for seven. He has. Eight points, here is Griffin, and there is the face-up jumper. Now to a minute left in this first half, and a six-point Golden State lead. Locked shot, Jordan with the rejection of Spates. Reddick for three. Livingston trying to back in, shooting over Paul. Paul with the rebound, trying to go behind his back. And a foul on Livingston, a blocking foul. Hey! The lob intended for Jordan. Here's Curry with the lead, and Thompson puts it down. 
Well, not only do they get the stop and steal, but how about Clay Thompson recognizing that he had a step on Matt Barnes to get that outlet from Stephen Curry. Curry, Thompson from the angle, yes. Clay Thompson from downtown, got off to a slow start, but he has really come out. 14 points now, six for 12. Well, to have a guy like Spates on your team to stretch out that good center as J.J. Reddick, this is back-to-back -back threes here for the Clippers. A little different tone here at the start of the third quarter from what we saw earlier. Oh, Curry on the drive. That counts as a goal tag. Griffin with some room. Barnes with the rebound. Green for three. Draymond Green. Nice play by Paul to hook it up. Three on one. Paul to Jordan. That way, Jordan with the reverse stuff. And the Clippers are giving the Warriors a taste of their own medicine. Iguodala from downtown. Back tap by Jordan. Doc Rivers saying we get a lot of back taps. Oh, Paul. Yes. What a move by Chris Paul. And we saw Steph Curry in the first half put Chris Paul on skates. Well, whatever you can do, my friend, I can do better. And just put Steph Curry in the spin cycle right there with the finish and one. Paul head on a switch by Lee and now fires. Yes. It's a different Clipper team here in the third quarter. And the Warriors will talk it over. We don't want to see a Quincy AC situation as we saw earlier as Curry knocks it down. There's Curry. Might have gotten away with the travel. Yes, I believe he might have and was able to get it to Lee and Lee is fouled. So Lee will go to the line. Fouled in the act. Reddick called on the uh, personal. 13 points, 9 rebounds, plus 5 assists for Griffin. In fact, Griffin, who had 11 assists the other night, leads the Clippers in assist here tonight. Nice recovery by Lee. David Lee. Oh, what a oh beautiful pass. Curry for Lee. Well, quite his cap. We talked about the struggles offensively for Curry. He's 5 of 7 from the field with 12 points, but he's slowly working on a triple double. Seven rebounds to go along with seven assists. Oh, nice goodness. move by Paul. Chris Paul. <laughs> with one tenth of the second remaining in this third quarter. Don't mess around with him like that, CP3. 18 points for Chris Paul. Eight of the 18. In the third quarter, Palmar. Back comes Curry. Off the turn is fouled by Palmar. There might be uh, similar thoughts coming from uh, the coaching staff after this one here tonight. And then Saturday night as Paul knocks it down. Warriors are back home from Minnesota, and that's the first of a six-game homestand. They'll play seven of their next eight in the Bay Area. This is a Golden State team that shoots 48%. Chris Paul, again, Golden State leads the NBA in shooting. Tonight, they're down out of 43%. The Clippers defeating the Warriors 100 to 86. Well, the best team in basketball is going to spend a lot of time at home the next couple weeks. The Warriors and Timberwolves on a Saturday night brought to you by Mercedes as they get ready to defend this home court for the next couple weeks. Reestablish the rhythm that has made them the best team in the NBA. The Warriors take the floor looking for Minnesota to be a speed bump as they get back on a roll. Certainly. The absence of players cannot be overstated. The Warriors are 19 and two with Andrew Bogut, yes. and they're five and three without him. Oh, he means so much to this club. So that's when the ball's got to move, and I love the way it's crystal doing that. And that's a nice beginning. Lay Thompson on the curl and right down the lane. Nice move. I love the way Spates cleared the traffic on Jane by getting a body into it. Levine's a 27% three-point shooter, as you say, not good for the perimeter. 
That guy is good for the perimeter. Steph Curry hitting the triple. Ooh, nice. Oh, look to David Lee oh. again. That, you can see it. Curry just kept luring the defenders with him. Draymond read the passing lane. Pushing with Steph. Driving and finishing. How about Draymond Green coming out of the pack? A little 360 spin move. And beautifully done. Nice timing to give it to Curry. Steph Curry. Curry. This team has talent and will come out of this eventually. But if you don't want your veterans to, to let the youngsters get the ball off, so Steph Curry rails a three. Curry. Spade set the screen. Play drifting left and still made the three. Curry passed up an opportunity to shoot that one. Just try to get Clay something. Clock and five. Draymond knocked it away. And he jumped out of his home free. And Steph Curry reversing and finishing. Hey! Little show and tell there. Thompson. Curry pulled the ball in. Hey, I, I love the delivery from Thompson. On the bounce, David Lee finding Steph. And he'll shoot a couple free throws. See, Levine has the outside shot, but just not as confident with it. And Steph Curry, beautiful steal. Raymond beats Chang to the rim. Chang didn't want to test that ankle. That left one. John Thompson gets this shot. Spates stayed with that. Speaking of corner threes, Steph Curry dropping in the triple. Harrison Barnes coming to double team. Played a little Steph Curry there, didn't he? Reaching in, poking it away. Step penetrating, a little nifty reverse. Daddy hey, Young had no idea that was coming from that hand or that angle. Flip Saunders is going to take a timeout, and the first thing he's going to say is, these guys are good. It's a 20 second timeout, but. His T-Wolves are giving a game effort. The Warriors just are flat out good. This is just a Minnesota team that has a couple years to, in a life cycle to get to where the Warriors are. And Steph Curry in the deep two. And Curry nearly had the steal. And then diving, Steph with a good hands. He runs to the three-point line. And just off fire, but Draymond Green the rebound. And Clay Thompson carries the three. There are a lot of aspects to that entire play. Curry stayed with it all the way. Didn't give up. Got the steal. Probably ill-advised three. He knows that. Ottinger for three. And that rebound. Knocked away. Iguodala comes up with it. Let's see what he does with it. Good idea. Pass to Steph Curry. So they were 3 of 15 on threes against the Clippers with the Splash Brothers. They're 8 of 17 on threes tonight. Warriors don't need to shoot. Continue with the best record in the league. Continue protecting that home court. And the brief for the two-game losing streak. And get ready for Philadelphia on Tuesday. Give football a break for a night because we've got an NBA matchup worth watching. Toronto and the Warriors brought to you by Mercedes at a sold out Oracle on a Friday night as the Warriors take the floor. The best team in the NBA, the best team in the West, the best home record in the league. And Toronto, the best in the East and a true battle at the point guard spot. Warriors and Raptors right now. Raymond Green, that's a huge shot, Jim. That was Clipper defense. You've got to have your eyes on the ball, and you also have to harass the passer, not let them just throw it where they want. Steph Curry. So back-to-back -back threes for the Warriors in a nice beginning. Steph was fouled. He actually went into a travel, but that was because of the contact. Back door. Oh, Clay Thompson was ready. Push ahead, Steph. Foot race to the rim to lay it up and in. Draymond on the roller. Steph found him perfectly. Jim, that's where you say get the ball out of your hands quickly. Yep. That was ideal. Perfect. Clay Thompson three. Yes, sir. No hesitation by any of the shooters. 
And Clay has seven, Steph has seven, Spates has ten. Steph Curry sets up Draymond Green. Well, they've made five of the last six shots. They started this quarter three of 11, but they've made five of their last three. And they make three three-pointers in this quarter. Clay Thompson hitting a three in response. A little atonement. Thompson. Draymond, what a block. Curry trying to build the momentum and he'll get to the line, but it started with the Draymond Green block on the other end. Well, you're gonna fight and build it all over again. And Justin Holiday coming up with good defense. Curry inside the bump and to the line. Steph. Oh, what a pass to Draymond Green. Oh, man. This is the leadership. But Steph Curry, they got down by two. He just starts taking over the game in various ways. Steph Curry, eight assists and none more spectacular than this one. Steph on the flyby, he wanted contact, didn't get it. That rebound loose. And Amir Johnson saved it under his own basket. Curry, three, good! Beautiful hustle by several players. Amir Johnson, a lot of time to set up that jumper. Draymond, that's smart. Tip it to an open space. Take care of the ball here. Clay Thompson, three. Steph Curry, what a steal. Kind of out muscle Lowry. Spades running and just couldn't get it. Steph does. Oh, Steph Curry following the play. Well, he knew there was about a 5% chance to make that shot with two defenders closing in and Spates going 100 miles an hour. Lowry down the lane, a little bit out of control. Exactly. Steph Curry counterattack, play, feet set, three, good! They don't have a counter to this. Dwayne Casey does not have a counter to this type of play. Who would? Shot clock at four. Williams just had the three-point play. Clay knocked it away. He could down the push ahead. Curry down the lane, and he rammed it home! A right-hand spike! And he knew a man was trailing him. He just felt it and said, I'm gonna let it go all the way. Curry deep three, got it. Curry down the lane, Steph can be one of those guys. Nicely done, he recognized it was wide open for him if he could just get off. Steph in traffic again, feeding Mo Spates right at the rim. Spates, 24 now on 11 of 16 shooting. Curry had to make a couple of moves to get an angle to get it back to Spates. Steph Curry right down the lane. He's got a sense of timing, doesn't he? And he makes it look easy, folks. It's not that easy. And Spates is the same way. Oh, man. What a heck of a game. Spates missing. There it is. A triple-double for Draymond and a Curry three. Wow, is this team good? That took the wind out of the sails. And Curry! Bucket! Ball game! 14-0 run. Raptors are done. Warriors don't need to shoot. They are going to move to 26-5. and five. They've only been beaten once in this building. The home winning streak grows to 11 and bring on the Thunder Monday night. We welcome you inside Oracle, third meeting of the year between the Warriors and the Thunder. Warriors winning the first two, 91-86 and 114-109. Steph Curry flipping it up and in. He's scoring more points in the paint recently. Westbrook with a stop oh. and pop, and Curry with a rebound. That's why you want to keep Westbrook on the perimeter. Oh, Steph again! The beautiful ball! Just a little hesitation. They don't know what he's going to do. They have to come up because he's got a deadly outside shot. Curry down the lane. Play for three. Good! How about Steph Curry? He could have finished the play, but he just set up Thompson beautifully. The inbound to Curry, and that's goaltended. And that'll count. What a beautiful inbound play against Steph Curry. A point blank layup. Steph lost the handle, regains. Goes around Westbrook again. Down the lane, the lay it up and in. 
How many times have we seen him get to the rim tonight already in the first quarter? Westbrook sinking steal all the time, and Steph went behind the back and left him in the dust, and then stole it from him. Iguodala to Holiday, back to Andre. Harrison Barnes inside. Oh, Curry set that up perfectly. Westbrook came flying out of went right by him. Back to him. Steph Curry rimming in. Why didn't it bounce out? Because he put it so high off the glass, it came straight down and teetered up and went in. Holiday's made one. He sets his feet. Oh, man. Out of the way, Justin Holiday. This youngster is developed a role on this team out of nowhere. Malik out Iguodala catching. And Barnes three is good. Unselfish passing. Looking for the more open man. It's the simple play. Raymond three. That couldn't have come at a better time. But he's made three tonight. Uh, Steph and David Lee working together. Yeah, that looked a little more natural. Curry, deep three. He hit that from Fremont. Hey! Hit it over the second year player, Roberson. This is what I'm talking about. Bigger man, he should only even go to the hoop. Set up play instead. Clay Thompson three. Steph around Morrow to put it up and in. A magnificent Warrior defensive performance. They put five players in double figures. They moved to 27 and five. They win 12 in a row at home. Best home record in the league. Best overall record in the league. 3 0 versus the Thunder. A sellout crowd will pack it in on a Wednesday night as the perfect homestand continues, ready to acknowledge and embrace one of their favorite Warriors. It is Draymond Green bobblehead night, and everybody loves Draymond. Defense, offense, toughness, the heartbeat will be on display as the Warriors look to make it 13 in a row at Oracle. Draymond Green hitting a three. Last couple games, he's hit multiple threes, and that's just a great sign. He tops it. This is where Solomon Hill is in a vastly improved season. Over 10 a game. Steph behind the back, and he and Draymond have had a couple turnovers here. That's rare. Curry made up for it. He got the steal. Clay will get the bucket. Steph is second in the NBA in steals. Cycle it to Hill. And hits a couple threes in a row. Number one draft pick last year. Second year player. Didn't have big scoring numbers at Arizona. Played there all four years as Curry gets hit down. Solomon Hill's had the hot hand. Draymond Green, what a rebound. Hibbert is behind the play. And Hibbert got hurt. And Curry hits a three. Hibbert sprained an ankle, I believe. His left ankle. Roy Hibbert is limping in Indiana. Has to use a timeout. The 1,000th career three for Steph Curry. And Steph Curry becomes the fastest man to hit 1,000 threes in the history of the NBA. Stephen Curry's scintillating ball handling skills are a joy to watch. I asked Steph, is it a joy to make those moves? And he said, yeah, for sure. It, it's, it's fun to make creative plays and make the defense work. But of course, I have to be smart. But I have a lot of confidence in my ball handling skills. The moves you see me make, it's not the first time that I've tried it. It's just part of my game. And I asked him, do you hear the crowd? He said, not usually, but last game, yes, they were crazy. And that was fun. Curry setting up Draymond perfectly. I love that play. Miles rebounding the score and miss. Miss three. Curry and Lee. And they work beautifully together. Steph Curry did everything there because he took a little extra dribble, a little zigzag, just to suck the defense and make it a little easier for David Lee. Justin he hits a three out of the corner. He ignited things in the second quarter on Monday night. Anytime you're talking about Nate Thurman and Al Adels, the two team ambassadors 
Yeah, you're just yeah. not going to find more quality people in sports, out of sports, just in life. I got to enjoy him as a teammate for three years there. He played 11 years with the Warriors in a 14-year career. And that's a very deep three. Steph Curry hey! dropping in the triple. He's got eight. Steph's got his third steal. Nate Thompson in on Scola. He got the blocking foul. He's credit a guy like C.J. Watson. He's playing the D-League, play overseas, make a career. Nate Thompson rails a three. Thompson. Steph Curry, four steals. Pick the pocket of David West. He's going to lay it in. He thought about dunking it, but get the bucket. And Indiana's got to take time. Two minutes remaining. Bates and Steph with a two-man game. Oh, jumper is good. Still in place, 21 minutes a night, but averages over nine a game. David West misfiring. Curry to tie the game. Why not? Well, his three-point shots come back. He's 21 of his last 45 on threes. He's three of four tonight. A 19 to eight run. And here come the Warriors. David West missing the jumper. Roy Hibbert rolled an ankle in the first half, has not returned. Play reloads and drops into the three. Curry with his eighth assist. Clay Thompson blocking the boy Allen. Steph setting up Clay again. Another three. Frank Vogel's got to stop it. Clay Thompson is rolling here in the third. These are big minutes for Iguodala, Harrison Barnes, Spates, Steph and Clay, and Mo Spates hitting the jumper. So he's got eight, and you wonder how David Lee works with Steph Curry. They break down the defense perfectly well. That's all about spacing and timing. Curry dropping it off to Bogut to lay it up and in. He made the play look easy, but he's improvising all the way there. And what am I going to do? Miles, air ball runner. Guess who's got it? Bogut. Lane Thompson. Curry, 14th assist. Steph Curry floating it up and in. Curry. But he didn't miss that. Steph Curry. They don't know if it's a two or a three. They want to replay it at the next dead ball. Spates keeps on firing. Oh, Spates with 16. Curry reversing. Mark for Steph Curry, 20 points, 15 assists, and more wizardry. He knows how to stay with the play, doesn't he? I mean, he just kind of switched it over to the one hand rather than the two to enable him to shoot the ball. As C.J. Miles reaches in, he escaped the grasp. This guy is so special. Three-point play completed. One off his career best in assists. Oracle buzzing after the spate spike. 15-point win. Win number 28. Home straight continues on Draymond Green bobblehead night. The assist of the evening. to this crowd at Oracle. Thompson to the basket and finish. Thompson for the lead. about J.R. Smith, he can score the basketball. He's an underrated passer, so he's going to make them better at that position.
No, sweet stroke by Steph Curry, eighth leading score in the NBA. Cleveland two games over 500. Coming into tonight is Irving in short with that jumper and the long outlet to Curry. And Smith lets it go. Curry has all four for Golden State to start. How about the last five games for Green as Spates misses 13 steals and 16 blocks for Draymond Green? Well, you think about it. How many guys defend, rebound, pass, and make threes? That combination you just don't see as Irving makes a nice runner. And to go to Mark's point about him making a, uh, a lot of money, I really think he's going to be a max player. As Steph Curry steals it and gets a breakaway. Curry with all six for Golden State here in the first three minutes. Here's Thompson for three. Buries it. Nine for Thompson. Six for Curry. Thompson hits the deck. J.R. Smith able to hit on the baseline. I think as Love misses a three and Irving with the great steal. Smith hits a three. Go ahead, Jeff. I, I, I just... I love the addition of J.R. Smith. But anyway, I, I just think sometimes everybody wants to focus on the divorce versus what happened during the marriage. Curry drains a three, and that ends at 10 to nothing. Cleveland run. I don't know where he comes up with those sayings, <laughs> but I'm, I'm processing it in my head. Which comes first? The caterpillar comes yes, first. Yes, sir. Yeah, Come okay. on, man. You're not that slow. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> you don't know. Kyrie Irving with the basket. And he has four points. Smith did not score on Wednesday in his first game after being traded earlier this week along with uh, Iman Shumpert from the Knicks. Mozgov cleans it up inside. Think about the impact that Mozgov has had on this game thus far. Rebounding the basketball, his presence alone makes them better. Thompson with the three. You can't even take a breath defensively. Thompson with 12 points. He's got two threes. Curry with nine points as uh, Kyrie Irving is fouled. Your players have to understand there's only one goal, to win. And your job as a coach is just to give yourself the best chance to win. Because in the Western Conference, you can't be worried about guys playing time when it comes to the playoffs. That is impressive. You knew his dog's name. Do you know that would make his day Warriors with a three-point lead inside, two minutes to go. As Curry stops, pops, and swishes through another three. His second, and he's got 12 points. Golden State by six. And it's the weapon that Draymond Green is as Kyrie Irving knocks down the long ball. Draymond Green is in transition. He recognized where Curry and, and, and Thompson are. Gets them the basketball. As Thompson connects again, giving him 20 first half points. Play Thompson hits again. That's a two. He has 22. I would pick and roll a lot with Love. Golden State switches it. And so you have Love then posting Thompson or working Thompson over on the board. Whoa! A foul is called and the shot is good. Kyrie Irving off the Mozgov screen, drains the jumper. Your offense oftentimes is your best defense. You're, you're, no, being able to be set, you should not be given up than the transition opportunities as Curry gets fouled on the drive. Bogut rebounds, block shots, and passes as good as any big. But you make a great point about LeBron James. Third three by Curry. Clay Thompson got cut. And then Irving fouled by Curry with 1.7 on the shot clock. They called a jump ball. And it happened on, the on, possession. It happened on the jump ball. Here's a lob to Mozgov. And to me, if you don't have a guy in the pick and roll that you can throw it up to, you're at a severe disadvantage now in the NBA. That's nine and a quarter for Barnes, who's in the top ten in three-point shooting coming into this game. Nice moves by Kyrie Irving, breaking down Justin Holiday before hitting the two, give him 18 points. I think the whole toll of four straight years to the finals as Curry makes a nice mid-range jump shot. If you want to win... Support your coach. Let everyone know you're with him. The GM David Griffin did that. No, I know that. I'm not talking right. about David Griffin. No, I'm just making the point. As a Holiday hits, beating the shot clock, 2.2 to go in the quarter. Livingston and Lee in the same space. And Lee missed right at the rim. Here comes Kyrie Irving, 18 points, but 7 of 18 shooting. J.R. Smith has 25 to lead Cleveland. Irving hits a three. 
And Irving gets the Cavs back with an eight. That's 21 now for Kyrie, right at his average on the year. Love will take a deep three and bury it. Cleveland within five, midway through the fourth quarter. Spates again. And no Spates. Averaging 18 per game over his last five. He has six here in the fourth, 12 on the ninth. How about 10 rebounds, eight assists, three blocks for Draymond Green. A basket there, and it's an eight-point lead for Golden State. Kristen Thompson over two Warriors in and out. Curry explodes past Irving, missed the layup, but drew the foul on Kevin Love. Smith into the lane, got caught in the air, took a shot to the face, too. So the Warriors have numbers, Curry gives it up, Draymond Green! Inside two to go, Warriors by 11. Here's Draymond Green, gets the bounce! And Green is two assists shy now of a triple-double, which would be his second in a week. And then Irving connects. Warriors trying to close it out here. Up 11. Curry weaving through defenders. Finds Iguodala. Bogut set the screen. And Iguodala trains the three. That was a great pass by Curry. So it's going to be six straight wins for Golden State. 14 in a row at home. One shy of tying a franchise record. And they will move to an NBA best 29 and 5 as Curry hangs and banks at home. Big time finish by Steph Curry. The ability to take the hit. No foul call, but he finishes. Loving with the way that he's playing. Mama, there goes that man. And Stockton and Malone, you can't come to Salt Lake City and not think of one of the premier point guards of power forward in the history of the NBA. Burke will step in and drop in what they would call a two. He meant for it to be a three, but he just took... Get too close to the line, I believe. Raymond Green worked very hard pregame on that jump shot. Now, Cantor has actually made some threes this year, so he's extended the range, missing there. Draymond running the floor, and a beautiful delivery from half court. Harrison Barnes loves the corners. Now, that's not a three, but for Harrison, 51% from the field, 44% on threes, and just having the best year of his career in year three. Curry three. And Draymond on the DHO, the dribble handoff there. Yeah. And Steph Curry dropping in the jumper. That's correct. <laughs> Steph cutting back door. And Iguodala, beautiful delivery. Again, that's all about spacing. Steph down the lane. And he put a corkscrew and put it up and in. I'd say we believe in the 8-1 upset. That's where the Warriors had people buzzing. But this Warrior team has everybody talking about. Steph springs free for the three. Good. Oh, I love that play. Elevators. It's, they close the doors. I love that play. Raymond, open three. That's the one. He's got a hit, and he buries it. That's a good sign. Got a two-point game. Warriors now they're in for it now, but they kind of got a little wake-up call. Steph finding Bogut. The wizardry of Steph Curry. Well, Bogut's had two hoops tonight, both dunks from the left side. Raymond <laughs> said he didn't touch it. Over and back. He got that one, though. Draymond Green steal. Working with Steph. Thought about the three. And then it's Harrison Barnes. What a delivery by Steph Curry. The lob to the big man. He got it in and drew the foul. That is some kind of play. Thompson attacking. Logan sets the biggest screen in the league. And Curry drops in the three. Yeah, Trey Burke was just caught underneath like in a wave and couldn't get out of it. Staff took a lot of contact and made it anyway. He may have been fouled twice. Took two bumps and finished. And this tempo favors the Warriors. If they want to go up and down, I don't think Utah can hang with them. And Steph Curry fouled shooting at three. He was fouled on the drive before, didn't get the call. This time, an opportunity for a four-point play. Steph has 20. And he's getting into that torch mode where he just, the basket looks bigger, the game slows down. I was showed you in the first half where he got 44 here last January. Curry is that hot. Setting up Draymond, open three, good! Oh, what a play. Oh, the whole Warrior bench comes onto the court 
Utah takes time. And that this is his most favorite. He takes it inside. Back over his shoulder, wide open three for Draymond Green. And suddenly the Warriors are up by 12. Seven unanswered by Utah after the Warriors got up 13. Steph Curry eats it right back up again. He's on his game tonight. Steph changing speeds. Clay Thompson rails the three. Thompson's shot selection night has been impeccable. And he can dollar. <laughs> Oh, man, what a steal. Well, first of all, he stopped the progress of Exum, then took the ball after that. How about this one? Steph Curry! Okay, there's... The spinning bank shot. And watch the Curry move here. Freezes the defenders. Okay, I'm going to stop. Well, no, I'm not. Dante Exum, who's only 19 years of age. I've never seen that before. Yeah, Dante that... Exum has never also been guarded by an octopus because Andre <laughs> Iguodala's wingspan... Man, that, that steal was just special. Steph trying to play beat the clock. At two, Spates, a three, his first one of the season! Mo Spates, his first three of the year, and the Warrior lead is 17. And the Warriors don't have a single player that had to play 30 minutes. Steph didn't have to play the fourth quarter, and Steve Kerr becomes the first coach in NBA history to go 30 and 5. Starts his career that has never happened. For over two and a half seasons, every seat has been filled at Oracle. It'll be the same tonight with the Miami Heat in town for their only visit. 100 straight sellouts. They're bringing out the big guns. Al Adels is thanking the fans. It makes it the most special building in the NBA. And believe me, this team, looking for 15 straight home wins, acknowledges this crowd and is ready to roll against Miami right now. See if they can get some rhythm. Playoff back iron, Curry with a rebound. Steph, let's call it a putback 17-footer. No dribble whatsoever. He just squares up, a little reverse pivot, and drills it. Steph Curry! Dropping in a three in his own right. He set the tone in the third quarter last night. He has a sense of when he's got to step on that pedal and make his imprint on the game. Dang, a wild shot to beat the shot clock buzzer. Good Warrior defense. Five black shirts get back defensively, won't matter. Steph Curry, heating it up early. You see, gets this end of the court, use the shot clock, Curry with a beautiful deflection. Dromer sent away, Harrison Barnes with a block. Three on two, Clay fades to the corner. Pump fake three, good! Thompson, Thompson reloaded on that three. Oh, it. Forced the rebound. Barnes had a shot blocked. Steph Curry reloaded and he hits the three. He had the shot. Tried to get Napier to go for the pump fake. Napier did a little bit, but then he recovered and it still did not deter Steph Curry. I've been going to those camps for years. Jeff does have, a Parker. super job. His group that he works with, and it just it gets better and better all the time. Yeah, I just worked with Steph Curry on his three-point shooting. That's the only camp that you need well, to attend. Uh, I know we're six for seven when we make five or more passes in this half, so uh, we just got to continue to try to move the basketball. And defensively, you're holding the Heat to under 37% shooting. What are you executing well on defense? Well, we're just trying to be aggressive and uh, doing a good job of staying with our guys, and then we're doing also a good job of switching when we have to. So uh, we kind of kept them out of the paint. Uh, just one lob pass, and obviously that's one of the things that they've been best at the last couple of weeks. David Lee finding Steph Curry. The field goal and the foul. This is called change of direction, change of speed. If that ball's thrown at the rim, he just knocks it down. But he had to go back and chase it with his right arm. David Lee slicing down the lane. And a good find from Steph Curry. Steph Curry yep. rolled an ankle yes, there a little did. bit. The left one. And he's limping. And Steph reload and hits the three. He got well real quickly. Spates and the shooters roll. See, the Warriors don't mind going up and down. Mo Buckets has not had the jumper working tonight. Steph Curry has, and another three. Six for eight from distance. 
And he's got 26. Curry down the lane. He'll get the foul. He'll put it up and in. So what does Steve Kerr do out of the 20-second timeout? Let me space it out with shooters. Let me make sure the lane is open because I have all these three-point guys. And then I'll let Curry get right down the lane. Curry plays last night in Utah, 29 minutes. He has 27 points. He plays 31 minutes tonight, 29 points. And Steph, corner three. Why not? 32 for Curry after hitting Miami for 40. The first meeting, 15 wins in a row at home, equaling the best in the West Coast era. Martin Luther King Day game on Monday to set a new record. 31 and five, the 100th straight sellout. Only one loss at home all year, undefeated against the Eastern Conference, still. This is Houston. Space City, innovative, elevating. The Rockets have their own firepower. Incredible. The leading scorer in the league. Two of the most explosive teams in the NBA are looking to light up Toyota Center. Tonight, the stars align. It's the Rockets and Warriors next. Reza coming off that pick. He's open. He misses. And Debo fighting Raymond Green for the rebound. Green's the most improved player in the league, I think. Curry to Barnes in the corner, and he hits a three. Harrison Barnes very good from the corners. They're trying to get Bogut now a little healthier, and that uh, Clay Thompson knocked that ball away from Harden. A miss from the outside, but nobody got a body on Curry, and he puts it up and in, and uh, the Warriors off to a 7-2 run to start the game. And Curry got fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Rockets up by six. Curry to the basket. Passes back out. Thompson resets. And hits it over Ariza. Thompson, one of the most beautiful jump shots in the entire league, guys. Ariza, slam. The game is up and down, guys. Thompson to the basket. I don't guess either team wants to get back. <laughs> Tiring pace, and the Rockets' seven-point or six-point lead has evaporated now to two. Spades just walked it right in. And Spates has been very good offensively this season. He's been a big surprise off the bench. Raymond Green hits. Boy, he's good. Yeah, you got to guard him. He's developed that three-point shot. Harden steps back, fires short. Curry in the open court. And Lee beats everybody back down the court. You better get back on the Warriors. If not, they're going to hurt you with layups. Curry. Back outside, Thompson takes an extra group, sets, fires, hit. Boy, he's just so confident, Clay Thompson. One of the bright young players in the game today. I have some beautiful misses. Curry doesn't miss very much. You know he's not going to keep missing. He's too good of a shooter. And Curry gets Dwight in the air and then jumps into him. He's so good as a shooter, you have to respect that. And what he does is he takes up that space and creates the contact. He's just so hard to guard. Now the Rockets had three guys on that side, and Curry just gets an easy layup. Clay Thompson's done a really good job on James Harden tonight, guys, so far. Jameem taking it inside, lost it again. Up ahead, Curry. Count it. Wow, how you like that play? That was acrobatic, incredible touch. Steph Curry is, he's fun to watch, guys. Harden for a three. Curry with a floater off the bank. Supremely skilled, Steph Curry. Everybody knows about his shooting, but his ball handling and his shooting off the dribble. Mid-range, it doesn't matter. Just let him shoot it. Curry puts it up off the glass. He that's really a, uses I, that's that's a layup glass. for that, him. Yeah. He uses angles and, and picks. To, it's, it's been a long time since I've seen a guard use his space that well. Well. Way too easy, the middle of the paint. Thompson fires it up and in. Well, when he and, he and Curry get going, it's like every shot they take is going in. David Lee puts it up with the left hand. You got to make some stops if you're the Houston Rockets. Yeah, they, they can't continue made. to trade basket dude, with the Warriors. According to the statistics, they are number one. There's a foul. 
on Jason Terry. There's a missed three by Houston. And the Warriors now starting to try to put this one away. And there it is. A foul is called. Could be a three-point play for David Lee. Curry puts up the jumper, and that stops that rally. Pump fake. Leave your feet. One dribble, pull up. Boy, he's good. Beverly misses. And Bogut. <laughs> Steph Curry looking at his teammates like, anybody going to run with me? No? All right, I'll just shoot a three then. I didn't leave him wide open. Curry with 27, Thompson with 27. See, that's how good Steph Curry is. This game is over, basically, in their mind. He's still playing great defense on Patrick Beverly. Tried to alley-oop to Bogut. Alexi Spent throws it away to Curry. Curry behind the back. What a play to Harrison Barnes. Steph Curry with his 12th double-double. 27 points, 11 assists, and 7 rebounds. So Curry get him about three more rebounds. He got a triple-double tonight. Golden State Warriors uh, show you and uh, Kevin McHale and the Rockets that they indeed are the best team in basketball, led by Steph Curry with 27. Thompson had 27. And the Golden State Warriors with 131 points. And inside the Oracle Arena, it is the 101st consecutive sellout. A crowd upwards of 19,500 ready for this one. Curry long range, that's good. Curry shooting just under 40% from three-point line. Curry off the glass. Steph Curry. And a nice dish. Warriors, as we mentioned, lead the NBA in assists per game. They've had 15 games of 30 or more assists. The next best team in the league has only had eight. Behind the back, Bogut on the run. Throw it up in. Always had a pretty good left hand, Scott, in terms of hook shots. Curry on the move. And Curry drops it home. If, if you're always trailing Curry, you're, you're in trouble. And Ty got behind him, and Curry can shoot it at any angle from any place. Give it to Hickson, and it's blocked by Curry. Wow. Inside, knocked away. Clay Thompson's got it. It's two on one. And Curry lays it up and in. As we said, some of the best, one of the best teams in scoring off of turnovers. Great pass, and Spade puts it away. Steph Curry averages eight assists per game to go with 23 and a half points. Curry so far, nine points, three assists on four of six in shooting. Spates in the lane, he scores easily. And JJ just floating off his man, not really defending ball, not defending his man, and Spates just goes in the middle. That's why a big guy shoots 50%. Curry off the window, that's good. It makes it look so easy. Curry with 11, Thompson with eight, Spates with seven, Lee with six. And in transition, you just go down. Somebody forgets who they're guarding, and all of a sudden, it's Draymond Green standing all alone outside. Bogut goes and gets it. And three guys kind of watching the ball, and Bogut chases it down, and they make the play. Three guys standing right there as the ball kicks out, waiting for the other guy to get it. Two turnovers in that first half. They had one right there in that first possession. Come back, followed up with a three. Follow scoreless in his 19-minute first half. 0 of 6 shooting. Got to get him on track. He and Chandler provide the firepower. No, but then you try to enter the post from the top of the key and you just get deflection. I mean, that's, that's a turnover you can't have. That's a lazy turnover. Take two dribbles to your left and put it into the post. Off the screen, Curry. And that right there, watch that shot right there. there there's only a handful of guys in the league that have that ability. Oh, that's a oh. bogey. Sweet bounce pass. Well, a sweet bounce pass, but Curry passing did the stand. Lawson shot blocked. Arthur goes and gets it. Spates the foul. Now the Golden State Warriors, they will finish with a 43-point margin. That is their biggest win of the season. The final here at Oracle, 122 to 79. Warriors go to 33 and 6 overall at home. They are now 18 and 1. They've won 16 straight. Nuggets drop to 18 and 23. Here's Howard working on Andrew Bogut. Got stripped. Beverly keeps it alive and now Harden. And a good start for Harden coming off a season high 45 points Monday against Indiana. 
Thompson fouls Harden on the three-point shot. The three free throws here for Harden. Thompson picks up the foul. So Harden is almost halfway to his total from his last game against Golden State. We yeah. played two minutes. He's got all six for the Rockets. Here's Thompson. And you give him airspace, he'll make you pay. And Harden did not get out on Clay Thompson, who has five of the six points for the Warriors. Harden can't get the bounce, kept alive by Howard, but Corral, Harrison Barnes. Now Curry. That pull up, even when it hits off the back rim and then the back board, is nails. Cody Yunus off target. Uh, Green is such a luxury to have on the floor, can guard so many different positions as Curry fires. And hits a three for Curry. Five straight. Ian Thompson with five apiece. Shot clock down to four. Barnes knows Harden has to put it up, and he's fouled again shooting a three. Three more foul shots for Harden. Harden off the screen. Oh, good kick out pass. And Ariza, who has been struggling from three point land after a great season in Washington last year, nails it. Three pointer short from Justin Holiday. The putback, though, by Steph Curry, who is averaging five rebounds per game, which is a career high. Warriors, the number one scoring team in the league. And here they are with. Steph Curry taking it all the way to the goal, and they're already at 30 points, and we still have 340 to go in the quarter. That's a side out of bounds from three-quarter court. Shot clock at one, Harden in the traffic, got it oh, to wow. go. That's 11 for James Harden. And nice Josh cut. Smith gets the basket, great feed by Harden. They're hanging in, hey, down eight, you, you, you took a flurry, but here you are, you get yourself Back in transition, don't give up those easy opportunities and you get yourself right back in the game. That guy can shoot it. Jason Terry, number three all time in NBA history in May threes. That's uh, number 2019. Thompson spins and puts up an air ball, but Curry takes it away from Howard. Shot clock at eight, it did not reset. Come on. Curry splashes it through. As Ariza attacks but can't spin it home. And they've missed seven straight shots. Harden though with the steal. And Harden will go back to the line. How many shots in the paint has this team missed tonight? My goodness. And another turn. Gives it up. Here's Iguodala. Harden got a piece of that. Iguodala thought he was fouled. Does anybody want to put a fork in this thing or what? Harden takes care of that. He has 16 points now. It's his third field goal. If the Warriors end up leading the NBA in field goal percentage and field goal percentage defense, they'd be the first team since the 81-76ers to accomplish that feat. Here's Harrison Barnes. And Harrison Barnes, the sixth leading three-point shooter in the NBA. James Harden all the way. That's the easiest shot that he's had all night. His fourth basket in 12 attempts. Here's Draymond Green for three. It's gone. And the lead is 30. It is on here in Oakland. Harden fouled on the way to the bucket. James Harden still the only rocket in double figures with 21. The next high score is Dwight Howard with seven. Now a three-point opportunity for the NBA's leading score. You think right now he is the front runner for, for the MVP award, or is it Steph Curry? Oh, oh, I've got Steph Curry, but, but James Harden is, is right behind. Him. 27 a game, number one in the NBA. He's 11th in assists. He's actually in the top seven or eight steals. Curry's three, no. And, of course, he's on the best team right now in the league. Although Houston's off to its best start in 18 years, even though it's been a bad night tonight. As Hart drains a three to give him 27 right at his average. Now the Rockets have cut it from a 30-point deficit to 20. Now the Rockets, since they acquired Smith, have been playing pretty well. As the three goes for Curry, it's back to a 29-point lead, nine straight by Golden State. What is San Antonio's mantra? Good to great. Pass Toss up a good shot to get a great one as Harden misses. I think sometimes Steph Curry goes hard to harder. My question, JB, is Dorsey gets the basket. What happens if 
Now the Warriors have a stretch where they don't shoot the ball well in the play. If San Antonio is standing upright and they're healthy, come April 18th. Three-pointer by Iguodala. That's the 10th three-point basket for the Warriors as a team here tonight. Maybe the time that Houston can use, have a little reflection about where we are. Yeah, we got a great record. What, 16 games over 500 coming in. But oh, another three for Curry. And Steph Curry with 22 points, three three-pointers. Now, this is back-to-back -back games that the Golden State Warriors have just taken them behind the woodshed. And granted, the best team in the league record-wise right now is Harden continues to assault the rim. Thompson, a step back three. There you go. That might be the day. How about Steve Kerr puts these guys back in the game? He was worried. Alvin Gentry, uh, his lead assistant, been a successful head coach in this league. So impressed with Steve Kerr, you're saying. Already, this guy is leaps and bounds better than I thought. He's a, a terrific young head coach. And their relationship uh, blossomed when uh, Steve was the general manager in Phoenix, and Alvin Gentry was an assistant at the time. Uh, for Mike D'Antoni. Golden State's won 17 in a row at home. That's a franchise record. Final margin of victory. Looks like it'll be 10. But it was a 30-point game at one point. Yeah. I'll make it 13 as Spades. Uh oh they got it. it. Three. <laughs> they did that for you, Dave. That's your, right. Your stat it lives. Here it is. And let's see what Brewer does. Uh oh well, Didn't get it off. So that's now 10 consecutive home wins by 13 or more points. A new NBA record. This is a team that has made a number of transactions as Crowder misses from the baseline. There's some Mars right to the rim. That's the way to finish that. You can do it with the right hand. Got the angle on him. That Curry back to Hogan. Well thrown and flushed through. Still made it. Raymond feeds Smith. That's when the threes are good. Had a little more room there. Wallace did not get back in time. So he got a clean look. Steph will get to the line. The four second game shot clock difference. Winding down the first half. With basketball very competitive. Steph down the lane. Little runner. And he will get to the line. Steph with the steal. Leads the NBA in steals. From mid-court. He was fouled. He was fouled. That'll be three free throws. Steph Curry wrapping in a three. Well, he beat a very good defender, Bradley here. He was playing with three fouls, too. We got a long way to go in this game. Well, Steph Curry drops in the jumper. When he comes off a bogus screen and comes inside the three-point line, it's automatic. A little brush screen again. Yes. Ball get down the lane to lay it up and in. We saw all that activity. So he kept running. Bradley, finally. He had been two of nine. Draymond off a made basket. Field goal and the foul. Ball get scores. You forget how good Andrew's left hand is. You know, he had the right elbow was the one that had that horrific injury. So he could dollar David Lee, Steph Curry, and Steph, another steal. Pushing, weaving, jumper, good. You wonder why this guy is the leading MVP candidate? Just showed you both ends of the floor. He had the steal, he had the ball handling, he had the cleverness, and he has a lethal jump shot. And it all came together in one sequence. He goes, he goes oh, oh, Steph! Oh, Two-handed dunk! He did it with two hands! I'm not sure I've ever seen him go with the two. No. Two hands? Oh, and a steal. Beautiful. Push it on to Steph and Iguodala behind the back. Andre to the rim! Mark Curry's got ten assists now. But I love what Holiday did. Stepped into the passing lane, and then he just shot it ahead, let him run to the ball. Evan Turner, Bogut was there to help out Clay. Curry in motion, ridden by Bradley. And Steph knew he got contact. 
He threw it up to get to the line. Thompson's coming off. And Curry goes back in. There he is. And this step line it up and in. And this whole movement here, that, that is one of the beautiful things there. You look like there, nothing, nothing's going to transpire, nothing's going to come together. But it does, because you don't stand around and look on the weak side. The Warriors have to be super solid with the ball here. One more bucket, and you want to use clock if you can. Play a good look, and you'll take it. How about the variety of scores that he has now, the ability to score? And the Warriors move to 36 and 6. 19 straight home wins. They're the ninth team to ever begin 36 and 6 or better. And they have a chance for Bay Area history. The Chicago Bulls coming to town on Tuesday. Looking for 20 in a row at home. The only Bay Area team to do that, the Oakland A's. Steph, this team never went away. They never really allowed you to play up tempo basketball. What do you take away from a grinded out win like this? That's their MO is to kind of just fight and use whatever they can to, uh, to try to claw out wins. And we stay composed. Um, did what we had to do in the third quarter to get a little bit of separation. Obviously had to uh, hold on for dear life down the stretch, but uh, just another big win protecting home court. You gave some momentum to the team with a two-handed dunk. We, we rarely see that. How do you know when it's time to go up for one? I don't. I have no... no uh, what, confidence or history of knowing how to do that. So just when I caught the ball, um, didn't want to get blocked, so just tried to go up with it. Rare, um, rare sighting by, by that. You were hyped. The team was hyped. Who gets more out of that dunk, do you think? I don't know. <laughs> I Probably me, because I, I get so surprised when I actually do it. And then all my Davidson people and my family back home have seen me get hung on the rim countless times, so I'm sure they're proud of that, too. Oh, poor thing. Well, you and Bogut in the half court, you play so well together, you and Bogut. Um, is there a special connection where you guys kind of know what each other wants and what you're about to do? He has a good core, great core vision. And it's not only me, everybody on the team, when you, you find an open backdoor lane or um, you know, get, catch a man sleeping, he always has a, you know, a knack for getting the ball right on time. So um, when we're in sync, and he's able to pick the defense apart with his passes. That's that's great offense, and um, we got to do more of that as you know as we go forward throughout the season. You're usually the one with the ball in your hands, making the pass. So does it come easy? Is it natural for you to move without the ball? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what our offense is predicated on, uh, not being stagnant, and you just got to commit to whatever you know, whatever cut you're going to make. Coach always says, "Don't dance." So if we uh, if you're going to make a cut, make it. If you don't get the ball, somebody else is going to be open. Um, so we've gotten better as the season's gone on, and we can really rely on that in, uh, in tough situations on offense. All right, thanks, Steph. Congrats. Thanks, Rob. A battle of East versus West. Chicago's only visit to the Bay Area. Sold out Oracle. Ready to watch the best team in the NBA and the Western Conference Player of the Week for the third time this year. Clay Thompson ready to roll at the off guard. But Chicago comes to town. The third best road team in the NBA. Beating San Antonio. Beating Dallas and their eyes on upending the Warriors. It looks like he's in slow motion again when it's, everything is coming naturally and with ease. Now Derek Rose hitting the three there. Last 10 games, Jim, he's been above 42% three-point shooting. Yes, how much better than earlier in the season. Steph Curry! Did we say they were going to be ready? They need a little help here. They're going to go one-on-one. -on -one. Well, you don't want to leave Rose because he can shoot the three. Rose making another one. What a buzz early in the ball game. As these teams go back and forth, that's Rose attacking. That's the Rose we remember from years past. Before he did that knee, missed all 82 games. He's missed a ton of games, and Clay's not missing anything. Clay Thompson's got 11 for four. Three of three on threes. Heinrich for three. Clay with a rebound. Steph. Ran to the arc, Thompson down the lane. <laughs> 52 Friday night, 31 Sunday. And Rose gets all the way to the iron, and without Andrew Bogan, you do not have that last line of defense. Rose missing, Draymond on the glass. Look at that kick out after a tough rebound. Long finish! 
starts with Draymond Green clearing the glass and a kick out to Curry as he's going down court. Harrison Barnes ran the floor beautifully. David Lee's going inside. Snell missing for the baseline. Good block out David Lee on Gibson there. Little drag screen, Curry's not using it. And Steph Curry all the way to the iron. Are you surprised Chicago is playing up tempo? Well, they're doing that. You know, they're, their scoring is so much better now than it's been in years. Way up from what it used to be. Steph Curry rattling it down. The Bulls average 102 points a game. That's 11th in the NBA. The Warriors are the highest scoring team in the league at 111. Steph Curry three. Yes, sir. Ray Thompson's got 15. Steph's got 10. Goes inside. Coach Gentry spoke up in the huddles talking about defense on Rose. He told the team every time he jogs, he comes right at you. Stand in front of him for position. It's a chance for a charge. And right there, you saw that adjustment defensively. Ray Thompson, three. And that ends the Warrior drought. 20-point first half for Clay. And finding Steph Curry. Draymond did a little bogey pass in there. Ball hopping around Curry. Just couldn't get the three to go down. He's two of six tonight for three-point range. Rose tries another. Derrick Rose. He's made three of them. And nearly missing the two years, what he did improve was that three-point shooting. Rose all the way to the rim. Rose another three. Wow. Derrick Rose, four of six from distance. We said last 10 games, better than 42%. Came on down the lane. That was not intended for a throw initially. And Derrick Rose blocking the shot. Chicago looking for the lead for the first time since the second quarter. Oh, Rose crossover to the rim. Steph making sure he got contact and flipping it up and in. I'm waiting for this man to have a big fourth quarter, make his presence felt. Little brush screen. Skip pass, he could not read it. Rose with 10 turnovers. David Lee with the right hand hammer. Bulls take time. Raymond Green back in. Oh, they let him go. And Rose with the lefty finish. Curry looked for some help there. Just came a little late. He's too quick for it. Al Gasol back in. Curry came to knock it away. Rose retreats and recovers with seven. Don't reach. Plenty of time for Rose to make something happen. Eric Rose, a wild four inside. Rose has 26. Spates missing the jumper. We check in with Rise. That last time out, Coach Adams said to the team, you have to help Steph on Rose's drive. And then Draymond Green looked over at Steph, shook his head, yes, like, I got you, Steph. Well, Derrick Rose is putting the Bulls on his back. Curry, a lot of contact, made it anyway. Banking it in. Curry's double. Oh, the my. Time it for the lead. Good. It's a three. Lead it down at seven. Andre, three. Rimming, tipped. In. Tipped in. Draymond Green has tied it. Henrik looking. Rose for the win. Air ball. And let's go to overtime. Raymond didn't want the three. Steph cutting back door to lay it up and in. What a pass by Draymond Green. What a much needed basket. Henry misses the three. It's an air ball. Steph looking to tie. Steph to the rim to lay it up and in. He put everything he had into that. Curry with 21. You can't foul. You need to stop, no fouls, and you need to rebound the ball. You got a timeout. You can advance it if you get it. Got to get the stop first. Iso for Rose. Jumper on the way. Good. Oh, man. With seven seconds left in overtime. Clay Thompson was in his face. Derrick Rose has 30 on 13 of 33 shooting. So 2.9. 
Remaining in overtime. Iguodala inbound with Spates, Clay, Steph, and Draymond Green. Down to Deuce. Back screen of some sort. Looking. Yep. Looking. Clay Thompson driving. Runner. Banked it out. Banked it out, and the Bulls win. Once again, a big welcome to Energy Solutions Arena. The Jazz wrap up their four-game homestand tonight against the high-scoring Golden State Warriors right now. They feed Canner down on the low block. He's banging. Lost the handle, and the Jazz will turn it over. That's one thing you cannot do against a great team is turn the ball over. The Jazz have done that as of late. Now they're 26 in the league, and turnovers are too high. Steph Curry. Right there, it's a two ball, but off the turnover, Golden State makes you pay. That loss to Chicago Tuesday night snapped a 19 game home winning streak for Golden State. Floater up and in, uncontested down the lane for Curry. Exum takes a shot off the mark. He has struggled of late. Exum, his last two, just one of eight from the floor. And on the other end, transition bucket for the Warriors. This is just a nice move, left handed. Crafty move by Steph Curry. This is a crucial time for the Jazz because when the Jazz bench comes on, they're not great this year. 25 points per game for the bench. Back cut, late whistle, Gobert. I'm still waiting to see if they gave him one block shot. Okay, he's got 100. Fast break, no one's going to catch Igudala. And the easiest bucket here in the quarter. Curry on a quick catch and shoot three. So that's a defensive loss. Favors has to know better. You've got to be in your athletic position. You've got to know who you're guarding, KYP, know your personnel, and allow no airspace because Steph Curry will take advantage. Baseline he goes, a big Joe, four to shoot. He's in trouble, puts it up, try to bank it off the window, and Bogut clears. I thought Joe had the open shot for the three first. Steph Curry, bang, bang. Back to watch back, out. back to back threes. Concentration is so important. You've got to know who you're guarding. You can't allow him even to get a three-point shot up. Layup inside the cutting Steph Curry. Exum out of the wing, over the top he goes, favors. Lost the handle, picked up Curry. Turnover, Utah. That will be their ninth. They had eight in the first half. Curry on a stop and go dribble inside, all alone. And the bucket easily done by Harrison Barnes. There's the bully ball, down low, Canterman. Yeah, just too small. Harrison Barnes too small. Golden State gets by with their small lineup because the other teams don't have a canter or favors, two bigs that can pound the ball inside. Steph with that patented floater at 16 at the half, 18, first bucket here in the third. And then Curry knocks down a three. We're at Energy Solutions Arena, Salt Lake City. Craig Bowler, Jack Matt Harper, Steve Brown. I'm glad you tuned in on Root Sports tonight. Final of four home games. For Utah and up and in on an underneath yeah, bucket by see, Draymond man, Green. You can see momentum starting to change just a tad in favor of Golden State right now. Millsap working hard against Curry. He needs no airspace. Boy, around the corner and the ball was off his well, hand. If you're the man, if you're guarding the guy setting the screen, you've got to show out because it's impossible for Millsap to get around a screen and defend the three point shot. A draft for Golden State nearly four minutes. Rudy got him, left his feet. And that's going to put probably... Steph Curry to the line. They, were, they play on. Booker out behind the three-point line. Drives inside. Dump it down. Wrap it up and in. Faze, nice move. And Booker. Booker made that play happen. Gets into the teeth of the defense and passes the ball off. Just unbelievable. You know, right in front of us, man. Well, Booker think... just a half second late. You can't celebrate when you make a shot. you got to know Steph's coming down to, to get a quick one up. Bogan on the court. Foul trouble tonight. Get the score until that layup by the former U great. Curry front court around the screen by Lee. Pick and roll. Lee up against Gobert. Circus shot, it's in. That was a little lucky. However, David Lee has proven time and time again that he can score with both hands. Both clubs have hit three of the first five. Whistle on the dribble drive by Curry. Quinn Snyder runs across to shake the hand of Steve Kerr. Two rookie head coaches, and they battled tonight. Steph Curry scored 32. But the Jazz get the win, 110 to 100. In Salt Lake City, a little one-gamer before the Warriors get home to deal with Phoenix tomorrow night. But certainly a great day for the Warrior franchise with Steph and Clay, Steve Kerr and his staff, and everybody going to New York City. But work to be done before New York. Steph deep two, yes sir. So Steph Curry with a quick release. Steph Curry, a little teardrop. A quick hitter. That solves the problem, too. And Steph Curry goes to the bucket and puts it up and in and draws the foul. 
Iguodala. And Andre, the beneficiary, he had the steal. Steph found him. Well, he's had two tips now that led to steals. Just had two turnovers in the fourth quarter. And finally, Steph Curry stems the tie there. Shot clock at three. Warriors scrambling to recover. Wild shot by Ingles. Bogut the rebound. That's a great segment of defense. Steph, rhythm three. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's how they do it. Impressive response by Utah after the Warriors made their initial run. They push it back to double digits. And Steph Curry right down the lane. And Steph stealing it from Favors. Yeah, he took that one right to trouble. That was an easy one for Steph. That's the man leading the NBA in steals. And Curry did it all, so Harrison Barnes could finish it off. He drew three defenders on that one play there. And they want to up-tempo this game as Curry hits the floater. Yeah, they took Bogut out. Thought space was going to be in there. Curry knocks down the third three for him tonight in the third of the team. And Draymond right to the lane. If you hit threes, you spread the floor. Now you get the cutters, and the Warrior offense can start to ignite. Steph Curry, another three. So Steph's finding his range. Four of eight on threes. He's got 24. Curry, how hot am I? Another three for Steph. I'm telling you, he loves this building. And Steph finding Bogut. Bogut, first points of the night. He's got to play a little better. David Lee in on the shot blocker. How did he finish that? With a little English with the right hand. And the Jazz lead it wire to wire. The Warriors never led in the ball game. And Steve Kerr telling Quinn Snyder, your squad played great. And a really nice win for the Utah Jazz. So, as Jim mentioned, third time this year the Warriors have dropped back-to-back -back games. A spectacular Saturday around the Bay ends at night with a sellout crowd at Oracle and a great old-fashioned Western shootout. Phoenix in town. The two highest scoring teams in the NBA will go back and forth. The Warriors have dropped back-to-back -back games and Phoenix has won 16 of the last 22. Red hot as they storm into Oracle right now. Steph Curry, a little flip shot. Rockets curling that out, and Bogut, good hustle for the rebound. The Warriors are rebounding very well here. Not doing much offensively. Steph saved that turnover. And Clay Thompson hits a three. A near turnover. Curry hustles for it. Two men are on him, so he finds Clay. Steph Curry. Now, you've seen Steph get to the rim repeatedly here. That's why Jim's point about Clay quick shotting, long shots. Phoenix does not with Lens out of the game. You can get to the rim. Have to be aware of that. Steph, beautiful steal. Play, nice dish to Iguodala, and that break run perfectly. I love what Curry did. He gave it off to the wing, knowing a three-on-one should be a two-on-one. Iguodala, it was a great defensive play. And Steph from the baseline. I'd like to see his percentage of twos in the last month and a half, maybe all year long. I've been he is just deadly from 15 feet. Steph Curry, three. So Steph's first triple. He's got nine. Rogic. How do you make that shot? Every God. turnover is run right back down your throat. The defender was hanging all over. Steph Curry, transition three. That's, that's excellent, D. Even if he hits it, that's great D by Draymond Green. Steph weaving through the Suns. Ran to the corner, his three. Good! Get on my back. But Gerald Green knew he was going to shoot it and still couldn't do anything about it. But so, about one and a half to nearly two a game in steals. you got to be aware of where he is. And Steph Curry, you better be aware of where he is. He's got 18. He's made six of his last seven shots. Three straight threes. Oh, I love the way he popped out on that one. Draymond, quick three. Eight of 18 now from distance. Steph, NBA league leader in steals, his three offline. And Dragic headed the other way. Dragic had been three of 12 until that shot. And Steph, as you say, Jim, those two pointers, almost automatic from 15 feet. 
He's got 21. Yeah, right to Bogan, and he got it at home. We talk about the Warriors throwing so many errant lobs. That one was perfect. Right to the iron, let man. the big man send it home. Tough to defend that. Nice touch. And Steph Curry's had to go 31 minutes already on the back end of a back-to-back. -back. Steve Kerr can't really rest his best player tonight. And Steph will get to the line. We'll see how it finishes here, but half a quarter to go. The Warriors right now are controlling the game. Beautiful pass. Beautiful pass. Clay Thompson, the lay-in and the foul. Bogut setting up Steph Curry. <laughs> Another 17-footer that looks like a layup. It's a free throw for him. That's about as simple as it is for him. So Steph with 25, Clay Thompson with 20. I'd say the Splash Brothers drought is over. I thought about that three, Harrison Barnes. There it is. You swing the ball. Thompson to Curry. He draws a crowd of two, and that leaves Barnes open in his favorite spot. No need to shoot it. The Warriors will move to 37 and 8 and get ready for Sacramento on Tuesday, Dallas Wednesday, at Atlanta Friday, and at New York Saturday. Steph, after two tough losses, how important was this win to the team psyche? It was big for a lot of reasons. Obviously, uh, like you said, two game losing streak. Um, playing at home against a division you know, opponent that is a game you're supposed to win and we have to win throughout the course of the season. So, uh, big, big comeback. You know, a lot of guys played well, stepped up, um, and we just fought and got this win. In a timeout, Draymond Green said this: the team was in a slump. You had to claw your way back in. How did that resonate with you? You saw the life that we brought. Um, you know, after that first six or eight minutes. It was going to be, you know, tough for us to just find some momentum, find some mojo. Draymond's been vocal, you know, all year, and, and even in this this little rut we were in, um, just trying to get us out of it. No, it's not going to be pretty. We got to claw our way out of it, and that's what we have to do tonight. For the second straight game, you kind of carried the scoring load early for the team. Did you take extra responsibility to get the team out of the rut? I mean, it's, you try to pick and choose your spots. Um, been extra aggressive last two games, just trying to just get some life going, and, and uh, we got back into the game, and, and uh, you know the rest is history with our defensive effort in the second half to to seal this win. When you give up a, you know, for them uh, 87 points, they're a high-scoring team. That's the defense that we need to play every single night for us to get wins. And on the offensive end, seven players had two or more assists. How is the ball movement different tonight? We got back to who we are. Um, Obviously, guys have to make shots, and when we're creating and, and moving our bodies and the ball's moving, we're not turning it over. You know, we're tough to guard, and, and everybody had confidence tonight to go out there and make plays. So um, that's contagious, and we got to find that tomorrow, uh, you know, next game in sack if uh, if we want to keep this this going. Well, it is good to be back at Sleep Train Arena after the Kings spent a week on the East Coast. They are picking on a team that can flat out score, a team that is 37 and 8. For the final time this year, it's the Kings and the Golden State Warriors. Curry. And the Warriors are on the board. Well, Steph Curry really did not have the big game uh, down in uh, Warrior Land, but you know he's capable of uh, putting up huge numbers like Clay Thompson did. Draymond Green. Rudy Gay lost it. He ran in the traffic. He had nowhere to go. Oh, what a move by Curry. Cousins now doubled quickly. They knocked it out of his hands. Cousins wanted the foul call, didn't get it. Here's Curry in transition for the three. And it's a 22 to 17 score. And that's the first three for Golden State in five tries. Boy, and DeMarcus one of six here starting off. The length of Bogut a factor. Coming off a poor shooting game against Indiana. And there's Curry who will get a couple of free throws. A lot of people thought Draymond Green should have been consideration for the All-Star team. The only problem is he's in the West and there's so many darn good players out here. Yeah, I don't see how that could possibly be, but he's awfully good. Here's uh, Steph Curry. 
Well, I heard Jeff Van Gundy going on a rant during one of the national telecasts. Well, Jeff like, does that. Yeah, he does. <laughs> yep. But I mean, Green, Green's a heck of a player, but uh, not an all-star. Not an all-star. No. Darren Collison, along with Ben McLemore, King guards are doing their job. Eight of uh, 13 shooting. Curry is fouled from behind. Everybody had tears in their eyes when, oh, when we no heard question. that story. A phenomenal story, and that doesn't surprise me because we know Terry. We were here when Terry Tyler played. Well, Jerry's been here forever, but uh, now the uh, barn. This team, uh, listen, a fan of basketball. I know we're here in Sacramento, but as a fan of basketball, it's fun to watch the way the Warriors play. And again, another market with over a billion people. Amazing. <laughs> with with. A love of basketball. I mean, cricket's the number one sport there. They say the number one, two, and three <laughs> sports there. Yeah. But a very a, a population over a billion with 50% under the age of 25. And a steal. Curry. Oh my goodness. And a chance for free throws. Nice fake by Curry in the foul line. Pop is good. Here's Williams. Nice pass, goaltending. Great look by Steph Curry. Uh, definitely had a couple of good options, but he found the best one. Yeah, Rudy, uh, you can see, is really getting uh, confident in his offense. That uh, one on one, nobody's going to really guard him, I don't think. Curry is fouled. It's not a good shot there. Yeah, Cousins stayed down on it. And look at that though. Curry gets back. He intercepts it. 12th Sacramento turnover. Now Thompson. Oh my goodness. What a pass. Barnes no. Taken away by Collison. So a four point gain from half. Uh oh. And that was just about as poor a defensive play as I've seen. I don't know where DeMarcus was on that, but Bates was wide open at the basket. It's inexcusable. Curry lost it, but he was fouled, and so he'll get it rewarded with a couple of free throws. Oh, if you don't like that, you don't like NBA basketball. And that has got the crowd roaring as it should. And there's David Lee. But Ben McLemore, that will, uh, that'll clear your sinuses out. Collison. Now 8.6. We'll see if the Kings can get that stop. Here's Curry. Magic in this situation. Curry. Here's a three. Yep. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's Steph Curry for you. So the uh, Warriors get the uh, win. They sweep the season series against Sacramento. A lot of turnovers here early for the Warriors. That was their biggest problem early in the season. Is Berea can't get that to go. They've been much, much better at taking care of the ball of late. But with their shooting, they can always get back into a game in a hurry. Clay Thompson shooting 45% from downtown this year. Curry with the quick back at you. Knocks down his first three. Uh, I guess they could trade three for two. They have enough time to do that. Steph Curry with the mid-range jump shot. Well, offensively, you know the Warriors are going to get it going. It's got to happen here on this end. And credit Dallas. They are moving the basketball. Great job by Curry just to get that ball for real. Make a dollar with the rebound. Curry left wide open from downtown, and that's lethal. Offensive boards lead to open threes. Curry to lead. Back to Curry. Quick release for three. Oh, no. That's really? his third three of the quarter starting to heat up. He scored their last 11 points. And he wasn't even set. Good deep. Villanueva bricks one, rebounded by Curry. Chance to get it down to five or four with a three. Curry with a tough shot, and that's what he does. It's like a horse game to this guy. Timeout, Dallas. Curry working against Perea. The floater, and the soft touch is good. Steph Curry now with 15 in the first half. Eight up to six. Curry gets the layup to go. A nice job by Bogut there to hold off Chandler so he couldn't come over for the shot block. Curry from downtown. Yes! There are a lot of issues that we need to address in terms of the length of the season, the schedule, the back to backs, the four out of five nights, potential changes in the playoff format. So those are the things I really want to hone in on in my second year. Sports betting now becoming an issue uh, with the NBA and what's happening in the country. And the NBA has extensively studied what's happened in the 
English Premier League and other leagues around the world and admitting that, well, it just happens like that. Curry with his fifth three. Curry with the step back three. Oh, oh, wow. At 26. Curry launches a three. Wow. Somebody throw water on him. Parsons had a hand up, but a little late. This guy is working that three-point line like a part-time job right now. Another three. He's eight of 12 from downtown. Is he trying to go Clay Thompson on us here? I mean, my goodness. Curry with a marvelous ball fake. And goes back to the free throw line. Steph Curry has 21 points in this quarter. Extra pass green back out to Curry. A deep three. Wow! Oh, wow. He put Perea on skates. Stopped on a dime and didn't leave him any change. Well, they're one of the best in the league to take care of the basketball. And that's what Rick Carlisle talks about. We have to be a low turnover team and make our opponents pay for their turnovers. They've done both of those things here tonight. Why they have a chance? Like a dollar with the finger roll. Uh, I think Bogut is paramount for this team. Uh, really, Festus is Ely, the only backup they have, or you play small. Oh, wow. That hit nothing but net coming down. He's got 43. A bad pass by Devin Harris. A cataclysmic turnover. And Dirk looks at Harris. The two of them obviously not on the same frequency that time. And Golden State up nine. Ready to put this one on ice. Yeah, there's a 50 chance now as Curry needs five more in the last minute and 30 plus. That's what the fans are thinking here, oh, too. Yeah. Tough shot, Curry will go to the line for another two. It's a 10 point lead for Golden State. And Devin Harris fouls Steph Curry. Okay, that's 48 more than likely. Steph had 54 in the garden. I believe I did you game. did that yeah. game. Yeah, you and Doris went around that game, I recall. He was unbelievable that night, too. Curry, yes! There it is. The capper! I don't know how much the Dallas Mavericks are going to appreciate that. What a turnaround. When you got the Splash Brothers and their prolific three-point shooting, you are always in it. 128-114 the final as the two highest scoring teams in the league put on an offensive show. Curry finishing up with 51 points on 10 of 16 from downtown. And there's one of those threes. He had 36 in the second half. Steph, congratulations, a season high 51 points. After a slow start, what turned around your offensive game? Just sticking to the program, we didn't want to get too down on ourselves that uh, you know, they, they got to a huge lead. We haven't been down that much, but we've been in that kind of situation where we come out flat and have to claw our way back. And, and obviously we got, got it done to, before halftime and then leaned on our crowd in the second half. It's just a gut, gut win for us. Hard to believe, as Mark just said, about an hour and a half ago, you guys were 22 points down. What was said in the locker room, in the huddles, to keep you guys believing and confident? We've been playing well the last couple weeks, and um, you know that they were going to be aggressive. Two great teams that um, you know want to win, and, and, and just like I said, sticking to the program that's got us to this point in the season, and things will turn around. So just praise God that we're able to be healthy, have the energy to get back in the game, and. Uh, take care of business and you definitely took care of business in the third quarter alone 26 points coming out of the locker room what were you thinking at, you know what was your message to yourself in your head to spark your team I don't know just uh, be aggressive that's, that's all we do uh, um, you know, shots are gonna fall as long as we got defensive stops and kept ourselves in the game that we have enough talent on this team to, uh, to turn the tide so um, you know for us to come back off a of back-to-back -back against a team that we're down 22 it says a lot about who we are and uh, what our mission is this year. The Cinderella story continues, and it's not yet close to midnight, not by a long shot. The Hawks and the Warriors enter Phillips Arena tonight with the most wins in the NBA. The Hawks atop the heap with 41, and Golden State right behind at 39. Thompson. Now the rebound. Hawks looking to push. You see Kyle Corbett, he's going to be wide open. Jeff Teague for three. But how about Jeff Teague? 
so many options. The Hawk lead is down to one. Carroll to the corner. Teague fakes it, gives to Millsap. Off the glass and good. Oh, right on cue, Millsap going to work. Yes, he's off to a quick start. Green to Bogan. Good D by Horford. Loose ball, though, picked up by Andrew. Back to Curry, blocked by Teague. Hawks come the other way. Jeff Teague gets it. How about Jeff Teague with a block? Oh, big block there by Jeff Teague. Steph Curry kind of nonchalantly tried to shoot that ball. Carroll. Teague. And Bogut there to alter that shot. Well, Bogut doesn't clear out a whole lot of space. He had two off, two rebounds that he kind of gave up. There's Curry. And he gets the bounce. Steph Curry's first three in Atlanta. We'll take a timeout. Foul to give each way. Here's David Lee. Gator over Gator that time as David floats at home to make it 24-19. Steph Curry. Well, he makes it look so easy. That's five for Curry. Everything is effortless for Curry. Bogut in tight. Just jumps it right over Al. Oh, yeah, the seven-footer from Australia. Hawks down two as Curry takes it over the midcourt line. Teague there with him. Step on the bounce. Draymond Green banks it in. And I can tell you he didn't mean to do no. that. <laughs> and he shot that ball very quick. Ooh. Teague went under. Curry decided to drive it and lay it in. Boy, normally he'll just fire that thing oh, from three-point range. He saw an opening, and he took it. Kyle Corbin back to two. Looking. Five on the shot clock. Jeff gets up, and he is fouled. I think the Hawks can create a little space in this quarter. They put themselves in a very good position. Kyle. Drills it. My goodness. Clay Thompson was right there. Kyle Corver is smoking. 59-54. Corver is four of seven on threes. Knocked away by Atlanta. Hawks come the other way. Teague with the floater. No, tip to the corner. Steph Curry saves it over to Thompson. And Teague with a steal. Can he get the shot away? Horford lays it in. Now that's that space I'm talking about. Hawks starting to create space. 61-54 Atlanta. Short tip, no. Rebound, Green. Steal, Corver. Ahead to Teague. Bogan back. Jeff takes it up, through, Carroll. No chance there, back to Jeff, corner three. Money. Timeout, Golden State. Steph Curry, looking to get going. He fires a three and Horford wiped him out. And that's gonna be three on Al Horford and three free throws for Steph Curry. Jeff Teague, gets it back from Curry, puts up the bank shot and hits it. Oh, Jeff Teague is starting to put it together yes, tonight. Sir. Starting to take over this game. Thompson turns the corner. Back up top to Green. Step. Got it. Four, four. They are never out of a game the way they shoot the ball. And that popped down. Oh, my. Can't leave points on the table against these guys because of shots like that. Clay Thompson. Oh, man. Timeout Atlanta. Two you don't get, three they do get. Steph Curry. Long five. Oh, come it on. In. Come Good on. Three. He had to laugh about that one himself. For real? Curry and Thompson now have six threes between them. Curry again. The Splash Brothers has woken and up. This is a no splashing zone. Now it's Curry in the lane. And he'll shoot two. Five minutes to go in this epic. Here comes Clay on the pass to the corner. Iguodala gets in for a two and misses it. Oh, Rebound he, Millsap. He should have taken the three. He was wide open. Jeff going to war. Jeff to the glass! <laughs> Hawks go up seven. Where the Hawks have all control of this game. Man. Their defense has really did the trick so far. Steph Curry lays it in, slithered it in the lane and got it around Millsap. 24 for Curry. The Splash Brothers have 49, but the Hawks have the lead. Jeff Teague. Mike Scott screens for him. Gets it. Fires it. Feeling it. That's it. Mike Scott's unconscious. Well, you know what? Mike Scott tonight is working on the MVP of the game. Teague has Harrison Barnes. Jeff gives to Carver. Put a dagger in the Golden State Warriors' heart. 
112 to 103 Atlanta. Teague on the drive. Teague gets it blocked and he's fouled. Ball squirts free. Clay Thompson had nowhere to go. And the Hawks take it away. Teague in transition. And a foul. Jeff goes to the line. And the Hawks going to get out of here with another huge win. Millsap had it taken away. Out it comes to Curry with 50 seconds. Steph Curry now with 26. He got a lot of stuff, boy. Steph jammed up to the cutting Thompson. He'll lay it home. 120 to 114 with 35 seconds. And Jeff Teague punctuates the victory with a steal. He dribbles out the final seconds, and Atlanta has the big win. Tonight at the world's most famous arena, it is the New York Knicks against the Golden State Warriors at 39 and 9. And the Knicks take the floor knowing the next time there's a game here, it will be the All-Star game. But they also know that tonight, they don't have their All-Star, Carmelo Anthony, in uniform. From the corner, from three, it is Harrison Barnes. Now Curry from long range, hits a three. I was trying to say the Warriors have a little swagger going on here, like they think they can turn it on at any time. Maybe they can with like this. Barnes with the finish. That's Mike Lee among the Knicks fans who certainly appreciated what David Lee did for the franchise during his five seasons in New York as Galloway has it swatted away. Here is Green from downtown. Draymond Green nails a three. These guys average 10 threes a game. Thompson fires and hits from three-point range. So Clay Thompson started the game 0 for 4 with the Warriors' fourth three-point field goal. Now three on the 24 as Green hits from three, and the Warriors are now five with seven from downtown. Thompson from long range. He's now one for seven. But Thompson keeps it alive, and here is Spates extending the Warriors' lead to 15. Here's Galloway. Galloway trying to draw the foul in vain that time. Raymond Green and the foul. Robinson commits his third. Here's Bogut, top of the key for Raymond Green. Hits his third three of the game. The crowd came to see the Splash Brothers, but Green, mean Green now from behind the arc. Gadala dishes off. Whoa! Thompson will head to the line. This is a good defensive sequence by the Knicks. For Green. Stalemeyer with the block, but it's a goaltending call. Under a minute to go, first half. Stalemeyer takes it inside, gets stripped by Bogan. Here's Curry, found the lane around Quincy AC. Mitchell Curry's handle now. He can get wherever he likes. Now down to seven. Screen set by Green for a Curry three. A little stagnation here by the Warriors. There's Green. Thompson got a piece of that one. Out with pass for Curry. Right, they reversed the call, so. Warriors basketball. Thomas with the alley -oop for Bogan. Steph Curry, when he scored 54 here at the Garden in February of 2013, he and LeBron James are the only visiting players with a 50 point game and a triple double in this building. Three Knicks have done it Bernard King, Patrick Ewing, and Carmelo Anthony in the current Madison Square Garden, both a 50 point game and a triple double which Curry did last year. Curry hits the three and will hit to the line. Hey, hey. Just a segue into one of the more lethal shooters. He had to laugh at that shot. Watch Larkin going for the foolish foul and Curry just serendipity off the glass that time. As Green taps it in. Steph Curry was at one of his brother's games giving him some support. Here's Thompson hitting a three, his second of the game. Clay Thompson was the 
first player in NBA history to hit 500 threes over his first three seasons. And then Curry this year became the fastest player to hit 1,000 three-point field goals. Five minutes remaining, third quarter. Lee with a nice look underneath for Thompson. Warriors at 39 and 9. Best record in the Western Conference. Curry with the scoop. And he draws a foul. Here's Thompson backing in on Galloway. Thompson turns and shoots and hits. That goal play for Thompson. By the way, never saw the ball. Under three minutes remaining from the garden. Here is Curry from three. Fourth three-point field goal tonight for Steph Curry. And the Knicks use a 20-second timeout. Now trail by 11. 2.25 on the clock here at the garden. Warriors went by as many as 26. Knicks with a 16-0 run here in the fourth quarter. Here's Iguodala for Curry. Curry again nails a three. It is Curry again. So the Golden State Warriors with the best record of the West coming to Madison Square Garden and defeat the Knicks who will now come out of Anthony tonight. 106 to 92. Wednesday night in downtown Minneapolis, a good crowd expected on hand at Target Center as Timberwolves fans will get their final up-close and personal look at the season at a team many believe could be hoisting the Larry O'Brien Trophy come June. Let's set the stage. The Wolves had their three-game win streak snapped Monday night against Atlanta despite destroying the Hawks on the glass, something that's become a trend of late with the Wolves winning that battle in six of their last eight games. Rebounds could be tough to come by against the best shooting team in the league. The Warriors enter the night with the league's best record, one of just 25 teams ever to reach 41 wins through 50 games. And they're dominating on both ends of the floor, looking to be the first team in 34 years to lead the league in both offensive and defensive field goal percentage. Draymond Green sprained his ankle in the late stages of that game, and there was some question about whether or not he'd be able to go tonight, but as you see, he is out there. Bogut with the bucket to not it back up. Pekovic working his way in on Bogut. Unable to get it to go. Bogut, the third best defensive field goal percentage, protecting shots at the rim in the league. And quickly the answer for Draymond Green. Flip Saunders seen it shoot around today that you know, Draymond Green is the guy that makes everything go for the Golden State Warriors. Sure, Curry and Thompson are the all-stars. Curry gets the end, one opportunity. But Draymond Green is kind of the glue right now for their team and does so many things so well. Now Wiggins, great move. Can't drop it down. Curry the other way over Rubio. And Steph Curry now up to five points. Andrew Bogut with the throw down. They, they go lob all the time in these kind of situations. Martin trying to feed it back to Young. Curry will take the three. Not that time. Warriors still looking for their first triple, and now they have it. Clay Thompson, first make from downtown for the Warriors in six attempts as they get it to Bogut. Well, if, if Nikola Pekovic is going to hedge out that hard, on Steph Curry, you've got to rotate and go to the roller that time. No one even made a move to Andrew Bogut. Andrew Bogut, no Curry with the rebound. And Flip said the most valuable asset on your team, Curry dropping it down on the baseline, is a guy like Tim Duncan, not because of what he can do, but because he's not going to demand a lot of minutes out there. He doesn't want to play, yeah. It's always hard to find minutes and manage minutes in an all-star game. Oh my goodness, that. Levine gives it up. Curry puts it up. Curry will go to the free throw line. Zach Levine, the last time he saw the Golden State Warriors, had a fantastic night, 14 assists. We shared time together playing under Tom Izzo. Curry quickly on the other end. He's already up to 11 points. Hasn't hit a three yet, but he's a perfect four of four on his two-point tries. Young. Levine goes right by everybody. Strong take. Can't get it to drop. Andre Iguodala, baseline runner. 
Draymond Green, a testament to the fact that, that it's not the size of the dog in the fight, but the fight of the dog as he brings it consistently. And there's the defense of Draymond Green, and there's the assisting of Draymond Green on one play. He breaks up that lob pass. He anticipated it. He got there, made the play. Barnes looking for another three, has another triple. Andrew Bogut near, averages nearly two blocks per game. Draymond Green, a block and a half. Curry. Curry. Between Alvin Gentry and Ron Adams, the other assistant coach for Steve Kerr, they, they got it covered. Gentry more on the offensive side, Ron Adams on the defensive side, and Steph Curry finally gets the go, second of the game for Steph. Curry's up to 19. Here you see Ron Adams right here, tremendous basketball coach, great basketball mind. Bogut with the hook. That's what he does. The, left, the lefty hook is really kind of his go-to now since he had that nasty elbow injury. Tim, Timberwolves turn it over. Curry blocked from behind, but it's too late by Wiggins. It'll be a goaltend. Buttinger with the rebound. And let's get it over to uh, Curry. And he quickly gets it over to Barbosa. This is not what the Golden State want, Warriors wanted. They wanted separation, and now they turn it over. Almost turned it over. Rip Saunders screaming for the turnover. Timberwolves will play on. Draymond Green, Steph Curry, little floater. So 1.4, maybe time for one pass after the initial inbound pass. They try to work it across. Buttinger at the buzzer. I don't know if it had beat the buzzer anyway, it and it's the buzzer. inconsequential as it did not go through. So. A dramatic fish and finish, but in the end, the Timberwolves fall short. What a rally it was. Yeah, it was a great rally. 14 down. The Golden State Warriors are the top story in the NBA, led by the Splash Brothers, Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. Some call them the best shooting backcourt ever. Led by this all-star duo, the Warriors have stormed their way to the league's best record. Tonight, they face the ultimate test. Tim Duncan and the defending champion San Antonio Spurs who look to continue their recent dominance over their Western Conference foes. It's the Spurs and the Warriors. Next. Baines drives again, misses again with Bogut contesting at the rim. Okay, one, one thing you know, Bogut is so big at seven feet, takes up a lot of space, but he's one of the better shot blockers and rebounders that we have at the center position. What a great behind the back pass and the payoff with Clay Thompson hitting a three. Tony Parker missed a lot of time this year with a hamstring injury. He's turned a corner physically, but turned it over. And then Aaron Baines on top of Curry commits the foul. Okay, the Tony Parker situation is major. Pretty good foot speed, too. It's quite a challenge to guard uh, Draymond Green at his size as Curry flips it up and gets it to drop for his first basket. Kerr was a teammate of Tim Duncan. Uh, for four years, including a championship, I got to coach uh, Duncan at the All-Star game last week and played him just 15 minutes. Uh, we joked with uh, Kerr today. Why don't you play Duncan 35 minutes of the All-Star <laughs> game, knowing that uh, you'd have to play him this week? Thompson on the leap gets the jam. The, uh, uh, Green fell asleep because he, he hesitated, and Thompson just took off. And when you play against Golden State, remember, they're first in scoring, but they're also first on fast break points. Uh, Curry with three on the timer hits David Lee who buries the mid-range jumper splitter in the paint been battling a calf injury throughout the year and has not played as well as he did last season well, see, he, never, year. he never elevated he never elevated he took, did that standing stroke. Curry with his first three of the game and Golden State leads again by two inside a minute to go in the quarter. Shot clock at five midway through the second quarter San Antonio leads by two until Curry Swishes a three, Golden State back on top. Bogut catches the alley-oop from Curry and slams it down. Okay, that time, Timmy Duncan had space. He didn't keep his forearm on Bogut as he went to look to see where the ball was. Bogut went right to the front of the rim. Curry into the lane, and here's Barnes in the corner. Barnes, oh, great move pretty. Past Tim Duncan gets the reverse layup. How about that? Curry, great move Brilliant. to get rid of Tony Parker, and then Curry nails a three. That was special right there, breaking the ankles of Tony Parker. Spurs turnover, great bounce pass to Thompson, and he finishes off flat. See, we can't, we can't bring that up enough. All right, that's another turnover. That's eight turnovers. 
Barnes missed once but not twice. Three pointer by Harrison Barnes and again Curry found him eight assists for Curry. Parker has six assists but no field goals for San Antonio. Ginobili a turnover by San Antonio. Two on one Curry and he's fouled by Bellinelli. Curry will go to the line. First free throw of the night for Curry. Twelve points. Chance of MVP from Oracle Arena and right now who could argue with him other than maybe James Harden. Here's Diaw who has not missed from the floor and Curry with another steal intercepting that pass. Puts his foot on the pedal behind the back. Plays it in with the left hand. Tremendous play on both ends of the floor by Steph Curry. This is how it happens it, in this building it happens fast. They're out on the break getting what they want. 8 nothing run by Golden State and then Tony Parker called for a foul with five on the shot clock and so Steph Curry will go to the line. Curry banks it in count it and looking for his 20th point be his 11th consecutive game with 20 or more points. He has the total package not just the three point game the mid range game and then getting to the rim and you can't foul him. Curry with the left hand scoops it up and in. That's 22 now. Curry averages 24, seventh in the league. Curry gets past Mills. Iguodala hit a three in the first half and drills another one. His foot was on the line, it's a two. Splitter spinning on Lee, out to Mills. Mills into the lane, stripped by Curry. Here's D out. Not there on the three. No white shirts under the hoop. Have to wonder if the Spurs have the legs after uh, their game in L.A. last night. Uh, Curry, no, his no. fourth three, and he's got 25 points, and they've blown it open. The big man switched off on him, and he just easily came right in to set himself up for that three. Now look at the Warriors work on defense. They've deflected every pass on that possession. About a two-second difference between game and shot clock well, to the end of the quarter. They keep coming at you with talent. They have ten guys here who can really play. And uh, very experienced people. So it's nice to see because this is one of the best buildings that we have in the league. Iguodala for three. Of course! Durant hurt his foot last night. Yes. So you wonder how severe that injury is. He's had problems, obviously, with the feet this year. Rejection by Festus Azila. Dave, that's a big point because, look, he played 37 minutes and only scored 12 points. So that means he's not out on the break. He's not getting to where he needs to go. And then you have to worry about that. How about Steph Curry? He passed that ball to Harrison Barnes. He put his head down and started to run back on defense because he... He, he assumed that Barnes would nail it. Parker had no field goals. Meanwhile, Steph Curry had eight, four were threes. He had 25 points and 11 assists. Steph, the Spurs have been one of the only two teams to come into World Arena and beat you. What was the difference for you guys against them tonight? Um, the last time we played them, we had like 20 something turnovers, like 20 something turnovers in the game and gave them too many easy baskets off those turnovers. So um, if we you know, rectified that, yeah, we, we felt like we uh, put ourselves in a better position to get a win. Before the break, you guys really weren't happy with the way you were playing. You were winning games, but you didn't like the way you were winning those games. What do you think changed over the break to produce this performance? It looked like the old, early Warriors that we saw at the start of the season. Yeah, we got the pace to where we like it. Um, we got chain stops into you know, fast break points. And, and when we play at that pace, we're tough to guard because we have so many uh, guys out there that can make plays. So. Uh, if you continue taking the ball at the basket and, and uh, right here, you know, on, the, on your heels, it's not going to you know, be a good for us. This was your second time as a full All-Star and all the activities and responsibilities that comes with that All-Star weekend. What difference did the longer break make for you? We just had an opportunity to get rejuvenated. Um, obviously, last year was my first opportunity to go you know, have that uh, experience, but you come back on Monday and you got to get right back to work. With those extra days, we were able to just, you know, recharge um, both mentally and physically have two good days of practice and, and have the performance we had tonight so we got to capitalize that as we go on the six game road trip rejuvenated Steph Curry has the words off to a good start in the second half thanks Steph down the street from Chinatown the Verizon Center in Washington DC where fans are looking for a celebration of a different kind 
as Comcast Sportsnet brings you Wizards basketball. Tonight, the Wiz look to turn things around against the most productive squad in the NBA. First meeting of the year against Steph Curry and the 43-10 Golden State Warriors. If they don't have their three-point game shooting, they've got to find other ways to score. That means getting the free throw line, making free throw, getting those points in the paint, and also getting some points off turnovers. Washington defense has to step up, force some turnovers, and get some easy baskets. Here's Curry, takes that three-point shot, and it's nothing but net. Seventh in the league in scoring at 23.6 points per game. He by far has the quickest release of anybody in the league. The only one could possibly get as quick as him was his dad. Dell would just get up on his toes, didn't really jump, but he had such good moves to get the defender away, and that's what Steph is able to do. And in backcourt, Nate Thompson starting to pick up some of those traits too. Wall whips it out to Pierce for another three. That's no good. Wall made one prior to that. Wizards up 12-7. Good pass underneath and the score. David Lee, so many good players on this team, so much depth. Tempo had his pass picked off and now Curry's going to get an easy two. Well, it's a one-point lead after the Wizards were up by nine. Telegraphed pass. It's picked off. It's Washington's fourth turnover. Curry, and he got tripped and fouled. Did you happen to notice their ten losses, six of them came in consecutive fashion. Wow. Curry behind the back. What a play. I mean, his ball handling is phenomenal. It really is. With either hand. <laughs> Maurice Spates in his second year with Golden State, signing as a free agent back in 2013. After playing in Philadelphia, Curry the jumper good. Think about the concentration that it takes when you've got people flying by you. He's not the, the biggest player out there on the floor, but he's able to really zero in on fast. Curry, unbelievable! Oohs and ahs from the Verizon Center crowd as they take a four-point lead. Looks like he might have. Yeah, Harry may have gotten away with that one. That time it's Harrison Barnes, who is seventh in the NBA in three-point shooting. He's in his third year from UNC. Curry behind his back to Green, cut off by Nene. Four-second difference between the clocks. Thompson waits, shoots, and scores. Well, the problem is, especially against this team, is Curry gets open and hits a three, is that when you make a mistake, they make you pick. Great move by Curry, and he knocks it down. He is well, you smooth want to as avoid silk. any kind of switches like that if at all possible. Andrew Bogut gets his first basket. Curry. Gortat got a hand on it, Pierce had it, and then he hit Gortat in the head. And the Wizards lose it out of bounds. Curry is reached in and he is fouled. It looks like it'll go on Garrett Temple. Curry around the screen, dumps it back to Spates with nowhere to go. Now Curry for three, how about that? Steph Curry with his fifth three-pointer of the game. He's five for nine. The left hand, it's way short. You know, Kevin's starting to get back into that pattern of the ball comes into him. He's just going for a shot. Wow. And we saw earlier on in the year, Kevin would be a little more patient, kick it back out, reset, and then have the ball come back into him. Butler, baseline. Missed everything. Here's Curry behind the back, drives past Sessions high, up and in! A spectacular play by Steph Curry to give the Warriors a five-point lead. That is amazing. <laughs> Just amazing. Touch, control, execution, the drive of the game. On the inbound, they'll get an easy two. Curry high off the glass. He got another one. He is so adept at that flip shot. Yeah, I mean, you, you don't teach that kind of shot. You just have a real good feel for the ball. 
John uh, doing everything he can to try to distract the shooter. Keep in mind, he's got to go around. He's getting bumped by guys setting the pick. They got some good three-pointers on this team, especially Steph Curry, who's five of nine tonight. Well, he has such a quick release. He's able to get separation at the drop of a hat because of his handles. He's not the fastest player, but his ability to change directions quickly makes it almost impossible to stay in front of him. And then you add to that the ball handling skills. He's a tough cover. And that is going to do it. The Warriors dribble it out. The Wizards lose for, lose for the fourth straight time, falling to 33 and 24 on the year. 20 and 10 at home as they tend to Paul Pierce and hope he's okay. Golden State improves to 44 and 10. And they win their 20th game on the road, now 20 and 8. On a bitter cold, 8 degree night in Cleveland. It is the usual sellout crowd, better than 20,000 making their way into the queue. Quick and Lone Arena, they're not deterred at all by the frigid weather condition. It's a matchup of two of the best teams in, in the NBA, the Golden State Warriors facing the Cleveland Cavaliers. James with the driving hook. I love that play right there, Mark. Not just because he made the jump hook, but if you remember players like Mark Jackson, Charles Barkley, they were point guards in that post position. You have to get the double team. And LeBron's one of the best passers in the league. Irving off the steal. Kyrie Irving has given the Cavs an 8-4 lead. Curry for three, yes. Here comes James. LeBron was out early shooting about two hours prior to the game. He came up short right there. And now Curry putting moves on Smith. Here the uh, ooze and honest from the crowd as he goes left to right on the dribble. I see these beautiful handles right here by Steph Curry. This will make you go ooh and ah. He doesn't even have to shoot. Oh, what a pass to Curry on the block by Moskov. Stopping Morgan who retrieves it for Curry. Yes. Curry hits the three. Coaches get so frustrated when you give up an offensive rebound or a guy blocks a shot to another player. Usually always ends with an open three for that team. I get a beautiful pass. Curry for Bogan. Love not able to hit. He thought he was hacked. Curry fires for three. Once again, the quick release. Just impossible to stop. He's three for four from downtown. So the Warriors up by two. Irving for three. Kyrie Irving comes right back. What a move by Irving, and he draws the foul. He's able to split through, and then went for the flip shot. Curry, nice feed. Lee, able to finish. Here's Curry. Spates with the pick. Curry shoots, and a foul. That'll be three shots. Fouled by J.R. Smith. Nice passing by the Warriors. Barbosa. And back comes Irving. Kyrie pulling it back. Putting a move on Curry. And he is fouled by Curry. Steve Kerr and his staff felt that they're much more efficient with Harrison Barnes. And Fremont. Oh! Thompson with the stuff off the beautiful pass. That's what Tristan Thompson does, not just on the alley-oops. He attacks that offensive board, already said. And you love the way he keeps just going aggressively. Here's Lee again. He has scored 11 of the Warriors' last 14 points. That's a three. Three-pointer for Kyrie Irving. Moscow is strong and tough inside. He attacks the boards. He rebounds well. And when you come off the bench, he can supply that same energy and the same basketball IQ, which is going to be so important in the playoffs. And he's been to the NBA Finals on two occasions. That's a two-pointer for Kyrie Irving. What a championship with the Celtics. Here's Curry going high off land. Cavaliers with Irving and Shumpert. In the backcourt, this is uh, Kyrie going glass. Mozgov with Love and LeBron on the front line. As Mozgov hits one earlier from outside. Thompson, open three. Yes. The assist for Curry. First three of the night for Clay Thompson. Curry on the drive is able to shake loose. Green with a stuff. 
Draymond Green, a hook stuff. Now that's the type of play, if I'm on the Golden State Warriors, whether I'm on the bench or I'm on the court, that's the type of play that will spark us coming back, not because of necessarily the dunk, but because of his will, the smallest guy going in there with the big guys and throwing it down. Curry with a series of moves, and he'll head to the line. Moscow has changed things at the defensive end. Oh, nice move by Irving. Here's Lee into the lane. He loves that shot, but he's been coming up short with the floater. A little dribbling exhibition by Irving. Which oh. may tell us that shoulder is, well, no, now he's flexing. So the Cavaliers hit it to a record of 37 and 22, winning 18 of their last 20 at 11th straight here at home. And Warriors just take a timeout. Interesting development. Draymond Green guarding James Johnson, the non shooter, and Patterson being guarded by Harrison Barnes, trying to chase him off the three point line. And Curry with a putback. Here's Lowry. Makes him move. Lowry looking for a call, doesn't get it. And ahead now to Curry. And Curry lays it in softly. Six to two, Golden State. And the Raptors are one of four. And Golden State two of five. And a two on one break the other way. Barnes driving in line. Stumbles. Curry extra pass in the corner. Good. Set it up and knock it down. Driving kick. Draymond Green comes up short. Curry with a rebound. Thompson. And already it is 22 to 5 with 3.30 to go. Raptors against Indiana back in November of 2012 made just one field goal in the quarter. That quarter is Curry drills a three. It's the fourth quarter. And look at a guy like Steve Kerr who's played for some great coaches in his career. And even though he doesn't have a lot of experience, he's got the Midas touch with this club. Well, a lot of it's relationships yeah. as well. And think of about last summer as Curry gets it to fall. Lowry to Patterson. The three doesn't go. Tapped up, controlled by Curry. Great shooter is Stephen Curry. And then also tremendous ball skills. And he is a prime example and a timeout. Prime example. Just keep working on your game. He went to a mid-major Davidson College. Counted and won. This year, I don't, I don't see that same cohesiveness of late. And they're not they're not getting after people quite as hard as they did a year ago defensively, even early in the year. And a great cut, Curry. And that was excellent defense, by the way. From Terrence Ross on Clay Thompson. Here's Curry, step back three. Look, he loved growing up here for a time. San Antonio is only two and a half games, and they're slipping a little bit in front of OKC. So you can see OKC start making a move, and the three is good. Golden State comes away with a 113 89 victory tonight. They bounce back on the second night of a back to back. And Steph Curry tonight with 22 points. Tonight's opponent, the Golden State Warriors, are not only fun, they also have the league's best record. They play fast. They're a proven team, and they got a great record, so it's going to be a challenge. But, you know, we're up for it. And it will be a challenge trying to contain the Splash Brothers. Stephen Curry and Clay Thompson lead the Warriors into the Garden for what is shaping up to be a fun Sunday showdown you don't want to miss. It's only on Comcast Sportsnet right now. Third game in four nights on the road for Golden State. We'll see if that's a help or not. Curry goes in for two off the nice feed from Bogut. Yeah, a little backdoor cut. Looks like Bradley's going to get Curry for the night, and Smart will chase Thompson. Thompson got three behind the screen, and he's going to make that more often than not. Celtic fans with Xfinity, Time Warner Cable, DirecTV, and Verizon, you can all now stream the Celtics. Watch it live on CSN and E as Curry hits a three. And quickly, Boston's lead is down to one. Boston with their biggest lead. Curry gives it up to Thompson, passes up the shot, now takes it, makes it. Tyler's going to take it. Nope. Bogut with the miss. Curry. Wow. What a screen by Green that nobody tipped Bradley off to. Andre Iguodala, David Lee both in the game. Curry goes to the basket. That little floater of his goes. He makes that shot. 
as well as anybody in the league. Thomas to high push. Avery had it blocked and it's picked off by Green. Quick out with the curry. Gets a screen, fires up a three and buries it. Celtics 52 and a half points per game off their bench in the last four. That's remarkable. Well, there is uh, right Easy. now. Curry is using his size against uh, Isaiah. Just Curry, he's got 16 in the first half. Thompson can't hit it. Turner ahead to Bradley. Unable to finish Iguodala the other way. Curry makes you pay. Curry, so good at those little stop and go moves. Avery comes up short. Uh, Curry, sneak away for two. Steal by Curry. He's going to take a pull up three and bury it. Young comes up shoot, rims out a three. Keep shooting, kid. That's your game. Holiday, nice pass. Curry back in the game. 87-84, a one possession game after Boston had a 26 point lead. Green answers. Curry. Step away, buries it. Draymond Green with a loud dunk. Curry gets some daylight and buries the shot. Wow. He just, he's something else. He's something else is right. 33 and counting for Curry, two point Golden State I, lead. I'll tell you, if I have a vote for the MVP, you get my vote. Final score here tonight 106 101. Golden State wins it. Play of the game brought to you by Speedy Oil Change and Auto Service. Your one stop shop for all your automotive needs. Curry did a little bit of everything, including pass the ball like that to Andre Iguodala. That came at a big time in the ball game. Curry, to the veteran, played most of his career in Philadelphia, now finishing up in Golden State on a very good basketball team. The best team of the Western Conference, the Golden State Warriors, with a 47-12 mark, still a four-game lead over the Memphis Grizzlies. Dallas, meanwhile, they're in the sixth spot, but they're only two and a half back of third, so the Mavericks hoping to improve their positioning as we wind toward the NBA playoffs. Not that far off. Rondo looking. Green picks him up on the switch. Nowitzki has Curry on him. Wants to take advantage. Curry stays with him. Nowitzki comes up short. And Bogut with a quick outlet to Curry. Curry fires from three. And, and that shows you the negative for Dallas when Golden State switches. Curry. Gets past Rondo, drives to the basket. Beautiful layup from Curry. Also thought he was bumped. I very much like what I see as Curry knocks in another three. Curry kicks it out. Barnes for three. Puts it in. They're off to the races. Curry comes off the screen. Fakes. Drives. Nice feet inside. Draymond Green. A beautiful adjustment. I think Villanueva got a piece of the ball initially. And Curry off the dribble a couple times with his left hand with the pass has been just brilliant. Here comes Curry. Steps back for three. It's good. Five of six from downtown. The Warriors on a 12-0 run. And Dallas needs timeout. Bates, nice fake, and finishes instant offense off the bench. He is. He's their third leading scorer playing low minutes. He comes in thinking score as Green gets another layup. Barbosa on Ellis. Tough matchup for Barbosa. Ellis can't hit. Ball tipped a couple of times, and Curry comes away. Curry behind the back. Floats it up and draws the foul. 
Curry lost it, picked up by Thompson. Still plenty to shoot. Curry hesitated, and then nails the three. Thought about it for a second, and then in a split second, got it off. Ball deflected by Curry, tips it, comes up with it. Boy, they've been sloppy passing tonight, Golden State. Berea the runner. Here comes Curry, ahead to Thompson. Thompson challenges Chandler and lays it in. Timeout, Dallas. Jefferson blocked by Bogut down the other end. Green to Curry. Oh, Curry lands hard and grabs his back. Draymond Green, that's a three. Couple of threes to get the crowd back into it. And this is the largest lead of the night. Rondo. Stripped from behind by Curry. And it's still going to be Dallas ball. It has not been a clean game, and uh, we'd like to execute a little better in the fourth. And the main thing is, happy birthday to you. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate that. Mike, back to you. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Curry knocks down the three. Alley up to Azili. Curry on a gorgeous feed. Rick Carlisle calls timeout. Well, the Golden State Warriors pounding Dallas here, now up by 26. Tough game for Dirk Nowitzki and the Mavericks, but they're up against the best in the West. Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors. Curry with 22 and 7, only had to play 32 minutes. Curry, Thompson, Barnes, Green, and Bogut. The starting five has been fabulous for Golden State as they have built off last year's terrific season. They won 51 last year. And this year, in 60 games, they've only lost 12 in only two here at Oracle Arena. 26 and two at home. And most of the time, they're blowing teams out. Redick, just inside the arc, knocks down the first shot. That one off the mark, Hall is the rebound. Here comes Paul pushing. Paul just playing at an incredible pace right now without Blake Griffin. He stepped up his scoring. He's even averaging more assists, and he's been shooting the ball better. Bogut with the left hand. And the first of what likely will be many rebounds for DeAndre Jordan. Paul, oh, nice pretty hesitation move. Outstanding job pushing the basketball and lulls the defense to sleep and then explodes. Oh, Jordan upset. He was open. Chris Paul didn't get it to him. Draymond Green, who guards just about everybody on him. They throw it into Hawes. Hawes quickly puts it in. And boy, that's got to make Doc Rivers smile, especially with Griffin out. They need Hawes in his first year in the Clippers to get consistent. Curry finds Green straight on three, knocks it down. Paul's jump shot is good. It's amazing, Jeff, to turn around the last couple of years what the three point shot is to the NBA game. Uh, really, like the last five to seven years, the, the number of attempts that keeps going up and up. It's amazing. Paul finds Big Baby, and Davis puts it in. Paul still limping. Redick releases, and an air ball. Bogut the rebound. Curry, all oh, pretty fake, pulls up. There's the first field goal. That was sweet. Oh, what a move. I mean, what do you do defensively? Beautiful move by Curry. Does he have the best handle in the league right now? I think it's between Steph Curry and Kyrie Irving. The ability to dribble the basketball in traffic. Unbelievable. Here's Thompson. There's that smooth-looking jump shot. He's got 14. Chris Paul fires way off the mark. All right, now, if you're a coach, Jeff, because there's some very difficult matchups out there, like, for example, Hawes, a foul called on Paul. That shot won't count. Their best defense is played when Draymond Green is playing center. We kind of hinted at before. Here's Paul. And again, you. Oh, Curry with the steal. Green does not get the bounce. Jordan pursues that rebound. And Paul the other way. Paul on the pull up, knocks it down. Redick. Two pointer for JJ Redick. He's got 11 points. Wasn't afraid to speak his mind and call things that shouldn't have been out. Pretty impressive for a guy in his third year. Redick knocks down a three, and that ends the streak. Every kid should just have watched that sequence by J.J. Redick and DeAndre Jordan. Bogut finds Barnes. Jordan right there. Good help from Hawes. 
Reddick drives past Bogut. Nice move from J.J. Reddick, and he's got 16. Well, it's an easier lineup to defend because you're not worried about a weapon. Draymond Green playing the five. He's all of a sudden stretches your defense to the three-point line. Nice defense from Clay Thompson. Curry run off and hits a three. Reddick played him well initially. And then Curry nails it from downtown. Curry splits the defense behind the back. Fires a three. Oh, he puts it in. What a spectacular move. And it's the largest lead of the game. That could be the greatest move I've ever seen. Live. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm being serious. Or it leaves you speechless. I love looking at Steve Kerr's reaction after that move. I mean, you're shocked as a coach, as a fan, as a teammate, as a as a you know player going against him. Beautiful move. There was so much traffic. Just to be able to dribble it through all those people, then you make the shot too. If that's not a top ten play, and you can make the case for number one, there are less guys that can do that than than that can windmill dunk, tomahawk dunk. That's a special play by a special talent. Ball, a little nudge to Curry. I, I like it. I, I, at the foul, it didn't get called. I, I like it. their defense big part as they forced five turnovers here in the third already after only four Clipper turnovers in the first half back door Austin Rivers gets it back and flips it up and in he's got now ten points Paul this time big baby finishes Chris Paul is the closest thing we we will ever see to Isaiah Thomas I mean, the toughness, the, the competitive spirit, the package offensively. I, I mean, he, he's an all-time great point guard. 11 assists this afternoon. And again, his numbers since Blake Griffin went out, as he banks that one in, have been sensational. Another steal for Curry. Drives in, layup won't go. And a foul on Rivers. Another impressive win here in Oakland for the Golden State Warriors. On a afternoon where Stephen Curry shot just three of nine from the field, only had 12 points. His teammates picked up the slack. Curry did a lot of good things. Didn't shoot the ball particularly well, but he had a lot of help. As this magical season for the Warriors continues. Steve Kerr, Alvin Gentry back in Phoenix. Third meeting of the year. The Warriors lost earlier this year. Clay Thompson did not play and then beat the Suns at Oracle convincingly. Raymond Green is ready. The Warriors have won three in a row. Phoenix coming back from a two and two road trip. These are two of the top three scoring teams in the NBA. Warriors number one, Phoenix number three. Let's so losing the handle. Curry to the running Clay Thompson. Great look. Saw him all the way, just dropped it back. Alex Len at point blank range. Draymond bothered him enough. He's working with a bad ankle, did miss the last game against Cleveland to Alex Lynn. Steph Curry. Led so strong, but Curry is quick and clever and able to finish there. Lee Thompson is started red hot. Brandon Knight pretty clever, but unable to hit that shot. That's the issue with Knight. Is he a point guard? Is he an off guard? Well, he can play the off guard, but he came in as a point. And John Calipari in Kentucky said you can't label him. Uh, Steph, a little eyebrow fake. You have to honor him at the three-point line and just cruises around and buries the two. Marquise Morris and Bogan and Len are having battles on the board so far. Curry, transition three. That's why you run. I don't care what set defense is there. They can't get set up in time to stop that. Well, who would think you would shoot that? You catch the ball, you're 180 degrees. Turn from the basket, and in one motion he turns and shoots. Now Festus, nobody holding his hand. He rams that down with the right and was fouled on the left and an opportunity for a three-point play. This is great timing. Four-second game shot clock difference. Bledsoe with that strength. Ran Festus off the play. Curry at three. Step at two. Playing beat the clock to lay it in. Got that up on the backboard with a tenth of a second. So they will go to replay. That's going to count. It's out of his hands. See, those are the plays of the small lineup. 
end up with a steal, a two-on-one, the lob to Livingston, but a good recovery by Morris. Didn't matter. Sean just went with the left hand. He made something out of nothing there. You've got to kick that ball right to the lone defender and an easy little dish off. Curry went right around Bledsoe, who's supposed to be a solid defender. Left him in his wake. Bledsoe missed off the heel of the rim. Three on two if they hurry. Harrison's the trailer flying in to finish. I believe Curry saw him all the time. That's why he went walking across the lane, takes someone with him, and then drop it back. There's the double. Ball really moving nicely. Shot clock at 15. And Steph, perfect. And that's when the Warriors are at their best. When they keep track to five or more, six or more passes, they score 80% of the time. That's Steph with the here. steal. The NBA league leader and flipping it up and in. Steph Curry, a deep two. Oh, well, he's got that little feeling. Steph Curry, another deflection. Step in between two defenders and hit a three, but this, we, did we have the foul first? We did. Man, I'm telling you, that young man is feeling it. Activity, very high level right now for the men in white. Their defenses were brilliant. And Curry is having a quarter. He got his third foul, he got angry, and he's ripped off 10 here in the third of his 21. Let's so attacking. Brandon Wright had it knocked away. He could dollar with a quick hands. Curry on the run up. Steph felt the foul. Couldn't quite rattle it home, but he'll shoot a pair. He's got a long way to go in this game, but the Warriors held Dallas to 35% shooting. And they're holding Phoenix to 35% shooting. You say, well, why does that matter? Well, you're talking about two of the top scoring teams in the league as Curry oh. hits a three. This is reminiscent of what he did yesterday against the Clippers. Not quite the same with all that ball handling, but this is one miraculous shot to come out of that. I would call it a scrum to pick that ball and knock it in. It was amazing. Raymond missing, Steph with the rebound. He'll use a little time. Bogut had the screen, and Curry has a three. And he gave Andrew the big slap because that was the dark side of the moon. That was an eclipse as Bledsoe went down. And Curry leading the league in steals. And Steph with the layup. He can do so many things to finish the play at the end, so the defender behind him, the best he can do is guess. Is he going to go right or left? And Steph's got another steal. You think of Bledsoe as explosive and as quick as he is, Steph Curry has picked his pocket repeatedly. Well, he's learning how to go backward with his feet defensively. Oh, Curry, Curry three. Yeah, he didn't like missing that other one in and out. So, he's... Sometimes he can do whatever he wants, but his defense has been superb on Bledsoe today. And in three minutes, Jim, you're going to watch a Warrior team do something no other Warrior team has ever done. What's that? Win back-to-back 50-win -back seasons. Well, that's right. Another three by Mr. Curry. The building loving it. That's your MVP right there. 36 for Steph. There are a lot of Warrior fans here. He's getting a mini ovation on the road here. There are Warrior fans everywhere. The Solar Company electrifying player of the game. 7 of 13 on threes, 36 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, multiple steals. You can make an argument, the best player in the NBA. The Solar Company electrifying player of the game, Steph Curry. 50 wins for Steve Curry. 50 wins. And he's still got 20 more games to coach. And where is the ceiling for the Warriors? 98 to 80. They win it going away. Back in Oakland as we get set for the Knicks and the Golden State Warriors. Thompson, Curry, Bogut did not play last night. Curry hits from three. I thought his foot was on the line. It looked like he was standing on the line that time. Well, it's a birthday present from the officials. Curry celebrating his 27th birthday today. Off the steal. Here's Curry again from three. Two in a row. Now Curry for the bucket slam. 
That's the razzle-dazzle that Curry has in his game, utilizing the left hand behind the back. Green wide open, hits a three. Green having his best season as a pro has augmented his game with the three ball. Now Curry with the alley-oop for Bogan. Thompson rejected by Sven, and then Lee keeps it alive for Curry. But he's averaging one block a game almost, too, kidding Sven. They had a couple in the game that got that one. Thompson with another three. So shows you Thompson's indomitable spirit, undaunted by the block shot, and just comes right back from downtown. We saw his spot. Curry wide open. Third three-point field goal for Curry tonight. Now the Warriors have opened up a 17-point lead. Curry again. This guy leads the league in threes made the MVP, I mean, the three-point shooting contest in the All-Star. The last two times, he's uncontested. Raymond Green ahead of the field, plays it in. Time winding down, five seconds. Here's Sven. Let's say Sven now with 10. Curry at the buzzer. Here's Green. Raymond Green hits a three. Thompson from three. They are tantalizing the Knicks right now. And now Barnes hits a three. It's the 16th three for the Warriors. They are 16 of 24 from three-point range. Curry to the rim to lay it up and in. Take a look at Curry's kleptomania. We've seen his uncanny shooting ability. And there Curry catapulted into the crowd. Curry and Thompson were in street close. Curry with yet another three. Here's Curry and the reverse. That's what it's kind of holding this guy the superstar. Raymond Green. Listen to the crowd. You think the game was close. Paying homage to their heroes now on their feet. It's one after one. But all Golden State over the last three quarters. As they defeat the Knicks by the score of 125 to 94. Welcome to NBA Monday, presented by State Farm. Lakers and Warriors from Oracle Arena here in the Bay Area. Golden State led by its MVP candidate, Steph Curry, one of the most exciting and popular players in the NBA. And the Warriors have been dominant in this arena. They've lost just twice here, outscoring opponents by over 15 points per game. Well, the Warriors are, are number one in field goal defense, so a poor start for them defensively as Curry leaves it for Green, puts it in, and a foul on Jordan Hill. Here's Curry looking for his first point, instead gives it off to Draymond Green, who's already in double figures with 10 points. He averages about 12 per game. What a pass from Curry. Steph Curry on the board at the 426 mark of the second quarter. He got a rookie on a little ISO on the island out there. I, I'm not so sure. Kyrie Irving or Steph Curry ball handling. Kind of let Draymond Green get past him that time for two. Here comes Curry. So good in transition off the bounce. Finds a cutting bogan. And he slams it home. Tark Black wasn't paying attention and bogan went right past him. Midway through the third. Here's Curry for two. And that's just the second basket for Steph Curry, his fourth point. Now Curry in transition. Clarkson though, right there. Curry drives. Boy, he's so good when he... Uh-oh, he fell down on his wrist. Yeah, holding his left wrist as he runs back up the floor. Step back three, hit it! His first three of the game. Maybe that'll get the Warriors going. It certainly gets the crowd going here at Oracle. Iguodala's got the smaller lin on him. Finds Curry. Another three-point try. Another hit! And a foul! A four-point chance 
for Steph Curry. Did you say something about maybe getting him going after he made the other three? Well, I guess so. How about the cross-court look, the subtle fake, step back, and maybe a little sales job by Curry as he falls down getting the four-point opportunity. Curry's alive and the Warriors are too. And at last one, he's he turning fouled by Wesley Johnson, so a four-point chance here. His first free throw attempt of the game. And Curry, now at 13. The Lakers are right here with four and a half to play on the road. Thompson's three, good! That ends a 6 nothing run. His third three-pointer, number 199 on the year. Lynn, tough pass there. Bogut broke it up, a turnover by the Lakers. Curry behind the back. Iguodala drives and slams! Thompson coming off the screen, gets into the paint, and ball was on the yeah, rim. On the rim when Jordan Hill touched it, so count the basket for Clay Thompson. He's got 26. Here's Wesley Johnson, and Green knocked it off of Johnson out of bounds. No foul, and it's Warriors' ball. So the Warriors improved to 53 and 13. They're winning their ninth in a row at home. They're 30 and 2 here at Oracle. But two key players are out tonight with injuries. Clay Thompson for Golden State, Kyle Korver for Atlanta. But still plenty of All-Stars on display in a battle for the best record in the NBA. Kent Bazemore making his seventh start of the year, gets the bucket, and there's Holiday making his second start of the year with the first basket for the Warriors. Well, so many similar numbers of these teams, but they do it a little bit differently. A lot of reliance on Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. Curry gives it up. Barnes connects in a three. Well, Klay Thompson may not be here, but Harrison Barnes, a 41% three-point shooter. Career-high 75 makes from behind the arc this year. Barnes up high to keep that in play. Now Curry, a three. He leads the NBA and made threes. Here's Curry off the bounce, foot on the line. Well, you thought he would be really aggressive and ticked off, frankly, after Monday night, and he's playing like it's well, so Well, yeah, the six turnovers, I think, bothered him more than anything. He's going to have some off-shooting nights, uh, but he wants to try to make amends. He's hopeful he can't get that to go. Steph will be in the attack mode this evening. He's ruled a two-pointer on the uh, last uh, basket by Curry. Great find as Curry hung in the air to the last possible second and dumped it off to Iguodala. Since 2000, it's only happened twice that the top seeds from both conferences have met in the NBA. Was that Boston and L.A.? Who was it? Yeah, Boston, L.A., 07, 08. Harrison Barnes throws it down and draws a foul. This is what you can see out of this Atlanta Hawk team. When they want to crank it up defensively, there aren't many better defensive teams. I watched them against Phoenix the other night hold them to 12 points in the fourth quarter. Uh, it was stunning. Green oh, has wow. it. He stumbled, and he still made it with point eight to shoot. Schroeder over Bogan. Green with a strong rebound now. Running the break. Leaves it for Curry. Fires. Hits a break. And a foul on T. Well, that's the beauty of Draymond Green. 20 rebounds last time he met the Atlanta Hawks. That time, gets it, takes it up the floor. Always a good idea to find Steph Curry. He's open. And a four-point opportunity as the MVP chance rain down here in Oakland. Leads the league and made threes. And since the All-Star break, shooting 51% from behind the arc. He's got 11 points tonight. And it's a 10-point lead. And Green, we've seen him on centers. Paul Millsap, the four, he can guard twos. Now he's trying to out-muscle Al Horford. That's hard to do, and he did a good job on Horford, who's one of ten. Bogut slides to save it. Here come the Warriors. Curry quickly ahead. Iguodala finishes, and is foul. Green, four, three, and that swishes through for a second triple. He's got 11. Teague on the drive, slipped, and threw it away. Here's Curry, challenged by Horford, and Curry gets it to go. His first points of the second half. Love how he went to the right side of the rim to use the rim as another defender 
Shop Walker couldn't get through it. Curry with the floater. No good, but he was fouled. They say the Truder grabbed the shorts of Curry. Turnover there by T. You're thinking about it. Barbosa. Gets it back on the behind the back from Curry. And Barbosa nails it. Look out. Number one in the league. Points off the turnovers. Danger zone. The monotony's taken out of it. Steve Kerr, a, a mastermind of creating a fun atmosphere. And although Luke Walton's quote was not for air, it, it definitely made a lot more sense than a lot of his father's comments. <laughs> well, you get to deal with those <laughs> on a weekly basis. Here's Green, another three, another oh, hit. It's five threes for Draymond Green, and he's got 18 points. Seven of the quarter. Golden State, 114. Atlanta, 95. And 33 home games for the Warriors. They won 31. The Hawks lose for just the 11th time on the road. And they're blowing teams out at home. And a big welcome to the Bay. The Utah Jazz wrap up a two-game road trip tonight against the best team in the NBA. The 55 win. Golden State Warriors. The Jazz coming off a victory against the Lakers Thursday night in Los Angeles at Staples Center. 80 to 73. And Golden State playing on a back-to-back. -back. They beat New Orleans on this floor last night, Ron Boone. 112 to 96. Tonight. Or you see how quickly Dante recovered. That shot's ridiculous. Bogut slipped that ball inside, and Curry was looking like he was playing on the playground. Boy, Dante recovered, but it didn't matter. Steph was just so good, so crafty off the dribble. Baber switches, takes Curry, wide open. It's up and in. Justin Holiday, and only a fourth start, five quick points. You talk about a magician. Oh, Unreal. Curry's losing his footwork, foot. Losing his hell. He's stumbling. But falling, he still keeps his eye on his target there and throws it and gets a three-point play out of it. Curry's so quick. If you're gonna play with Curry, you better be ready on the court. Three ball straight away. Trey again. And Curry on a rebound. He'll stride into the front court. A minute to play. First half. Curry. Right in front of Quinn Snyder. Curry again. Scoop shot. My goodness. Off the glass. 15. They get it back. Curry slides a pass down low. Draymond Green fouled on a hustling, by a hustling Dante Exum. Draymond Green deep. Missed it. Came right back to him. The ball is loose to Holiday. Here's Curry. He'll jump it up and in. Curry stepped back. It's a two ball. Well, he, he, nothing like last night as he struggled last night. One for nine shooting early in the ball game. How about that crossover? Favors on a rebound. Clears to Hood. Bogut, beautiful pass. Curry broke baseline, untouched. 22 for Steph Curry. Steph Curry the rebound. Steph dancing against Favors, and Favors put him down with his shoulder. But Curry seems to be the one that's most talked about. Well, so uh, we didn't put it, we didn't put it on cue, but the chant of MVP was right yeah, behind your, right behind your behind comment. It. It's been a great defensive run and more to come, but tonight. Golden State proves why they are the best in the NBA. They'll win it by 15, 106 to 91. And we're set to go. Second meeting of the year between these teams. They played once. It was in November, and the Warriors won. They control the tip. They win last night over the Wizards, 107-76, despite shooting 41% at great defensive play. And Steph Curry from the corner. Lillard has it stripped away. And it's picked up, and the lay in. Lay in by G. Alonzo G, who's been with five teams in the past eight months. 
Did well with Cleveland several years ago. And coming back, Curry with a two has four points. Here is Iguodala. Reaching in, Azili keeps it alive with the offensive rebound. Curry, and Curry doing a great job beating Alan Crabb off the dribble. Here's Iguodala inside, and the three, Steph Curry, nearly turned around in the corner, hits the three, and has nine. And here is Curry, does he feel it? Yes, hits his second three in a row. And all of a sudden, it's a six-point lead. Reed is on Lillard, throws behind blindly, and here's Curry. Curry will stuff it through. So a big turnover here brings Golden State to within five. Darrell Wright driving in the lane, off balance, shot. So the Trailblazers getting a little careless offensively in the last couple of possessions. Here's Draymond Green burying a three. Draymond Green, third leading scorer now with nine points. Lillard trying to fight, and he does fight through the screen, and here is Curry from Bogut, and the game is tied. Robin Lopez takes it himself. Follow-up doesn't go, and now again the Warriors can take the lead. Here's Curry with a three, and they do. First lead for the Warriors since 14 to 13 midway in the first quarter and Terry Stotts wants to talk it over and here is Thompson with the baseline move and Bogut gets his own rebound he has 13 in the game and Curry with a runner Steph Curry going to work now it was quiet early but he has 21 points now and a four-point warrior lead Curry with a great pass to Bogut who converts Curry threading the needle inside and a six-point lead now for the Warriors. Andrew Bogut swings that left-handed hammer. Ten points for Bogut. G driving against Draymond Green. And we're seeing a few reckless shots by Portland here in the third, Brent. And you're seeing good Warrior defense and great offense as Steph Curry finds another assist to Draymond Green. Last night they outscored the Wizards 29-8 in the third quarter. They've outscored the Trailblazers 20 to 7 so far here in the third. Curry with three. And now it's 23 to 7. Third quarter to the Warriors' liking. They're up by 11. Their first double digit lead of the game. And stepping back for the three is Steph Curry. Curry now with 27 points. Well, it was very nice of Steve Kerr, Bob Myers, and the Warrior organization to recognize the accomplishments of that 1975 team and my dad got a chance to address the team as Steph Curry kisses one off the glass and speak to the Warrior Club last night in the locker room I know that was a special moment for him and I, I didn't I didn't hear it there were no boos from what I heard in the locker room which is a good thing inside green from Iguodala and it's 104 91 13 for green and the scoop by Steph Curry making it look easy 31 for curry had a couple of cold shooting games but has responded in the last three curry going in pushed by g who now has his third foul he's one extending the pressure Alonzo g trying to disrupt steph curry up the court with the ball all these picks can be switched and a great feed wow. iguodala from curry lightning quick do they get underneath whoever it is green Iguodala, you name it that 35 foot flick pass from steph curry on the money to andre and the shot by mccullum is short golden state with a 14 point lead and another great feed inside as curry finds harrison barnes deflection by Iguodala and the steal two on one fancy stuff Curry and Iguodala putting on a show in the final minute of this game as the Golden State Warriors taking over the game with a 21-3 run early in the third quarter went from 7 points down to 11 up an impressive road win over the undermanned Portland Trail Blazers and the first goal is in the books for Golden State and it's not to be diminished because the last 
division title was way back. All right, Steph, you guys rip off a 23-7 run at the beginning of the third quarter there. How are you able to turn the page on this game? Uh, just keeping our intensity. We, uh, that's what we've been doing all season. It's kind of wearing on teams as the game goes on. Um, obviously, we won by 14, but... You know, every game is going to take a different shape, a different form, and if we just stick to how we've been playing, we feel like we have enough talent to you know open the game up and, and play the way we did in the second half. Any idea how many assists you guys had tonight? Uh, I'm assuming it's probably 30 plus. We've been doing that a lot this year, so just sharing the basketball. But how many was it? That's right. It was 37, and I want to point out something that you probably don't realize: 26 times this season, you've had 30 plus. When you take a look at your game, how have you continued to find the balance between taking your own shots and then also passing the ball? Uh, our system is predicated on that, just you know, moving bodies, moving the ball from side to side. We try to find the best shot in every possession, um, and it gets everybody involved in touching the basketball, and, and uh, usually good things happen as long as we don't turn it over. So uh, I think we did a good job of that tonight, and good stuff happens in the offensive end. Congratulations, also certainly in order. You clinched the Pacific. After all the hard work and the goals that this team has this year, that's got to feel pretty good to have that at this point already of this season. That feels great. Uh, my sixth year, haven't done it before. And I think dating back to like the early 90s, we haven't done it in the Warriors, as a Warriors franchise. So it's a big, big uh, accomplishment. Obviously, we have a lot more to, to accomplish this year and goals in mind, but this is a good stepping stone for us to, uh, you know, win a division and uh, keep it moving. Congrats, Steph. Thank you very much. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA from fabulous FedEx Forum on Beale Street in downtown Memphis, Tennessee. The Memphis Grizzlies host the league-leading Golden State Warriors. Tonight, we match up two of only three teams in the NBA that have hit the 50-win mark this season. This is the development of Harrison Barnes. He's fifth in the league in three-point percentage at 42%. And he's not even the leader on his team. Thompson, tough shot on the fadeaway. Clay Thompson averaging 21 and a half a game. Tenth in the NBA. Draymond Green, rim run and a finish. Randolph guarded by Bogut. Randolph takes him in the paint, flips it up too strong. Has a first look at his own miss. Curry back without numbers. That won't stop him. Side step two. And then Curry lets it fly. You pretty much assume it's going in. He shoots 48% from the floor. And Golden State off to a four-point lead. Last time these teams met, we had 11 ties and four lead changes in the first quarter. Blake Thompson now two of three from the floor. Green, that's too strong. Running rebound, Curry. Barbosa. And it's an eight-point Warriors lead. Curry steps out. That three is in. That's what happens when you give them extra possessions. You allow one of their sharpshooters another opportunity, and Curry knocks that one down. Gasol trying to pass out. That's deflected. And the Grizzlies, who over the last three games seemingly had fixed their turnover troubles, have given up now 11 points on just six, on six turnovers. Shot clock down to four for Livingston. Works against Jeff Green. Corner three. Curry, it's in. You have to stay attacked. You don't worry about helping on drives to the basket when you are defending Curry and Thompson. Curry, two-man game, and Lee throws it down. Carter drives, pocket pass, Randolph finishes. Great look. And a good job because the Grizzlies now will have an opportunity. They slow down, not give the Warriors. So he, they, you score, you have to get back and set up because they are coming immediately. Conley hesitation move underneath the bucket to a trailing Tony Allen. Pass behind him. Turnover, three on two. Curry has it knocked away by Carter, and Curry will go to the line. Not the way the Grizzlies wanted to end the Curry pack. Gasol against Bogut. Tony Allen pass at his feet. Grizzlies turn it over. Barnes on the slalom. Curry will try the runner and put it in. But again, that's a two as opposed to a three. T.A. was thinking about a step back three. Jump stop in the lane and missed inside. Tony had a rough shooting night against Cleveland. A lot of them layups. Curry, that's a layup for him. You blink your eyes. Ten point deficit. Gasol against Draymond Green. Got to punish him inside. Curry, full head of steam. 
side step three by Thompson is in. Grizzlies call for time. Grizzlies have been able to overcome large three-point disparities at times this season. Curry get another one. These guys are deadly. Grizzlies down nine. They trail by as many as 14 in the first half. Curry for a trailing green. Conley crosses over against Curry, and then Curry blocks the shot. And then a punch out and a run out to the other end. Green goes for the rundown, can't get it. And Steph Curry has gone off for 25, 10 here in the third quarter as the Warriors are dropping the hammer and they lead it by 13. Warriors throughout the season, they dominate the middle quarters. They're a plus four for the season in the second and in the third quarter. We still have four, over 440 left to go in the game as Steph Curry continues to have a hot streak here in this third quarter. Yep. Curry has had a couple of 40-point games this year. His high 51 against Dallas. He's at 28 and counting. The late great Kenny Williamson, who was a legendary scout in New York and worked in the Grizzlies front office for a time, the year that Curry came out of Davidson said there's only one surefire player in this draft, and it's Steph Curry. Curry, a special player of that, there is no doubt. Conley fouls him, and he'll have a chance to earn three at the free throw line. Steph Curry, ninth assist of the night. The Grizzlies have cleared their bench. Jordan Adams in, Jamichael Green in, John Moore in, along with Kalathis and Udry and the Grizzlies. We'll follow the 50 and 23 on the season. The Warriors will include the 59 and 13. Thompson firing away from three. Steve Kerr trying to send a message. Ball game over. Warriors, a league best 59 and 13. Grizzlies were down five at halftime. The second half belonged to Golden State. From the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California, the winningest team in professional basketball, the Golden State Warriors at 60 and 13, take on the Los Angeles Clippers. Fifth best record right now in the Western Conference with 49 wins on the year. Curry sets up Lee at the rim, two-hand jam. Lee starting in just his second game of the year. Tosses outside to Thompson. Lee had a terrific year last year, 18 points, nine rebounds a game. Curry out of the corner, a three, knocks it down. Steph Curry coming in fifth in the league in three-point percentage at 43%. Curry outside, leaps for three, knocks it down and drew the foul. Curry contorting his body in the air to get the contact and still is able to square his shoulders and find the target. Curry turns the corner, hands off to Bogut, and was shoved by Reddick from behind. A chance of a three-point play here for the Warriors with 423 remaining. Here they come. Curry racing near side, receives the pass, shoots, and scores a three-pointer. Steph Curry. Warriors trying to walk down the Clippers here in the first half on a 12-4 run. Curry in on it, shakes ball out of his boots and hits a fallaway jump shot. You want to see a dribble move? Watch this one. Double behind your back, knock it down, and the bench is loving it. Curry had just put on a show for the crowd. Coming out, Chris Paul takes it out under the basket and suddenly goes two times behind his back to leave Paul on the ground and then finishes it off. One, two, Paul goes down, Curry knocks down the jump shot. This guy is something special. Bogan looking to hand off. Excellent defense by Paul, but Curry, a better move to spin and open up to the rim, and Bogut meets him with a bullet pass to the end line for the bucket. We'll see if they go back to Thompson. He works his way along the end line. Curry comes off a Bogut screen firing and knocks it down. Jordan's got to step out on the screen, but there's such a quick release there. There's not much Jordan can do. Bogut six recoveries. Kerr up the floor. Challenges Paul to cross over and sticks it straight away. Deep two by Curry on the wicked crossover. While they can't say it publicly, you, you got the belief that the Warriors are going to match anything that's out there for Draymond Green. He means so much to this ball club. The Warriors will have the right to match anything that was offered to him come July 1. Here's Curry outside for three, knocks it down. So Curry and Thompson now lights out. The Warriors take their first lead of the ball game at 72-71. Lee up top in the starting role here tonight, giving over to Thompson to the baseline. Spins away from pressure and sends in a follow jump shot. What a tough shot. Man. 
Jordan there, comes back out, pivots, and knocks down a very tough shot. Starts behind the backboard, but works his way out just enough to get a look. Still a four-point lead. Thompson will get the inbounds. Reddick trying to catch him. They elect not to foul. Lob ahead to Curry, and that will be that. The Warriors win their 61st on the year, go 27 and 11 on the road, and the Clippers drop to 49 and 26 on the year, 27 and 11 here at home. Golden State with a convincing come from behind victory, 110 to 106. We have a gorgeous night in the Bay Area with the best team in the NBA filling the house again. The Golden State Warriors are division champs for the first time in 39 years and aiming for the league's best record. I don't know last year really, Kevin, if that was Steph Curry's choice so much as, as Mark Jackson electing to use the great defensive abilities of Klay Thompson at the two guard position, his length and, and ability to go side to side. But this year, certainly Steve Kerr talking with Steph over the summer and asking him along with Rod Adams to accept that challenge, uh, he's more than done that. Someone fell asleep right there defensively as they get the inbound and Unabashed jam for Barnes, but also the other way. Steph for a three. <laughs> Terrific stroke. The two-time All-Star starter, Steph Curry, comes up with a beautiful shot from outside. Steph Curry creates some space with the pump fake, knocks that down. It is 90s night here in the Bay Area, Kevin. So maybe we can celebrate some of these things with some of your favorite 90s hits. Open three, Curry. He has got Brent, and you appreciate shooting us as much as anybody. He's got his prettiest stroke as I think I've ever seen at the pro level. That time he fends off two defenders and finds it with the left hand. And that's the last part about his game is when he gets caught in situations, how creative he is with getting shots up around the painted area, offhand. Little seven up and run to stop there with the Curry shot. These third quarters have been difficult too recently for the Phoenix Suns, haven't they? They've had five straight games where they scored less than 20 points as the Warriors get a three-pointer from Steph Curry. Wudzo is probing. Thompson comes out with a Brandon Wright screen. Knocked away. Nice defense. Thompson, here's a two-on-one. Barnes, Curry, long two. And Steph gets it in. The pass wasn't all that good. And Curry was kind of off stride. Was lucky to keep it in his grasp. Curry will scoop, and McNeil is there. And draws the foul, his second. The Suns have got the margin of one on four separate occasions. There's a shot which falls. And that is an assist. It's Thompson, 10 field goals. The Suns, their last lead came halfway through that first quarter, 10-8. And they've got it now. They were down earlier by 14. Curry the three. Well, I mean, this is what you like to see. Steve Kerr put Steph Curry and Clay Thompson in the game for a reason. In the fourth quarter, Turnover, too. last possession, Kevin knocks down the three. He wants to see these guys respond and lead the Warriors back. Mid-range shot, Spates puts it in. For these are uncommon minutes for guys like Thompson and Curry. They normally don't play in the fourth quarter, as we were talking about before. And this is nice for them to have them pushed as Kerr tries to get his team scarred for the playoffs. Bogut defends the 20-footer. Rebound by Curry, who clutches onto his seventh rebound, racing the other way, puts up the triple. The sweet shooting, Seth Curry, 25 points for Steph in this game. And he's at 5-3, Steph now with six in this fourth. Iguodala, watch and warn. Curry picked up by Tucker. Green by Bogut. Clay, three, Bogut, Clay Thompson. That's a terrific shot which ties the game at 102. Markeith Morris trying to get free, and Iguodala watches him. Here comes Tucker driving the baseline with a sweet reverse. And the Suns go up by two with a little over 26 seconds to go. The Phoenix Suns have lost the most games of any team in the league, tied with Utah for close losses. Curry on the move, put back up and off. Bogut couldn't get it. Picked up by Barnes, into the defense of Morris. Bogut with the rebound. Clock is down to eight. Thompson, Curry the three for the lead. Goal! He got it! Golden 
State out hustling Phoenix. Loose ball to Bogut's hands. Love the fact that Klay Thompson handed it off. Steph, feet set, bang. Warriors by one. And you think the Warrior fans now are doing what Steve Kerr was telling his team, Kevin Harlan? <laughs> Having some fun. Great shot by our director, Rich Russo, and our producer, Damon Fisher, tonight. Look at that. James Michael McAdoo is on the ball. Tucker looking to inbound. Good cut. Made right there. But so! What a shot! The reverse is good again. And once again, Golden State is beaten on the baseline with a drive. One point game, 4.5 to go. TJ Warren will be on the ball, and Iguodala will inbound. Thompson and Barnes out there. Curry coming off the screen. It goes to Barnes. He moves inside. Got it! Beats the buzzer. Point four. Phoenix will inbound. It goes to Warren. Long shot. Golden State wins! A game-winning shot by Harrison Barnes! second half and then they uh, made a big run to tie it up and even take the lead. Some weird mismatches, uh, lineups that were out there at the end of the game. Back and forth making buckets and we finally got the last uh, last crack at it and HB made a great play. So it's a crazy game. I'm glad we got the win. When you have 12 different guys playing minutes, you start the fourth quarter on the bench. What's the challenge about trying to find a rhythm in a game like this? Everybody just has to stay ready. I mean, for us, that's kind of the, the theme of what's going to happen the last seven games. We're going to mix and match lineups. We're going to try different defensive schemes. So for us, we just have to stay mentally focused. And, um, and just have effort, whoever steps to the floor, whatever five guys, and, and we'll be fine down the stretch. And Steph, this is a game that you didn't need to win, but why was it important to win this one? We want to keep that winning mentality. Uh, we don't want to stumble into the playoffs. That's uh, our goal and our focus for these last seven games is just to play hard, execute, uh, get a little bit better every game. And we keep trying to win games because you know we, we have fun doing it, especially at home. The crowd gets into it, and it's good uh, mojo for us going to the playoffs. Yes, go Spurs, go! And what a better night than to go Spurs, go! It's the Golden State Warriors in town. Welcome to Spurs basketball. Your Spurs, a 50-win team again at 50 and 26. The Warriors, the best in the NBA at 63 and 13. A look at the NBA's Western Conference. The Warriors have clinched the top seed all the way to the finals should they get there. The Spurs are number six, a half game back of the Clippers. But look, Houston just two and a half ahead of the Spurs and two in the loss column after their win today against Oklahoma City. This combined win on offense here. Timmy dives. Matt Barnes gets a wide open three. And Kawhi, who missed that opening jumper, comes right back and stretches to the hole. Curry to Thompson, and the floater is short. Leonard the other way. And there's another matchup you're going to look for. Danny Green trying to slow down Clay Thompson. Kawhi back to Duncan. Over Bogut. Timmy feeling it. Hey, he got his legs underneath that one. Wasn't as flat as some of the jumpers we've seen earlier. Thompson tries to offer some assistance. Uh, Gonna need it against Kawhi. Uh, that's a rough device there on the low block. Turns away from where the help defense could possibly come from. Beautiful fall away from Kawhi. Curry the other way. He's got as good a handles as anybody. And Kawhi takes it away from it. To yeah. Parker. <laughs> Danny Green. Leonard. There's the flush. Oh, mama. The claw at his best. Yet another victim. As Kawhi Leonard misses coming in. We'll have more on that in just a moment. Stephon Curry takes it from end to end, makes it an 8-4 ball game. Steph Curry, 23.6 a game, sixth in the NBA. Oh, Leonard, yes, the deflection and the steal. Danny Green hands it off to Parker. And Curry, a little hesitation in the paint. The scoop is blocked and taken away by Danny Green. Uh, number one at that guard position in blocks. Danny Green using all that length. We talked about Kawhi Leonard, but let's not forget about Danny Green on the perimeter as well. Leonard, an incredible shot! <laughs> Three-point play by Leonard. Now he's trying to tie up Barnes and getting loose underneath is Curry. 
Outstanding pass from the Warriors. They lead the league in assists at 27 per game. Look at that. Excuse me, Kawhi Leonard, another steal and a dunk. When do you ever see a team like Steve Kerr's got that is number one defensively as well? <laughs> That's right. I mean, just they have it all, and the Spurs have dismantled them early. But this Warrior bunch has seen it all in this 63 and 13 season. And don't expect them to lay down as well. Bogut dunks it here. Well, that's a great play after that timeout. Leonard in the paint to Timmy. Good the finish. Uh, first off, it's a terrific penetration of pass from Tony Parker. And Kawhi makes the right play there. Finds the gap, takes it, and drops it off to Timmy for the big time dunk. Now he's got to shoot that one. Parker was hoping to hit Baines, and Aaron was already setting up for the rebound. Danny Green nearly took it for Curry. And that's saying something, but when he gets burned, he comes back for a dunk for Iguodala. Iguodala, an 18-point game last night in Dallas. He averages eight a contest. Another key part of coming off yeah. the bench, Willing Lee on the attack. And David Lee makes it 29 to 13. Parker off the back iron. Iguodala brings it right back. Curry. Yeah, for three. And you see how Iguodala comes down, drops it off to Curry, who moves behind him, and then he sets the screen at the same time. Thompson back out to Curry. Oh, it's like a pass. It's What's like a it going to take? That's what you're wondering with the Warriors. They go one of eight to start from three, and now they've knocked down three on the night. Bellinelli. Oh, no ball move up there. Bogut's pass right to Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> that was a duck. Kawhi in the paint. Knocked and stolen away the other way as Curry. Papa call a timeout. Barnes a triple the other way. Danny Green. Oh, got by Curry. Elliott. Come on! Oh, you can smell that one coming. Kawhi does a great job running the right lane. Danny Green puts a soft pass right on the money. Kawhi doing a terrific job outrunning the Warriors defense. Parker in the paint. Leonard. And Kawhi swishes the free ball. Yeah, about our young guns have come to play. Kawhi Leonard beats him to the ball to Danny Green. And he scores! <laughs> oh, the Spurs defense just slicing and dicing on the Warriors. Whenever I had a guy and I didn't want him to score, I would hate to switch off on him because it was my responsibility. I didn't want to pass him off to another guy and rely on somebody else to try to stop him. See, look at Kawhi Leonard once yeah. again. One on one, just sized up his man and took him to the basket. Curry knocks in the three. Let's see, Curry gets away from Matt Bonner and I guarantee Tony Parker kind of burns inside. You know, every player hates to see their man score once they get switched off. Curry, a two. Right, once again, Curry gets caught with Matt Bonner on him. Our, our guy switched a little too early there. There wasn't much of a screen, and they still switched. Curry feeling it. Jiggles in a three. Right, he's getting to that point. He's getting to the point. He's already there. Curry again with the basket. Here come the Warriors, and you know where Curry's oh, going. Oh, my goodness. No one near him. That's, you can't. That's... Total unacceptable on the part of the Spurs in that situation. That's just unacceptable. And Leonard with a steal. That is his sixth steal of the night. A career high. Leonard. No stopping Kawhi right now. The Aztec is 9 of 15 for the floor. 21 points. Iguodala over Joseph. And Iggy knocks down the floor. We saw what he did to us in Golden State. Spurs 21 from Leonard. 18 for Green. And Kawhi. That's a beautiful crossover move. And once he gets past you, once he gets his shoulders past you, he's not going to let you back in the play. Uh oh. Oh, picked his pocket. The claw! Got it! Get out of here. Are you kidding? Come on, Bill. Somebody told me there's a better perimeter defender in this game right now. Ridiculous, folks. Seventh steal. Draymond Green shows you a little bit of his athleticism. Mad that he didn't get that other one to fall. This one a tougher shot. 107, 92. And the Spurs, who are one of two teams to win at Golden State this year, along with the Chicago Bulls, win the season series from the NBA's best team record-wise. Pop and Steve Kerr, a couple of special moments here. Adjacent to the Superdome, we're in the Smoothie King Center.
as the Warriors get ready to take on the Pelicans. The fourth and final meeting, the Warriors have won the three previous. Oshik switching out on Steph. Deep two is perfect. The one guy in the league that can do that. He pulls that ball back, Jim, yeah. and that release, and it's gone from distance. There's no way someone Oshik size, 7 feet, 255, can stay with that. It's impossible. Curry, change of speed, change of direction, and rimming it in. What a finish by Steph Curry. And Hogan sending Cole away. Here's Clay driving and reversing it up and in. Good adjustment by Clay Thompson. Boy, that's got to feel good. Get off the goose egg. Down to four. Steph Curry with a three. Timing, timing. What a way to finish the quarter. Out of the timeout, Steph Curry and Clay Thompson in the backcourt, and they get what they wanted out of it. Points of the paint now, and this is kind of disturbing. It's 24 to 10. Finding Draymond Green. His three is perfect. And there's Steph Curry. Anthony Davis rising and missing. Harrison Barnes setting up Steph Curry. Trail three. Good. Eight away from the record. Warriors biggest lead is right now. Curry back up three. Yes, sir. Once again, isolation on Ashik. Six second game shot clock difference. Steph at three. Steph creating, Steph three, good. How you, do you stop that? It's a rhetorical don't. question. It's rhetorical. You don't. Oh my, two men on him. He backs up with unlimited range, and he parts your hair with another three. We hit halftime with the Warriors up a dozen. Raymond scoring anyway. Raymond's feeling it, and another three. Oh, Curry, step penetrated, went back, and then found Moe at point blank range. And he found some New Orleans players sleeping. Caught him inside. Bogut, block number nine. Well, he's 12 of 38 in the second half shooting. Draymond with a two-hand finish. Make it 13, 39. Guys, Draymond Green has been tremendous in the second half. That third, he really responded well to a fiery timeout with Coach Kerr where he challenged him. The two of them were speaking at one another. And since that timeout, there's been a change in Green's game. A change in Green's game. And the crowd buzzing on a Steph Curry finish over Anthony Davis. Eric Gordon, well defended. Clay Thompson sprinting out Steph Curry. Catching and finishing. Great yeah, defense, Clay Thompson. Beautifully, beautifully done. Draymond turning the corner. In on Davis, laying it up and in. That is Davis is... ever going to be called for a foul on a layup? Ever. Well, plenty of time to get a good shot. Steph's got Pondex drawn him. Step back for the tie. They're in the driver's seat here. Curry for the lead, rimming out. Got a foul. Right away, hits it. Down three. New Orleans should foul. And they do. Curry needs a three. He gets it back. His three is out. Ronald out. He went up initially, dropped the ball, picked it back up, and shot the three. Gorgeous day in the Bay Area where they'll sell off the building again for the league's best record and number one seed. The Golden State Warriors have a franchise record 63 wins. They've won 14 straight at home. The Portland Trail Blazers have won the Northwest and are fighting for home court in the first round. They're seated number four right now. A game and a half and back of the Clippers and Spurs for home court. An offensive board by Eldridge on the doorstep, and Lopez is right there. When Lopez is active, and he had 18 last night against Minnesota, adds a great dimension to this Portland team. A three by Steph, and Curry knocks one down. He's got the number one percentage on the team, certainly number four in three-point shooting in the NBA. It's one of the things about Golden State, you can't relax at any time, and that's an early reminder to Portland that early offense will come from the Warriors by Robin Lopez and here comes Draymond Green 
It's taken three days off to get healthy. Another three. Curry has set up a couple of bombs in both of front. And why they picked up Aaron Aflalo. That was supposed to bolster the bench, but with the injury to Matthews, now he becomes a starter, and those bench guys are going to have to step up even more. Curry is on one of those starts already with nine and three threes in his pocket. Portland on a 10 to 4 run. It's a two point game. Warriors led by eight. Nice cut inside. And it's 11 with a good pass from Spates. And Curry gets it. You've got the seventh best scorer in the league in LaMarcus Aldridge. And the guy who owns every left side of every NBA floor across this country. That's a great option to go to. They're the number one isolation team for good reason. As Spates knocks down the runner. It's because LaMarcus Aldridge and Damian Lillard can make plays with the basketball. Curry, three, got it! He ties the all-time record that he set a couple years ago. Just hit his 272nd three-point shot of the year. And he's got 14 first-quarter points. Lillard will take it in hard on Bogut, who grabs the ball just off the bench. Ahead it goes, the outlet to Curry. He'll tee up the three for the record. He got it! All-time NBA record. 273 made three-point shots for the marksman, Stephen Curry. Curry got it. Oh, he's got the stroke tonight, Stephen Curry. One three-point shot after another. 20 already for Curry. Off a screen, Barnes straight inbound. I mean, that play, the Warriors have run all year long, and I just, I can't believe that they keep getting that by the great back screen. And Harrison Barnes comes off recognition from Steph. An easy two for Golden State. Go get the screen. Switch with defense. Came and drive. Curry! Got it to go! The lead is back to three. Green, three. Book it. Draymond Green with a three from outside. Aldridge outside. Harrison Barnes is there with the rebound. Oh, he got it right by Aldridge into the cutting Curry. He got it in stride and a timeout taken. The Warriors are shooting 55%. Good feed, Curry. Green, the try, and then he puts it in. Draymond Green, he's coming off a terrific game the other night. The try by Curry, change in hands. And finding it inside with the layup. 26 on 15 shots. Lopez had it, pickpocketed by Rush, and here comes Curry in the game. Great pass! Oh! -ho! That thing was perfect! Curry to Bogan. They've also got the number one rated offense in the league. Number two in defense and a beautiful runner right there by Steph who's shown he can score from every part of the floor. Look at Curry. Outside Thompson. Triple. Yeah! Green has the loose ball. Double-double for Green. 11 points, 11 rebounds. Curry the three. It's Curry on the perimeter. Good Bogut screen, long two. That's Stephen Curry. And he now has 33. Let's quickly go to Lewis Johnson. Yeah, Kevin, they were looking at there LaFollow's right shoulder. The trainers were probing in the front of it and the back. And he looked to be moving toward the huddle for a second. But then he made the movement of shooting a ball. And as soon as his arm went up in the air, he couldn't do it anymore. So he's back on the bench. You can see he's still in pain. Lewis, thank you. Now 35 for Curry. He's at 9 of the quarter while we're getting that report. Good rejection inside. Shot clock at 7. Foul. Curry is the number one free throw shooter in the NBA. He is a 91% free throw shooter. The chance of MVP here in Oakland. Warriors can smell blood, leading by six. Lillard on Curry. Screen by Bogut, switch on D. Aldridge is there. Curry, long two, cut it! Steph Curry! He's got 40. And three of his nine career 40-point games against the Blazers. Timeout. This game has had a playoff feel to it, hasn't it? Curry with the drive. Stop it on a dime. He is scoring from all over the joint. Above the arc, inside in the restricted area. Every place he goes, he finds, he finds points. Curry, three, good! Steph Curry is put in. 45. Golden 
State is going to win their 36th home game. Their 15th consecutive home game. And the crowd loves it. Is it your MVP, Brent? Or James Harden? I'm going to put you on the spot. Nothing against James Harden but Steph Curry to me. We get my vote. Hey Steph, first things first. You guys had everything sewn up for the playoffs, but you hadn't lost three games in a row all season. Where did you reach to to be able to get this win to keep things moving? We're a prideful team. I mean, we, we know we punch a lot already um, in the regular season, and it's just a matter of how many wins we get at this point, but for us to build momentum into the playoffs, it's, it's a big game for us. Uh, a team that's fighting for seeding. Uh, we got to protect our home court. And I think it meant a lot to these guys to get this one. I've got something here you might want. This is the basketball that you used to drop your 273rd three-point shot. You made history tonight for the NBA. What does it mean to be able to drop the balls that you did tonight and have the kind of night you did historically? Uh, I mean, this is special. I want to be healthy and just you know, play as many games as I can in the season, play at a high level, and obviously I like to shoot the ball, so um, to break the record that I already had is pretty special. I mean, glory to God to just have great teammates, great coaching staff, putting in a great position. And uh, thankfully, I've not got a lot of shots. And for you guys to have the offensive performance that you needed, defense stepped up when you needed, what does this tell you about what's possible with the NBA playoffs right around the corner? If we play our best, we're tough to beat. I mean, uh, we have a lot of pieces, and we try to do it on both ends. So as long as we bring our A game every single night, I feel like we're in great shape to make a deep playoff run and uh, get to where we want to go. All right, heck of a performance. Hold on to that ball now. I will. Thank you very much. Right, but for the Warriors, this is all about fine-tuning for the postseason. As you said, Jim, getting the bench involved. Yes, And definitely. getting ready for next weekend. A lot of it is, uh, picks up where he left off. Steph Curry, three, number 277. And a continuing league record in a season. Just watch the whole defense react. They have a stat called gravity. And it just shows when you have the ball, how many defenders acknowledge your whereabouts. And that is a perfectly thrown lob. How about the patience on that play? Warriors played seven out of eight on the road. It's good to be back home. It's good to get into that rhythm. Game day off, game day off. And he looked like himself against Portland. And Steph Curry is putting that three-point record into the stratosphere. And he just slowed up for a moment to get Bogut to go by. And Steph Curry just keeps shooting. Three of four on threes. He's got 11. And Steph Curry dropping in the jumper. I'd rather get a driving layup a lot of times for two because of the, the play of the game and the way to score. That's, that's a uh, go I, 10. Before I could even get it out to say it, the threat of the Warriors' threes have allowed all these backdoor cuts and all the layups exactly. this year. Draymond, what defense! could be your defensive player of the year. Coming up with another block. Sets the screen for Steph. Harrison in his sweet spot. Open three. Good. I'll tell you something. Steph Curry had a layup. He had an easy two. And he set this young man up. Well, he had that partially blocked. Steph Curry. Catch and shoot. His percentage is astronomical. Only a one second game shot clock difference. And best is... You move the ball, you look inside against Minnesota, you can do what you want. Harrison Barnes, good strong post up. Yeah, the Warriors are 16 of 29 from the field. See, Hamilton's season though, he played over in Croatia for a year. Then he played in Sioux Falls in the D-League. Last year, played eight games between Charlotte and Miami. He does things Steve Nash could never do. And that was just simply indescribable. Caught it, never touched the ground again, flipped it in, drew the foul. Nash won the MVP twice. And I love Steve Nash, loved him at Santa Clara. The difference is Steph Curry is evolved into an elite defender. Steph moved his feet there, and Holiday got the steal. That was all Curry's defense. And Justin Holiday finishing at the other end. Curry at three. Weaving through the defense. Curry step back to end the quarter. Curry, flipping it up and in. Well, he was waiting, waiting, waiting.
for a little Andrew Bogut, but couldn't come. And some interesting things about Curry. Play with the steal. There for Thompson. Setting up, step to lay it in. And try the foul. What a stretch from Clay Thompson. He's a lot stronger than you would imagine. He's so clever with the ball. Getting the contact, still protecting it. He's got a three-point play. I'm going to say three-point play. He's already missed a free throw. I can't believe he'll miss another. He didn't. Bogut on the delivery from Curry. Got to shoot it one more time. And Clay will win number 65. 110 to 101. 65 wins and counting. There's been 1,394 NBA teams. This is the 17th best record in league history right now with 65 wins. You're the leader of the team that had the best record in the NBA this season. This is a tribute not just to you, but to the entire organization and the great fans here in the Bay Area. It's also particularly special that you're the first player in 55 years as a warrior to win the MVP. And the last one was, of course, Wilt Chamberlain. So you're in very special company. So it's my honor and my pleasure to present you, Steph Curry, with the 2014-15 Kia MVP Award. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Curry. I just want to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for your support all season long. You guys fueled us every single night, and myself included, so we couldn't have done this without you. Um, this is a very special moment that we'll remember for a long time, but as you know, we got a lot of work to do, so let's get back to it. Thank you very much. <laughs>